Hello dear chess friends, welcome to the European Women's Individual Chess Championship live broadcast. Together, uh, today we, ha we are three people, uh, Miss Eva Repkova, uh, as always Grandmaster Yanis Papayanu, and myself Can Ardoman. We will try to commentate the games of the seventh round. Uh, before we start to commentate the games, uh, let me tell you some uh, small information about the uh, uh, the classification of the tournament uh, two players with four and a half points and they play against each other today uh, these are uh, Alina Kashtinskaya from Russia and Pauline Guichard from France as you remember Alina Kashtinskaya yesterday has beaten Jovana Oska uh, we were analyzing this game especially Eva and Ivan they were analyzing this game and uh, Pauline Guichard has beaten Ekaterina Atalik uh, in a very complicated and tactical position, yes. And actually she probably made a mistake in her calculations. So she lost against Pauline Guichard. And uh, on the, uh, there are uh, seven players with four points. And uh, uh, let me tell you these players. Inna Gaponenko from Ukraine. Uh, who is playing against Bella Kotoneshvili from Georgia and Nurgul Salimova from uh, Bulgaria, but actually she plays uh, under the flag of ECU. She is playing against Marie Sobak from France, uh, Elina Danielian from Armenia, she is playing against uh, Anna Ushinina from Ukraine, and also uh, one more player uh, with four points. Uh, Hanim Balayayeva from Azerbaijan, but she's been against a player with three and a half points, Alexandra Goryashkina. So uh, there are, of course, the, the rest of the players, uh, around 19 players with three and a half points. Uh, they are following this uh, with half a point difference of this four point group, uh, these uh, players. So we will we'll start with Alina Kashtinskaya versus Pauline Guichard on the first board. They are playing with four and a half points. Okay, let me see this game here, mm -hmm. the position. So uh, we can maybe play the first moves from the sure. beginning. Uh, okay. A Indian was played. I think this is called uh, a Romanian variation. H3, castle shorts, uh, short and bishop e3. Mm -hmm. as, as we have said, generally in the king's Indian, fundamentally, black has uh, three ways to play these, these positions. Uh, he can either go for classical King's Indian type of play with e5, mm -hmm. uh, e5 directly or after some preparation. Mm -hmm. He can go for Benoni type of positions with c5, or he, uh, he can follow the plan with c6, a6, and b5, which is uh, playable in pretty much every King's Indian position. Maybe mm -hmm. not the best in, in every position, but still playable. Yes. So, for example, if c5, if c5 here, uh, the best move for white, in my opinion, is knight f3. If white goes d5, uh, if white goes d5 instead, then after e6, in this Benoni type of position, this bishop on e3 is not, let's say, the most accurate move. It's not the most necessary move. Still, it is playable, but not the necessary, ne so necessary. Why? Uh, it's not because For example, if bishop d3. Bishop d3, okay, uh, is playable. Maybe you don't and, take it here. Uh, yes, black can take it, but instead of bishop d3, white should have probably played a move like knight g2 or knight f3. That would have been more useful. Ah. That's the difference. It's a matter of taste. Uh -huh, okay. While knight f3, on the other hand, <coughs> instead of d5, yes. knight f3 would have been a very nice move. And if cd4, knight takes d4, in fact, white all of a sudden gets a very interesting uh, type of marozzi mm -hmm. after knight c6 and bishop e2. Mm -hmm. This is a very nice variation and white uh, has quite a good success with it. Uh, he puts the queen on c2 in this line, a castle shot. Ah. Yes, this... Uh, this a slightly unusual way of handling the this, uh, this variation. Yes, this variation, the Marozzi. Uh, what about the pressure on d4? If you put the king on c2, yes, yes, but uh, uh, at, at the right moment it will go. First ah, castle, right yes, queen c2 and everything. And Maybe uh, you take the knight somewhere or you just no, no, leave no, it just there? No, no, just queen c2, just ah, queen c2. Very interesting. Yes, especially, uh, anyway, black will most likely take on d4 uh, himself and white will take with the bishop uh -huh. and then play queen c2. Uh, okay. okay, this is a playable. Uh, uh, you recommend line. this line? It is also playable. I, I, generally, if uh, in this move order, this is knight f3, I think is uh, by far the best move. 
Mm-hmm. I, and I guess there is no tactics with mm, night on D5, uh, on D4 hanging, yes, after Queen C2. Maybe uh, we have to be careful all the time. Some knight G4 ideas, of course, mm-hmm. they exist. Yes, maybe. White has to, to be careful. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, in the game, what did they do? Knight the BD7 game? was played. In the game, knight BD7 and, and G4. G4. Positionally, this G4 move might be a bit risky on one hand because the center not, is not yet closed and white starts um, uh, flank attack. Mm-hmm. But on the other hand, it is not so clear how white, how black can open the center. For example, if black plays e5, yes. now there is the positional thre- threat of e takes d4. And then with the, the center open, this g4 move is, would be a big mistake. White will automatically play d5 in this move, in this, uh, in this position, intending Knight g to e2 and knight g3. This is the idea for white. And he gets, I suppose, a, a good game with typical ideas of the king's Indian. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have the feeling that after g4, knight bt7, I do not know much about this move. I generally, I don't seem to like it. Uh, maybe black should go c5 instead of e5. c5 here. But now, uh, yes, I don't know. White will, I suppose, white wants to play knight g2 or knight f3. If d5, for example, one drawback of the move knight bd7 is that now black cannot cannot play play e6. E6. He would love to play e6 and open the center. But maybe some b5 ideas are possible here. Some b5 ideas. Yes, yes. This is not, on one hand, this is not the best type of Benko for black Mm -hmm. on the queen side. On the other hand, this g4 move is not useful for white anymore. It may Mm -hmm. be damaging. In this position, White would rather have the pawn back on on, uh, on G2, G2 and simply develop uh, her pieces. Mm-hmm. Okay, so she played E5, D5, and I think Knight C5. Uh, what did she play? Wait a minute. She played something else. D5, Knight C5. Knight, A- Knight C5. Yes, F3 Knight C5 has, has to be played because. Uh, if black instead of knight c5 goes a5, for example, then white has time to play knight e2 and knight g3 controlling the center. And without playing f3. Yes, yes, without being committed to this move f3. She will just economize this yes, move. Yes, yes, yes. Knight g3 and this I think... This will be an important time period. Yes, right? and this in this position white is better because black can never ever play f5 and mm-hmm. this c6 cd5 move has lost a lot of its potential. White is better. Mm-hmm. So knight c5 was played, f3. f3 has been played, now Mm -hmm. uh, black is thinking. Mm -hmm. What's uh, your uh, suggestion, Eva, for example, in this position? Do you play King's Indian? Uh, I used to play it with black in the past, Uh, but not anymore. Usually you want to play f5, of course. Yes, well, in this position, uh, I don't know, typical move is a5 probably, yes. But a5, at first a5, and then... Just uh, preventing uh, b4. B4. What do you Although suggest? I don't know this particular yes. position, we will mm-hmm. ask uh, the expert yeah, here. Of course, expert. expert. <laughs> I, don't know. I would probably play. I'm, I'm between two moves: a5 and h5. Anyway, really? I have the, uh-huh. feeling, uh, the feeling that black should uh, sooner or later should play this move: h5. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, if I make pressure, for example, with after h5 with bishop g5, yes, let's say something with yes, I'm losing should, tempo, should, but I'm just should. asking. Then you. the typical idea is queen e8. But of course, maybe a move like a5 should have been in uh, played. Ah, because and of if, this, look, yeah. if bishop takes f6, uh, bishop takes f6, this is actually very wrong bishop for white. For check, bishop yes. check, or mm-hmm. instead of if check did not exist for some reason, black can, can play even king g7, king g7, intending rook j8, and he has very good compensation. compensation. This is very typical in the king's India. And okay. the king is stuck in the center. Exactly. Yes. White wants to play this bishop g5 idea, but I think it is uh, yet maybe a bit early. Uh-huh. For example, knight g2 might be a move, knight g2 here, and then black may play, let's say, a4 now, or even knight h7 they play sometimes. Black may play what? a5? a5, a5 sorry, uh-huh. yes. Uh, and uh, maybe knight h7 at some point. For oh, example, maybe knight if, h7 here. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Maybe this before, I don't know, is it good for white? Then on one hand, white is overextended, as uh-huh. we say. But What um, about queen Queen d2, Let's yes. And maybe black now should play h4. F- h4. Uh, h4. Yes, h4. Okay. Maybe bishop f6 next move or a5 first. Uh-huh. 
and this is all typical stuff. So how will black will white will continue? I don't M know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I G cannot play here. Maybe I will. I will play now B4, from the yes, yes. queen side. Now. Yes, yes. Yes. I will start to play. Mm -hmm. Or some ideas even even with G5, but... Uh, but it's very still very complicated yes. game, yes? Mm -hmm. Very double edge position. Mm -hmm. uh, so H5 looks uh, like a nice move, huh? Mm -hmm. To stop this H4, H5 yes. idea also. Yes. On the other hand, after A5, whenever black plays C6, C takes D5, white will follow with C takes D5, and it won't be so easy for black to, to push B5. Now he would like to have his pawn on, on a7 in order to play a6 and b5 uh -huh. and create real counterplay, but you cannot have all. Yeah. Generally, the computer in such positions always gives a more or less big advantage to white, but this can be uh, actually uh, deceiving. Uh, uh, yes. Black has his share of counterplay in these positions. Yes. So uh, we are waiting for black's uh, move. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, we can change the game. Sure. Uh, we are going to Inna Gaponenko versus Bela Kotoneshvili. They both have four points. Let's see Inna Gaponenko versus Bela Kotoneshvili. Okay, this is the game. Mm -hmm. Let's see the opening. A Karakan defense. Mm -hmm. Take, take knight f3, knight f6, and now this uh, fashionable knight e5, mm -hmm. the idea, okay, the idea is uh, white, just like in this game, would like to transpose to some type of favorable positions of the Karlsbad structure. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what happened in the game, g6. Yes. G6, is it a mm -hmm. normal move? Of course, g6, uh -huh. knight c6, yes, bishop check. Five. Knight bd7, maybe even bishop d7 is a good move. Yeah. Maybe even bishop d7. I this would like bishop you want to get rid of. Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. uh, so it's perfectly move. playable, huh? Yes, yes. Probably white intends to take there with a knight uh -huh. and castle short, and then the bishop knight will king. definitely return to d3. Uh, yes, so sooner or later. Okay. Yes. She played knight, knight bd7, castle short. Bishop g7 and c3. C3, yes, castle and knight f3. This knight f3 is a very clever move, uh -huh. very clever move because now now the knight on on d7, d7 is, yeah. is misplaced, misplaced. Uh, White's bishop maybe bishop, she can make the menu. Yes, back. sure, but uh, White's bishop will definitely return to to d3. D3 again sooner or later. Let's explain this position. Let's play knight b8 for example. Yes. White can play bishop d3, mm -hmm. knight c6. You don't play bishop g4? Bishop g4, if in case of bishop g4, okay. white is better. Let's try bishop g4. White has some advantage. After knight bd2, intending to play h3 and take with the knight play on knight. f3. Yeah. Knight c6, h3. Bishop takes, knight takes. And the problem for white, for black positionally, is that he cannot even achieve uh, a minority stop. attack. Uh -huh. Now, a minority attack. It's very difficult with this bishop standing on d3. d3. Yes, if, and also if, the bishop. If she wants to play a6, I can play a4. A4 if and necessary. And then maybe queen e2. Yes, queen e2, rook e1. White has strong will, play will in the center. Very difficult, and yes. Uh, white is definitely slightly better. But what is very interesting to note is that if we take a few moves back and we play the move uh, instead of knight c6, yes, knight c6, mm -hmm. white can now play a move like bishop f4 and bishop f5. Let's suppose black goes bishop f5. Initially, this move looks very attractive uh, because uh, black will st strengthen control of uh, the central square on e4, e4 yeah. and it looks very good move uh, played also by many grandmasters. Uh -huh. But in reality, this move is a big positional mistake. Really? Yes, after which white is definitely better as long as he knows what to do. So white should now take on f5. Yes, I am wondering. I don't yes, know. Yes, yes, I'm yes. Really White is, is, I would say, much better in this position. Knight bd2, let's say. Yes. And let's say a move like rook c8 or e6, for example. And the key move for White is knight e1. After knight this move, e1. yes, uh -huh. knight e4, let's say black goes knight e4, and uh, knight d3. Uh, with the move knight e1, White has taken the sting, as, the, as we say, out of the move knight e4. And now there is. Um, a huge the problem for, for black is that h5 square is, is weak now. This f5 pawn should have been on g6, and white has ideas. Let's continue rook c8, for example. Yes, uh, rook e1 is the correct move, and white is intending to play knight f1 and then f3 or knight g3. This f5 pawn is called a hook. Uh, once again, we have already met this positional yes. element before, and 
black will, uh, white will try to play f3 and g4 or a, f3 h3 and g4 f3 uh, and g4 yes ah, yes sure okay. or a or knight f1 knight g3 he has all these ideas for example knight g3 before g4 or after g4 uh, or anything is possible uh, really anything is possible uh, for example let's play a move like or h3 g4 yes sure Water. all these plans are possible uh -huh. because this f5 pawn gives many possibilities to white white can actually open if he wants he can open the f line if he wants he can open g line by playing g4 directly and if he wants he can open h line by playing h3 and g4 mm -hmm. so if in such a pawn break we have uh, many possibilities then one of them uh, we can open f line we can open g line or h line in uh, we, we have so many possibilities this means by definition that white is better because one of these three possibilities will definitely be very good mm -hmm. At, at such a position, black's f5 pawn belongs to g6 square, actually, yes. and then black would have been only slightly worse. Uh, we should add that uh, because of this very strong knight on d3, which protects b2 square, uh, is targeting c5 square in case black goes b5, mm -hmm. and also it is targeting h5 square. This knight can go to f4 and to h5 because this h5 square is very weak. Yes. So uh, this is the key element uh, in white's position and it gives white a big advantage. Uh -huh. If we continue with a6, for example, okay. here, maybe not the best move, but let's indicate some ideas. Knight f1 is the best move. Mm -hmm. Let's say queen b6, and actually black lacks a clear plan. Yes. He doesn't know what to do. Maybe knight e7 instead. Knight e7, okay. let's try. So f3, knight uh, f6, and h3. And after knight g6, bishop h2. And next move will be g4 and knight g3. And white has a clear advantage. And also I will show you another possibility for white. Is the idea of with rook c1, rook c2, and transfer the rook to g to g2 square. Mm -hmm. These are all typical stuff. I have played such, uh, such games many times, in, but in Bleach. What mm -hmm. you are doing is now extremely important. You're actually, you are giving the ideas which are actually not so easy to find. Of course. In if, such I will tell you difficult the, positions. If, if, yes, if, if uh, you are not familiar with the position, this is impossible to find even exactly. for a Grandmaster. Exactly. Yes. So especially optically, it seems like yes. this capture g5 towards the center, exactly. it's it good. favors it's good. black in it's some good. way. Yes, yeah. but this is actually an optical illusion because uh, e4 square looks very strong, but as uh, when I remove the pieces uh, 91 and play uh, around this knight on e4, then this uh, knight actually is not strong. Mm -hmm. And with with a well timed f3, White will kick the knight away, and he will get a better position. You said you will show another plan with rook c1, rook c2. Yes, uh, if we continue in such a position, for example, knight e7, f3, just continue a few more moves here, h3, knight g6, bishop h2. Let's suppose Black goes rook e8 or something. He doesn't have useful moves. That's the problem. Or maybe for king h8. King h8. Let's play say uh -huh. g4 or king h1, g4. Uh, Takes. takes h takes g4 uh -huh. and maybe i don't know queen somewhere i don't know what he can play queen b6 or something king h1 let's say queen yes king h1 and uh, it's very uh, the rook on e1 is very close to the to the king side but how about the rook on a1 yeah. it's very slow but actually there is a way to to bring it into the game by playing rook c1 rook c2 and put this knight to g2 or to h2 uh -huh. uh, I cannot say that this is typical stuff. This is typical stuff only if you know exactly what you're doing. And uh, the, this knight on, death, on d3 protects the queen side. It cannot be attacked. It cannot, it cannot be exchanged. This mm -hmm. is very important. There is no mm -hmm. access to the squares f4, e5, c5, or b4 for uh, black to exchange this powerful knight. It's going to stay there forever unless white decides to move it. And here white has a huge advantage. But mm -hmm. we mentioned, we, we would like to mention this position because, uh, exactly because uh, on first place, uh, it gives the illusion that black stands very well. I had that illusion many years ago. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but then when I studied such a position, I changed my illusion. mind. Yes, yes, exactly. Now okay. you have a new uh, illusion. A new <laughs> illusion, yes. Maybe What's that's a new, new illusion. New illusion? Yes. <laughs> okay, we'll see this <laughs> later on. <laughs> we'll speak maybe after the broadcast. <laughs> what the new illusion? Let's not uh, I mean, reveal all the secrets yeah. of Yanis. During so, the break, we can Yes, speak. okay, yes, okay. And also, as you mentioned before, Yanis, this knight on d3, especially on the card spot formation, 
is very important mm -hmm. to have a night mm -hmm. on D3. Exactly. Let's uh, repeat this one more time. Yes, sure, sure. In this Carlsbad formation, white should have a knight on d3, and even black should have a knight on, on d6. But the knight on d3 is very important. Uh, here, even more important because h5 square is weak. Yeah, also she has the way to go to h5, yes, from f4, or maybe knight g3, knight h5. Mm -hmm. exactly. Of course, uh, when the knight is, on not f, uh, is not on f6. So, okay, what did they play? Let's see the game. Okay, she played knight b8. Mm -hmm. As expected. Yes, I think now White should play a move like Bishop d3 or Knight b2. Maybe she Bishop d3. Knight b d2. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe later she will play. Mm -hmm. But actually now maybe she gives the right to play it b5. But you can play a4. Of course. Yes, the, and the problem with this minority attack is that the bishop on, from g7 is absent from the f8 a3 diagonal. So c5 square will be very weak in case of b5. This is not a good minority attack. Yes, it should be here, yes, with mm -hmm. this diagonal. This is very mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, when the bishop comes to f4, it will be very difficult to... Uh, exactly. Uh, put a rook on the b line. Put a rook on the b, b line. Mm -hmm. And then it will be hard to uh, push these pawns mm -hmm. for black. Uh, so, maybe we, we go to a new game. Sure. So, Nurgul Salimova. Uh, who has four points from uh, ECU flag, but Bulgaria, as we mentioned before, versus Marie Sebak from France. I must mention that uh, this ECU flag is, uh, uh, there is always some unresolved issue with Bulgarian Chess Federation, and I always feel sorry for Bulgarian players that they have these problems whenever they play international tournaments, official mm -hmm. tournaments. Uh, what do you think? Will it be solved soon? Well, it's... Uh, already for some years unsolved, so it's very hard to predict, but I, I wish uh, we could find some way to, to make their life easier, because uh, they, uh, they are punished for something somebody else did, basically, so yeah. I would like this situation to change yes. soon. Okay. I think some of the Bulgarian players have uh, already changed the federation and they play for other countries. Who are these players? I think uh, one of their best players, Ivan Ceparinov, but I'm not 100% ah, yes, sure. Yes, I'm not 100% sure. Right? Yes, uh, true, really? true. True. Oh, okay. true, I know. I yeah. guess it was uh, too long to wait for him. <laughs> I can yeah. understand. Because the, you, they were speaking in uh, Skopje when you were there. Yes. Uh, Ivan Sokolov and uh, Zura Pazmai Parashvili. Yes. New Georgian compatriot, it was <laughs> saying Ivan Sokolov for Ivan uh, Ceparinov. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this is the position. Let's see it from the beginning. This position, how did it happen? This is a very modern opening. It's very fashionable these days. The uh, uh, de delayed poison pool f4 delayed h6. Poison. Uh -huh. Yes, h6, bishop h4, and, and queen b6. Yes, this is very fashionable because in some lines this h6 become, uh, becomes very useful. Black can play some g5 at some moment. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that uh, the, the best knight of player in the world at this moment, uh, Maxim Vasilakrav, plays this line a lot with black repeatedly and with good results. This shows that this is definitely a very good uh, line Reliable line. Yes. Now, as far as I know, three moves are played for white here. Queen d2, queen d3, and a3. Yes, queen d2, sacrificing the pawn. After queen d2, black should take b2 pawn. Uh, because uh, if, uh, and I mean, I see sometimes, I see that uh, amateur players, uh, they play a move like queen b6, maybe not in a non-theoretical position, and then they hesitate to take b2 pawn. Yes. But we say in chess, uh, once you say a, you, you have to say b. So <laughs> you have to take b. So, yeah. uh, so here black should take, otherwise white will cast long, and this queen b6 is in the middle of, of this b, of, of b pawn. Black would like to play b5. Mm -hmm. And we should also mention that the idea of, for black is not just to say uh, black wins a pawn on b2, and then he, uh, he returns back with the queen, he exchanges all the pieces, and he reaches a winning uh, end, pawn endgame, preferably with a pawn up. This is never ever going to be the scenario of, of a battle. The idea of black is purely positional, and black wants to destroy uh, white's uh, pawn structure. So now all the uh, squares along the C line are weak for white, you see? 
C5 square, C4 square, C3, and C2, they are all weak. So this uh, supposedly this means that white will have, of course, a lead in development and attacking possibilities. But in the end, black may always be able to sacrifice one pawn and maybe even a second one, but reach an equal, theoretically equal position. Why? Because black's pawn, uh, white's uh, pawn structure is destroyed. Mm -hmm. So this is the positional uh, reason. Uh, you know what I like to say? Instead of instead of playing queen b6, let's try something really strange. Uh, so let's take back the move queen b6. No, 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 no. Let's take back the ah, move queen b6. queen b6. Let's play queen a5. Ah, okay. Just to show to, to show my point. White plays queen d2. Mm -hmm. Black takes on a2. Follow this move, please. Yes. Bishop e2. Let me prove my point. Queen, queen goes back to a5. Mm -hmm. White takes on f6. Mm -hmm. G takes f6 and castle short and let's say queen c7. In this position, white has huge uh, uh, attack, mm -hmm. uh, huge lead in development, uh, very good attacking possibilities. And additionally, he doesn't have a destroyed pawn structure. Yeah. In this position, white is clearly better. Mm -hmm. Or at least let's say he has Lots of compensation. Yeah, a lot of compensation because his pawn structure is also impact. So there is yeah. an attack for free here. And also an open line, I can even transfer yes, the rook here, yes, yes. or here, or mm -hmm. here, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's see this uh, game's continuation. So, a3, the idea of this move is that after queen takes b2, knight a4 traps the queen. Yes, mm -hmm. this simple this is, idea. This is the classical mm -hmm. trap in this uh, line, mm -hmm. usually. Now they play either bishop e7 or knight bd7. I have the feeling that bishop e7 is slightly more accurate, yes. yes. And bishop f2, queen c7, queen f3. All these have been played before. Knight bd7 or even knight c6 is playable here, I think. Mm -hmm. Castle, ah, knight c6. Okay. Yes, castle long, b5, g4. This is all theory. And now bishop b7 uh, as well as g5 are, are theory. Some very strong grandmasters have played this position. Here g5. Yeah, even before bishop b7. I, I have the feeling, I'm not 100% sure. After g4, g5 directly. g4, g5. g5 yes, this, I think this is also playable. Uh -huh. and, uh, In order to have the e5 square yes, for yes, the knight, especially course, very yes, important yes. square. Uh, so okay, so she played... Super top grandmasters have played this position. Uh, against each other, which means with both colors mm -hmm. and with good, re generally good results for, for black. Now she's thinking, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, to play maybe g5 Yes. or not. Yes. This is still theory. I do not know exactly. Uh, I think they play g5 or maybe even some rook c8. And, uh, rook c8, you mean? Yes, rook c8. But here, maybe after you move the bishop from uh, c8, G5, F5 may be possible. What do you think? Yes, yes, sure. Because sure, there's sure. now the pressure yes, on... Yes, yes. And then still black can, may go E5. E5, E5 yes. at, at some But point. now, the, is it good to play G5 I in such yes, kind of position? Yes, uh, still yes good, I think it is playable. Good. Yes, I ah, think it okay. is playable. I think this is still some still kind of, of theory. Yes. Ah, okay. So she's thinking, Marie Sobak, to play mm -hmm. uh, g5 uh, as uh, Yanis said, or I think they, they also play. Uh, I think they also play knight c5, maybe, maybe knight, knight c5. c5. Yes, make maybe pressure this. on e5. Yes, e5, and some yes. d5 ideas later. Mm -hmm. I think yes, yes. If rook h to e1, I think Let's say rook to I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I'm blundering something. Am I blundering? And if e5, of course, black would jump to e4 actively. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Looks actually. So, would you mm -hmm. rather be white or black in this position? <laughs> because I don't know theory, I would rather uh, <laughs> not be uh, <laughs> neither. Yes, yes, but right. if I had to choose, probably, probably black. Probably mm -hmm. black. Probably yes, black. yes. I feel this position a bit better for black. Uh -huh. This is also important. Usually, mm -hmm. Grandmaster feels, you know, mm -hmm. even though he doesn't know exactly the, yes. the moves, he yes. feels it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. This is the actually the experience, the I mean the knowledge and everything combined, and you have this feeling, mm -hmm. the sense, the, the sense, the intuition. Okay, we go to another game, number four. Board number four, Elina Danielian from Armenia versus Anna Ushenina from Ukraine. Both have four points. 
so, so so when I asked Elena to come to our live broadcast, he, she said that uh, she doesn't like uh, because it, uh, she thinks it brings her uh, bad luck. But I assured her that this time the curse will be broken. So I see that she's doing still fine yes, some in the tournament. Yes, people they have such kind of prejudice. You know, yes. they have this uh, how do you call this uh, belief that some things that they don't do it uh, usually uh, if they go out of their routine you know yes uh, because you know for example you are using this the uh, right kind of pen, pen, or pen <laughs> you change the pen it looks uh, bad luck uh, i will use once you lose you change it <laughs> you know yes. you have, you do, do you have different. such thing I, every, <laughs> every yes, player I but you won't every tell player. us yes some, <laughs> some players they have the same shirt for example yes that's always obvious always wearing the same shirt I, he doesn't even I mean, wash it <laughs> yes, in the end we all wish that he, <laughs> that, he, that, he, that he will lose one game for obvious reasons shirts everything you know you can have all these you know things to bring you luck or I mean after some time after you lose the game of course bad luck they say okay i don't want to use this shirt <laughs> i don't want to use this pen i will change it <laughs> and you like <laughs> i'm so really tempted to say my most important uh okay say it. My, but I'm, i think it will be bring me bad luck <laughs> 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 you will reveal your secret <laughs> and then uh, really opponents will beat luck. you you uh, see, you see? Yeah. typical <laughs> live example yeah. you, you see <laughs> Better let's 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 go on with the, with the oh, okay. <laughs> I will not insist on this. So uh, let's see this position d four d five. Okay, queen's gambit. Queen's gambit. Exchange vari exchange variation. Bishop g five c six. Queen c two. Bishop e6, lately this is popular, yes? Mm -hmm. I don't know, to be honest, I do not know much Maybe a6 thing. first, this was the, the, the no, Karsan's variation. Ah, yes, this is another. Another, this but another, this bishop right? e6... I don't know, but I know, uh, I know the move g6 instead, intending to play bishop f5, which is actually ah, yes. a very old move. Yes, actually bishop e6 maybe not in this mm -hmm. position, yes? Maybe yes, new no. move. Yes, I, don't, I do not know this, this bishop e6. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, it doesn't change the nature of the position so much. Six now. Yes. Bishop h4, knight b d7. Mm -hmm. Ah, probably. When Black plays the move h6, it is uh, it is uh, well known that he will do something unusual in this position. For example, mm -hmm. play bishop e7 and knight h5. He won't just castle short. Uh -huh. If he castles short, short, then g6 square is weak, and Black cannot follow the, the maneuver knight, knight f8, knight, f8, knight g6, g6 and everything. All these ideas. Uh, yes, and then he will maybe... Maybe castle long. Maybe he will be left without a plan if, if he play, just plays h6. Uh -huh. So uh, this is not a move that you just play. You have to have with black a very specific idea in mind. Yes. Bishop d2, d3, mm -hmm. g5. So this was probably her idea. Mm -hmm. Bishop g3, knight h5. Immediately attacking yes. this bishop. When we play g5, bishop g3, in, uh, in every opening we play knight h5 next move mm -hmm. and eliminate this bishop. So let's see the uh, knight g e2 and that's her move, yes? Anna mm -hmm. is now thinking. What do you think? Uh, I'm a bit surprised that black is thinking because after committing yourself with a move like g5 i believe you should know Not g2, uh, uh, yes you should know exactly what what uh, yes uh, what to do but maybe she's just trying to remember or to figure out move orders ivan would already mention something like it's different way uh, uh, brain of uh, 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 male chess players and female chess players work uh, yeah, yes <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I was. I, was, I, I remember a few years ago I was talking with uh, Ekaterina Atalik, and she also mentioned this uh, big difference, and she was laughing, you know, and enjoying, mm -hmm. uh, and she was telling me that uh, uh, actually she was making some jokes of the female way of, of thinking and of playing chess. And uh, she has every right to do that because she's, she's, a, because she's a female and actually a very very good chess player. Yeah. And she was, uh, you know laughing and uh, you know making fun of, of the way women think in chess so what is the difference I didn't understand well you are always uh, am I telling this but well I guess what specifically what is this difference specifically it's a uh, it seems Ivan is the expert you need to ask so we him. have to ask you will ask him you know yeah, okay and when he comes together when you do the program you know yes we, you we will can ask open him. the issue so okay. to 
to finally clarify for okay. everybody. Okay, so maybe I will we'll learn. As a man, he will tell us <laughs> the, the, the secrets of women's play. <laughs> okay, so okay, so let's. Uh, what do you, you don't say anything about this position, Yanis? I, I believe white is slightly better. Uh, you prefer white? Yes, we have to see what black has uh, in mind. In mind, no. yes. Yeah, actually, it's, uh, you're right. If she has this uh, opening, uh, immediately bishop b6, g5, knight h5. Uh, what's uh, what is she thinking for? She has to have this the plan, you know, at least yes, the plan yes, in her yes. mind. Maybe take on g3 and and uh, and if knight takes, play the but queen now, somewhere to to either but now b6. this a5 square, you know, it always is weak, a yes, problem. It is weak, but uh, then the bishop from f8 can become strong. So, for example, queen b6 and castle long, or queen c7, mm -hmm. or even yeah. queen a5. I don't know, and it is playable. Yes. Or maybe queen a5, mm -hmm. yes. And castle and long, castle I suppose. Long, yes. yes. Okay. So we go to board number five. Alexandra Goryachkina is playing against uh, Hanim Balayayeva from Azerbaijan. Alexandra Goryachkina from Russia, she has three and a half points, but Hanim Balayayeva, she has four points. Uh, so let's see this game. Okay, this is another uh, a Queen's Gambit exchange mm -hmm. variation. Queen's Gambit actually exchange declined and exchanged. <laughs> ah yes, once again let's explain uh, this. Uh, I, I had played this in. The, I had explained this in, in in the past, but let me repeat it. Somebody, some uh, inexperienced player may wonder. Let's just take a move back please may wonder why would white ever take on d5 and just as simple as that open the, uh, the bishop from c8 C8. this is very strange and at the same time this is considered maybe the best line for white how is this possible the the explanation is actually very difficult and uh, it's difficult positionally after c5 e5 let's say we play bishop uh, g5 knight bd7 or whatever knight bd7 e3 c6 so what we Bishop e7, yes, bishop e7 doesn't matter, so we develop the pieces. Castle, knight f3 or knight g2, c6, yes. So let's have a look. At this position, black, uh, ha all, all uh, the pieces are active, but at the same time, black has no pawn breaks. This is the very deep idea of the line c takes d5, e d5. The position is stabilized, and black doesn't have any play with pawns. This b5 move can hardly ever be a good move, only under very specific circumstances. c5 either, it cannot be a good move. At the same time, that wouldn't be important. The fact, the fact that black doesn't have pawn play wouldn't be important if white also didn't have pawn play but in reality bl uh, white does have play with his pawns he can play with a3 and b4 or with f3 and e4 in the long run or with knight e5 and f4 and g4 and everything so this is the problem for black that he has active pieces but no pawn play at all if if we don't take on if we take uh, play the classical uh, queen's uh, um, queen's gambit without taking on d5 for example let's say we play bishop g5 immediately Bishop e7, e3, for example, castle short, knight f3, knight b7, and rook c1, or bishop e2, or bishop d3. So in such a position, black's bishop on c8 is closed, but on the other hand, he has many pawn breaks. He can play c5, he can take on c4 and play c5, he can take on c4 and play a6, b5, and c5. He can even go for e5 uh, at, at, uh, at some yes, cases. Some point, yeah. So you see, this is the difference. Now black, uh, all of a sudden, by a magical way, he has many pawn breaks. So you explained it very well, actually, this pawn breaks mm -hmm. strategy mm -hmm. is very important to yes. have a plan. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. A useful plan, you know, mm -hmm. in order to take also the initiative, sure. because in chess the initiative is very important, you know. Yes. Uh, without pawn breaks, your uh, opponent always has the initiative. Exactly. Yes. Uh, if we or it may be completely equal if nobody has any no, pawn breaks, nobody. just moving the pieces, yeah. uh, we cannot. Usually, we cannot achieve much. Yeah. I must say that it's extremely interesting to me how Yanis explains uh, chess uh, uh, positions. And uh, I have never seen something like that before. And uh, uh, no wonder he has many uh, students, ma many more than he can handle, okay. as I heard. So. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
He doesn't want to speak too much. Okay. <laughs> With this uh, kind of compliments. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, we uh, w- let's go to the game. In the game, uh, probably this is a very classical position, yes, a very sure. uh, known it has position. Has been played many times. Many times. H3. Yes. And bishop f4 is uh, yes. is the best move here. And, and take takes and b takes yes because bl- uh, white now can play c4 or even e4 even yes. the break e4 yes c4 definitely e4. white has a small advantage mm-hmm. but black is solid enough and the game solid. continues most likely black at some moment will play bishop d6 to uh, to exchange this uh, strong bishop on f4 maybe knight g6 first or bishop d6 directly Mm-hmm. And white is maybe very slightly better, and the game continues. She did something, bishop d6, I think she did. Mm-hmm. Yes. And we don't have the move, but on the board it looks like mm-hmm. she played bishop d6, mm-hmm. as you mentioned, to get rid of, uh, rid of this uh, strong bishop on f4. Mm-hmm. So how is your assessment on this position, Yanis? Uh, white is definitely slightly better, but mm-hmm. black is very s- solid. And if black knows the plan beyond this position, and the, pl- the plans that uh, that will occur after the pawn structure will change again after an eventual c4 or e4, so if black knows uh, how to do and how to handle the pieces, then she has maybe she has good counterplay. Mm-hmm. Objectively, white is slightly better. I think there is no doubt. Yes. Okay. We move to. Number six, board number six, Ketaman Arakamia Grant from Scotland uh, versus Elizabeth Potts. Both have uh, three and a half points. Let me see. Okay. French defense. I see three, knight f6. Knight f3. Let's explain for just for a second. Instead of knight f3, let's suppose this is uh, a very typical mistake in amateur players' game. Mm-hmm. So, in White knows that I, I will play knight f3 and bishop e3 according to the theory, and he starts with bishop e3. Mm-hmm. This is a very typical mistake. Uh, to the unexperienced eye, it's, it looks like it's the same thing. But, uh, bishop e3 and then knight f3 but in reality now black should take advantage of the fact that uh, white's dark square bishop is very important and it cannot be exchanged for a knight and instead of playing knight c6 knight f3 which would will transpose to a good position for uh, black we are we all know that black will first play c takes d4 of mm-hmm. course so that uh, a bishop will appear on d4 and then play knight c6 and now white cannot afford to play knight f3 because this bishop is very important and he, he will have, uh, he to, will have to move the bishop back and then he's losing some tempi. Exactly. So knight f3 was played, knight c6 and b6, uh, no, bishop e7 first, queen d2 and b6. Not, again not b6. <laughs> okay. I don't know why he doesn't, she doesn't because, play b6. Uh, yes. So the idea of this move b6 is that um, in many lines, lines white wants to take on c5 and uh, occupy d4 square. After b6 this is not possible because black will take with the pawn. On the other hand, this is all at the same time a little bit passive for Pass. black. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, castle short. Castle short because if uh, if uh, if white uh, castles long, la- castles long, then black will immediately has a very fast attack with c4, intending b5. Let's play this for a while. This uh, should have been a big positional mistake, unless there is some very concrete idea in for white. So c4, and without hesitate, uh, let's say white plays g4. Yes, uh, Maybe f5 is a good move, but g4. A6, no, no, no. Uh, black will, without hesitating will play directly b5. b5. These pawns do not matter at all. What matters here is only the initiative. Yeah. A6 would be a big waste of time, and so would be rook b8, for example. We play b5 directly, try this, and you will see no player with the white pieces would dare to take this pawn, and you, you will win a tempo. If yeah. if he takes black, black will have a very fast attack, probably even winning by force. Winning by force. Mm-hmm. Uh, Arachamia was our guest as well, so mm-hmm. recently, 
And besides, uh, in addition to, to being a very nice, very polite lady, I really enjoyed the, the way she analyzed the, yes. the, her game. You know, the first time that I played with Miss Arahamia, if I'm not mistaken, was in 1994, if you can believe. In 19, 1994. Yes, so many years ago. 25 years ago. Yes, I was uh, 18, around 17, 18 or something. And, uh, and I lost the game really badly, if I remember correctly, <laughs> yes. Then some years later, one or two years later, I took the revenge yes. and I won. If I, rem if I can recall correctly, I'm not sure 100%. She's a great player and a very polite person. Uh, Elizabeth Patz played F5 here. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about this F5 move? Yes, uh, this is also a typical uh, idea, mm -hmm. blocking the, the center, and uh, if white goes for g4, mm -hmm. for example with king h1, yes. uh, in, intending some rook g1 and g4 uh, stuff, then black usually defends maybe with some rook f7, knight f8, or even moving the queen somewhere, uh, black can even move the queen, uh, let's say to c7, maybe a6 first, rook g1, let's say bishop b7, and after g4, black, okay, now th these are not maybe not the most accurate mo moves. You uh, want to yes, let's and take, on, take D4. on d4. Yes, yes, yes. And white always, get, black always gets e6 square in case of g takes a 5 e takes a 5 and a knight appears on shortly on e6, protecting g7 square. For example, we take on d4, uh, here bishop takes, yes, bishop takes, maybe bishop c5 or knight c5. Uh, maybe knight c5 or even a6 let's say knight c5 no knight c5 and if g takes f5 we just want to show the general idea that uh, the knight will appear on e6 this is very typical mm -hmm. stuff so instead white chose to to open the position with e takes f6 and yes now on one hand white would probably wish the f pawn to be back on f2 now mm -hmm. usually f4 pawn uh, goes together with an e4 pawn or an e5 pawn. Just f4, f4 pawn alone is not, uh, uh, sometimes it's, it's, it's not, not so good. It's not as effective yes. as, as the pawn Exactly, is, uh, yes, yes. yes. So an f, uh, just remember, this is a rule of thumb. An f4 pawn needs an e4, uh, this is a general rule, of course, needs also an e4 or an e5 pawn. Mm -hmm. They work together very well. So I guess in this position, the uh, job of f4 pawn is more to support e5 square. Yes, but at the same time, uh, this f4 itself can be a little bit weak, weak and also e4 square is, is slightly more weak. And also, most important, the bishop from e3 is uh, has lost some of its potential. This squares f4 and g5. Exactly. Yes. She played now king h1. This, maybe she's afraid of knight g4. Yeah, mm -hmm. bishop d6, knight e5. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is actually looks. Uh, Another two moves have been played. Bizarre, yeah. Bishop b4 and bishop, bishop f3, b7, yes. And now bishop b7, what happened now? Bishop f3. Bishop f3. Mm -hmm. What so if c takes d4 now? Yeah, what if c takes d4? Mm -hmm. I don't think knight c6 is. Yeah, good we should probably should take on Take or, or, or the bishop, yes. Bishop so takes d4. Mm -hmm. And now, I don't know. And now, uh, if white can maintain the, the, the blockade, can keep the blockade on the dark squares, I think she, she, white will have a, a small advantage. Mm -hmm. But this is the blockade is insecure now. Yes, it's very insecure. Maybe black should take on d4. Now, yes, exchange and play a move. I don't know, like. Or maybe not take on d4, I don't know. Yes, it seems that white may have a small advantage, actually. Yeah. I changed my mind. Yes. Here. Uh, maybe black should not take yet on d4. Yes, maybe instead of c takes d4, black can play something else, which I cannot figure out at this moment. I have the feeling white is, I don't know if you agree, Slightly bit. Uh, Eva and you. John, but uh, I think white we is agree with you. <laughs> white is well, uh, as you mentioned, uh, I changed my mind. I actually, I changed also my mind. <laughs> uh, at first look, uh, maybe optically, it looks like you give this bishop, you know, this mm -hmm. uh, black bishop of white is giving. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't look like it's a good idea, but 
the more you lo you look, this E6 pawn mm -hmm. is weak, is yes. weak mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know, it will be some problems mm -hmm. uh, in the future for black. You know, uh, the, all the players who are watching, they have to know that it's not so simple to give a very fast and correct assessment of the position. Yes. I mean, it won't be the same if we just sit over the board and think for 20 minutes, just like in, in complete silence, just like the players are yeah. doing. Then we would probably give our most, uh, our best opinion, our, our most scientific op opinion. But mm -hmm. for the moment, we just try to grasp maybe the pos some positional elements of the position. Not even tactics can be calculated that yeah. fast and that easy. And definitely not as good as a computer, as your computer can do it. The, for example, the most primitive way of playing, for example, let's say, let's take here. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Take here, attack the queen, mm -hmm. maybe d3, let's yes, say. Sure. And, and, and now, what to do with black? Maybe actually this is what black is going to play. You played very normal moves. <laughs> maybe queen c7, for example. Although <laughs> very normal moves. Yes, I or queen c8 maybe. Or queen c8. Ah, uh, intending uh, bishop a6. Bishop also, a6. Yes. Oh, yes. Good uh -huh. move. Good move. Uh -huh. Maybe I play rook. I don't know. Uh, yes. F3 and that's one. the problem. We would like to keep the rook on, on yes. f1. This e6 pawn uh, mm -hmm. will always be a, a problem. Yes, yeah, sure. And but if black can somehow protect it with some rook, for example, it is it is playable. Playable. Uh, Yes. Maybe at one point, but still not so easy to play bishop g4, but I, I don't know how. Bishop or bishop b4 here to bishop take. Bishop b4. Bishop b4 this. Ah, bishop b4 yes. here and then play knight e4. And, yes, and take on c3 and play knight e4. Uh -huh. yeah. And, yeah, maybe this is and as I say in this position, we both have a bad game. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah maybe actually this is the way she should play. Eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe we go to... Ekaterina Atalik's game, mm -hmm. she's playing on the seventh board, uh, she has three and a half points and she plays against a very strong player, Natalia Zhukova from mm -hmm. Ukraine. Ekaterina was working with uh, uh, Lub Lubomir Vtachnik from Slovakia, maybe they are still working together, he, he was uh, he, like uh, her chess coach. Uh -huh. so. And he knows a great deal of chess. This I can tell. He has written Is she some still great books. Uh, I, I believe so. I met uh, uh, Lubomir in last year in Kantimansisk, and he was mm -hmm. with Ekaterina in November. But uh, I don't know about the current situation. I believe they are still working together. E4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, and bishop b4. Uh, Indian. Knight, knight of three, English. yes. Of this three. is not w uh, yet an independent system because yeah. it can transpose to various G3 lines. G three and you are yes. G three, E three, or and bishop G five. Bishop F four. Bishop F four. Yes, this is uh, interesting move. Interesting, but a bit a bit rare. Rare, yes. Yes, is it maybe possible for Black here to just instead of playing D five? Of course, this is a matter of taste to take on C three immediately. Uh, to take on C. Yes, yes, immediately and play uh, D6. Uh, on one hand, I I don't like that Black uh, took directly on C3 without uh, A3. without uh, waiting for A3. Without wasting yes, the on tempo. the on the other hand, Black is close to achieving uh, the move E5 with gain of tempo mm -hmm. and uh, equalize uh, the, the tempi. I think yeah. this is pretty much playable. Yeah. Uh, if you want to take on c3, I will give you a, rule, uh, a hint, a rule of thumb. Make sure that the, the knight is on e3. If the knight is on, uh, still on g1 and you take on, on c3, white usually takes with a b-pawn and goes knight e2, knight g3. Mm. Mm -hmm. If the knight it's is better on in this position. g1, mm -hmm. and then you go to yes. e3. Yes. yes. So don't take on c3 before mm -hmm. the knight moves. Mm -hmm. In such a position, you know, after knight f3, I think even Nimzovic himself, instead of castling, he used to take on c3 when he saw the move knight f3. Uh -huh. Yes. So d5, this mm -hmm. is a, maybe some proposition, uh, uh, transposition to some kind of Ragozin system. Ragozin, sure, sure. You know, one question would be, did Nimzovic handle the Nimzo Indian better than modern Grandmaster? The, the answer is absolutely not. Okay, <laughs> modern grandmaster, of, of course, they know a lot more. So, bishop f4, d5 was played. This is clearly a matter of taste. e3, d takes, d takes c4. c4, bishop takes c4. This and takes c4, uh, you, you know, this uh, immediately when, when we see a very experienced player playing such a move uh, with black, we know 
immediately that she has a very concrete idea in mind. Yes. So when Otherwise I see D takes C4, I know that Black is going to play knight D5 next move, definitely. Uh -huh. Or C5, something really very specific, not just knight develop D5. the pieces. Yes, yes. This is the idea why. Mm -hmm. And now, Rook C1 is the ambitious move. If ambitious bishop, move. Yes, if Bishop takes D5, E takes D5, and Black is already uh, slightly more comfortable here. Very quiet, very easy play, c6 and everything. Uh, a very nice bishops, yes. version, yes, a very nice version of the... Ragozin. Uh, yes, of the Ragozin of the Karlsbad structure. Karlsbad structure, structure. Yes, right. sure. okay, yes, sure. So, rook c1. So, rook c1. Yes. B, f, bishop takes c3. Mm -hmm. First. Mm -hmm. And now knight Take takes f4, second. Yes. And she wanted to exchange on c3 first. Uh, do you, can you tell me why? Why not first knight takes... F4. Maybe it's not so Maybe easy because the, the, then White would have taken on C3 with the rook, uh, 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 intending, example, yes, yes, intending to transfer the rook uh, after some eventual 95 to transfer it to the uh -huh. king side. Maybe very, this is very the good idea. explanation. Yes. If she wouldn't take it first on C3, mm -hmm. now she White has the, for example, if she takes, she has the here, choice. She has, she the, has choice the choice to take, take and transfer the rook. Yes, or maybe take with H3 a with a bit and normally we should not give uh, our opponents uh, free choices. I mean, yeah. Yes. Also, maybe she has if we some can limit pressure the choices, on the C line. Also, there is also this. Mm -hmm. I don't even have mm -hmm. to transfer. Maybe mm -hmm. I will make some pressure. Of on course. The C -line. Even ideas with F five are possible. Yes, F five. Uh, but sometimes it's lost po in lost position. It's very good to give opponents to many give, choices, yes, so you're, we you're can make so a mistake. You're so wise and experienced. That that is correct. Yes. In in positions. Uh, Eva says that in positions where we are objectively lost and there is maybe some time travel or anything, we should not uh, allow our opponent to have some very clear solution, but instead give him many ways to beat us and maybe one of these ways uh, maybe is not working. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now bishop takes c3 first and knight takes f4 second and now I think she played b6. Mm -hmm. Very normal. b6, and castle, bishop, b7. Mm -hmm. and uh, yes, in, white in the long run. Queen e2. Yes, in the long run, uh, if white needs to play uh, dynamically and actively, and he has such possibilities because he, uh, she has active pieces, but in the long run, if uh, white doesn't do anything, this uh, destroyed pawn structure uh, will lead to black's advantage. If mm -hmm. nothing much is happening and black achieves uh, some c4, c5, c5 c takes yes. d4 and everything, all this sure. wrecked pawn structure will, will begin to tell. So what will be the white's idea in this position? Maybe to play for f5 or, or move the bishop and c4, I, uh, I, don't, I don't believe this is the correct idea. Maybe some Let's knight say for, e5. for example, I play knight d7, knight d7 and in order to play mm -hmm. c5. Mm -hmm. Yes. What will, she will play knight e5 or something? How she will continue? Or rook mm -hmm. fd1? Rook fd1 is one move, or knight e5, maybe even knight e5. But then I'm worried about... Uh, or maybe some bishop uh, d3 and c4. Yes, yes, yes. Some yes. Uh, Maybe rook like fd, I would rather play rook fd1. For, first or, rook fd1. Yes, or knight e5, maybe. Uh -huh. Yes, this. To, because now I see that the queen doesn't have black queen doesn't have yeah. a very convenient square. Yeah. Uh, More for example, I see that if she plays like this, then maybe bishop a6. In yes, the, might be moment. possible. Should, because should, now the queen should. side is getting is, weak. Yes, what you're absolutely thinking? right. Yes, yes. And that c4 is coming. Mm -hmm. White is is heading for dynamic play, and uh, black wants to defend for many moves, yeah. and then she will automatically be better if nothing Trying much happens. Trying to exploit her advantage with the structure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so we'll see an interesting game, uh, but uh, I think we will have a short break now, mm -hmm. and uh, after the short break, maybe we'll have a new guest.
Dear chess friends, we are back again. I said we'll have some guests, but he couldn't make it. Maybe later we'll have uh, our surprising guest. So uh, we start uh, with uh, the game between Sophie Millier from France uh, against Natalia Pogonina uh, from Russia. They both have three and a half points. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, check the game. Yes. So let's have a look. It's the Italian game. We spoke already about this very, very fashionable opening. Mm -hmm. uh, there are four ways to play. This bishop c5 is supposedly the best way. In, mm -hmm. I disagree. But uh, most top players play this way with bishop c5. There are another. There are other three ways to play. It's this position. And now, after you learn some sublines like knight g5 or d4 or knight c3, mm -hmm. you get to the main line, which is d3. And now we, uh, Black can play this system and castle short. Mm -hmm. I think this was chosen in the game. Or Black can play another very interesting system, which can be played in two uh, ways. This uh, So this gives us in total four ways to handle the Italian. One way is with h6 and g5, and the other way is with h6 and g6, no matter what black, uh, white Golden. plays. Yeah. So this last way of handling the position with h6 and g6, it requires uh, for black to study all the typical games, but it doesn't require specific theory. The computer always gives a big advantage to white, but this is uh, completely wrong. This is uh, deceiving because uh, it is based on, uh, com on the computers. The computer always plays at some moment c3, d4, and d5, and consider this position uh, much better for white, only because it resembles the king's Indian. Okay. Our new guest actually arrived now to the studio. Welcome, Adrian. Welcome. I said maybe here, he please. will show up later. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. You sit in the middle. Okay. Uh -huh. No, no, it's enough. Okay. No space. 
Can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. So, hello, sir. Hello, hello, hello. So, uh, Mr. Adrian Miachishin is with us. Welcome, Adrian. Yes, welcome. Uh, My pleasure. How are you doing? Uh, everything is okay. Okay. Hope that the final result will be okay of my players. So yes. I'm just you are working with Turkish Turkey, national yes, team. Yes. And also yesterday, Turkish yesterday girl. happened something which happens, which never uh, practically never happens. All five girls won. Oh, so it was all unbelievable. unbelievable. It has unbelievable. happened to me only once. In yeah, otherwise, only was such things only once happened. So <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> mem uh, but, uh, memory, everybody nice sweet memories. Everybody thinks that Turkish uh, young, especially the young generation, are coming. You know, uh, from uh, uh, Turkish young generation. Especially, I'm very Bumichers. impressed about how young uh, girl Turkish play, uh, girls, players girls, are playing. Girls yes. are improving very much. With boys, uh, there is not so. Uh, let's say no, no, okay. Improvement exists, but no, no such bright, star, bright stars like Vahab Shanal, uh, Jamil Ali Marandi, Jamil Jan Ali Marandi, but I understand uh -huh. no such bright stars uh -huh. uh, at the moment, except maybe uh, Ishik Jan. Maybe, uh -huh. but he he has to prove he has to get some medals. Uh -huh, yes. they, because this generation won the medals uh, and became yeah. GM, so it was fantastic generation. Yes, Still, he became the youngest uh, yeah. international master. Yes, and now in they Turkish are. Yes, uh, they are all these three guys are the, let's say based of Turkish national team practically yeah, for le sure. for next five eight years. So yeah. now new generation has to come. Among girls, it will be natural changing of the. Because girls are much more serious than boys everywhere. Mm -hmm. They study the university seriously, so they have many of them. They have problems to continue with chess after the school. True. It's it's everywhere. Like it's not just in Turkey. It's a, it's everywhere. Such such problem exists. And also here, the progress is, uh, that Sula made. Uh, we are seeing it. Uh, she is beating all the 2300 players. So yeah. it is it is fantastic, fantastic result. She could beat another one uh, one player. Uh, I mean Austrian. I think Austrian Exler. She was practically okay, with, uh, not winning, but with very good chances to win. Technically, some it was not easy problem to win, but the girl Austrian girl defended extremely well. She has uh, beaten Olga Zimina all the, yes, all the first round. Yeah, yeah, Olga Zimina, and then she beat Beidulayeva, and oh, yeah. very strong. Very strong players, players, very experienced players. players. Yes, and yes. then uh, in the last in the last round she have beaten... Uh, who was it? I forgot. Who was? Uh, forgot the name. So uh, let me see. I will show you, tell you who has she beaten. So the uh, Mai Narva, Ma, from, Narva from, from Estonia, yes, quite yes. strong player at 2380. Yes, 2365. So, 2365, so quite strong, strong player, strong. yes. So it's GM level. Woman and I GM checked level. the game, we, we checked yesterday with uh, Yanis yeah. the last part of the game, actually, it was an ending yeah. with Rook and Bishop uh, versus Rook yeah, and Bishop yeah. with different mm -hmm. uh, color, opposite color Bishop. but. The beginning of the game also I checked, she played, played perfectly well. Yeah, perfectly well. She, yes. It's really good level. She yes, Salachala so is actually coming now. With yeah, the, yes, uh, it's clear that we have... stronger and stronger every day. We have uh, Esma, Duran, Izer who can have uh, uh, chances plus new girl Chizel, mm -hmm. new, she's, she's new coming, Cholo, yes. she's coming, improving, so we will, I think we will monitor she will her, be, she yeah. will include her in national team's preparation, so it's clear that she has uh, some All chances. the potentials. Yes, yes. Plus, two girls who are now not able to play because of exams, yes. uh, Chayil and, uh, 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 yes. uh, and uh, Duru, uh, yes. Duru, two yes. girls, yes, yes, two girls didn't. They had no, and yeah. they are from na from national team last year national team. So now they they have to fight. <laughs> they left for half a year. Yeah. Now this is the new girl suddenly came. So they have to fight for their place. It was it seems that they are for sure for next few years. <laughs> now yeah. nobody is very good when you have some let's say competition in the national team. Yeah. Okay, Adrian. We start with the analysis of the games, and Yanis was explaining us this mm. position. The opening, mm -hmm. the 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 possibilities <coughs> that Black can uh, has against the Italian game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bishop c5 was played instead yeah, of yeah. this, the most popular move. Uh -huh. So let's so go. Let's few go. moves back, Chan. Yeah. Uh, yes, sure. 
So bishop c5 was played. You know, I must tell, when in my young years somebody played, there was one player or somebody played uh, such stuff, he used to, everybody used to laugh and said that he's a lazy guy, mm -hmm. doesn't want to study three moves of the theory. Uh, you mean Spanish? No, no anything, but not ah, that. Anything, ah, anything. Okay. Any, any, any line, but not ah. that. Lazy, lazy opening. Lazy opening, okay. Absolutely lazy. You mean the line with knight? Uh, oh, knight d2, knight f1, uh, uh, this is all, all, all this stuff. Uh -huh. Lazy line. <laughs> this is called lazy line. Lazy, huh? Of course, lazy line. Of course, lazy line. <laughs> easy to play, yeah? yeah. Yes, easy to play, relax, not necessary to study openings, yeah. you don't need to do anything. So, but, okay, it's modern chess. Modern chess, okay. Yes. A4 now, new move. Not new, there, there are many things. B4, somebody plays, somebody don't like to touch pawns on that side. It's, mm -hmm. you know, there are many strategies you can do. What you just, your imp impulse, you say, okay, I want now to, to play this. Uh -huh. Nothing changes. Uh -huh. Okay. But in chess, of course, we are accustomed that every move has some cost, time, you know, cost something, it's the price of the move. Here there is no price. Uh -huh. for, okay, for 12, 15 moves, then it starts. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. You see, uh, Yanis, he has so interesting uh, ideas. Yes. Not interesting, <laughs> there are, there are <laughs> because of huge experience, huge old, experience old, old, different approach. Old, old guys, yes. old guys have uh, this uh, experience. The experience talks, of course. Castles, I'm passing. H3 is yes, part. Rook mm -hmm. E1. Uh -huh. This Rook E1 usually allows Knight G4, knight but G4. because H6 has been played, yes, then after H6 you don't have the, the, the knight knight possibility yeah, to yeah. play Knight uh, H6 and then to play F5 yeah. still, you know. Mm -hmm. So you have to make yeah, yeah. King H8 uh, and yeah. then maybe Knight G4 yeah. F5. Bishop E6. Bishop E6. Okay. Oh, you see, bishop is here is always a question to play bishop e6 uh, immediately. Rook e8 was maybe, no, queen b3 was not a move. So uh, usually people prefer to prepare it with uh, rook e8. Uh -huh. And take with the rook you or take the rook, yes. yes. Not to make, mm -hmm. because double pawns always, you know, sometimes make, makes problems. Okay, it protects d5, f5, but generally it can make problems because not mobile. You, you cannot move it forward mm -hmm. very well. Actually, and one can attack it with pawns yeah. or later, with pieces? Later, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes but in a way she prepared it because she played h6. Now yeah. you don't have knight g5. Maybe uh, but queen b3, but you but knight queen g5 is never, never a threat. Queen c8, knight d8, so it's yes. not, not In the long threat. run, these pawns yeah. may become In the long run. In the end game, maybe. Yes, in the end game. In the middle game, it's okay. Even a file is open, so nothing wrong. B4. Okay. Bishop goes back. Yes. Knight f1. Knight h5. A typical plan mm -hmm. in yes. this situation, yes. Yeah. Bishop e3. Probably these are all normal, yeah? Yes. Takes, takes. Ta rook takes. Yeah, knight takes because knight is not coming to f5. So yeah. knight better will be in defense maybe on g3. Mm -hmm. Queen e8, intending to play queen g6 probably. Mm -hmm. uh, now b5, b5, knight a5. This is uh, strange for me. What do you think, knight a5? But okay, you know, if he wants to, to close. Out of the game here on yeah. a5. Yeah, knight, knight e7 or knight, knight e8 or e7 looks knight much e7 more logical. Knight e7 maybe queen b3 someday. Yes, queen b3 or, or some d4 or, maybe. Yes. No, knight, be queen knight, queen but queen knight d8. But maybe but not. But look at this knight. But maybe this knight has some, uh, let's say, function here. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll see. Maybe yeah. maybe it will come to b3. Maybe closing a, a file is useful. Mm -hmm. And then the queen g6 and doubling rook on uh, on a file. Mm -hmm. Okay. We will see it in development. Rook b1. Yes. Mm -hmm. Probably uh, if she moves the queen from d1, she doesn't yeah. want her to play yeah. at b3 and maybe later. Yeah, and also she protects uh, b5 pawn, yes, which queen is g6, under queen g6 is and possible. And protecting b5, yeah, yes. yes, exactly. Queen g6, okay, is a move, but no, b6, okay, b6. it's possible to start with this, no problems. No, she's disturbed with this knight, probably, she yeah. wants to go to b7. Not yet, but okay, but uh, so they wants to be something? safe. Wants to be safe. Well, I think some moves has been played. The knight, yes, I yes, see the knight moves. on yes, f4. Sure. Yes. Okay, so moves. they played many moves. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. After uh, b6, knight. Wait a, minute, wait a minute. If if somebody plays knight d2 back, means he doesn't like the position. Uh huh. You see. Mm -hmm. 
experience so to the same yeah, place yeah, that yeah. or maybe here. she wants to play g3 and protect this knight on f3 very well yes maybe g3. yes yes protecting yes but so queen, much um, over yeah. protection you know you oh. have the rook on e3 yeah. queen on d1 <laughs> another knight so to I protect maybe, yes. many maybe, pieces. Maybe, maybe and i'm attacking with only one piece anyhow a b a b and queen g6 something like this will be played Okay, anyway, a, B, A, B, knight F4, F4, first, rook F1, queen F1. G3 is the G3 idea is probably. Now queen H5. Queen H5, yes, I think she played queen H5. We can see on the board. Now... No, evaluation is clear that black has some play, white has no play. No, actually you're right. But why do you take on E6 if you are afraid so if much you are of opening, the e opening is this line, yeah? What is the uh, why? Why uh, on earth you are taking? Because if white manages to consolidate very well with this double on, on, on the king side, yeah. then uh, but white had good play. He, but generally yes, yeah. against this uh, structure, d4 is a, is a medicine. It's not, mm -hmm. It was necessary to play d4 earlier mm -hmm. yeah, and to try she, to she attack. She couldn't this. play d4. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe now. But now we know with queen d1, knight f1, d4 was more logical. Yes. Mm -hmm. But then knight c4, knight c4. Maybe b5 was not necessary. Maybe d4 immediately. So it's it's very very dubious play was this plan. Knight yes, but dubious two, knight, play, yes. yes, yes, queen f1. It's very like, passive. It's like she Extremely doesn't know passive. what to do. Very passive. You have to play dynamic chess. You know always. Yeah. To yeah. to press opponent a bit. If you don't press opponent, so what can you what can you do? Yeah, probably black is a very easy yes. game now. What do you think? Yeah, but what, what will be the black's plan now? Okay, to double, but double, on double rooks, yes, and maybe g5 if it's possible. G4, so what do you think, Yanis? Uh, well, I have slightly different opinion. I, I you I, like white's position? Well, no, I, I don't consider that white is worth, uh, worse. I consider this uh, equal. equal in my mind. I'm not sure at all, of course. We have mm. to go deep in the position. What Andrian is suggesting is quite clear. Maybe rook up six and put the other. Yes, look, in chess is the most important thing is to have to clear plan, mm -hmm. easy plan. Mm -hmm. If somebody has easy plan, uh, it is advantage. Yeah, sure, sure. If I you don't have easy plan, you start to invent something, start yes. to mix yeah. this, pro try this, try this from different sides, yes? yes. Yeah. And if your name is not uh, Magnus Carlsen, yeah. then yes. it becomes yes. Yes. Magnus yes. Carlsen, yes. exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so, but I mean that yeah. here yeah. this doubling... Yeah. 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 What is this? Balasaray? No, there is no, there is some uh, in at the hotel some team or some ah. team, football team. Yeah, they are screaming. Or oh, maybe some supporters of Miss Pogonina, which yeah. who believe that uh, she has a good attack here. Yes. Yeah, I probably she thinks she has a good attack. No. Yes. Uh, they, they white white has fans. to make something. White has to invent something. Mm -hmm. If white is not playing like this until but to this moment, defensive and passive, so black will make two moves and the uh, game is over. Yeah. So what do you recommend for uh, white to play on se on the center? Uh, only yeah, only d4 is an mm -hmm. no option. Only d4. Mm -hmm. yeah, only d4. Yes. No other options. Mm -hmm. But sometimes G3 is not possible. Oh, G3, knight H3 and then doubling, H3, and doubling, G2, and, no, and then, then doubling. doubling, yes. And killing you're on right, F2. You're right. Also, how knight to protect G5, on no, F2. It's very difficult, very difficult. Yeah, very difficult. White made uh, huge problems. For yes, you're right. G3 is not possible. No, it's not D4 to try. D4, pawn takes, pawn takes. Maybe D4, huh? Yes, pawn takes, pawn takes. Maybe pawn. You will maybe. take, yeah? Yes, and rook, rook F7 now. Or rook, because rook... But uh, because rook f7 may be e5, yes. Why not? Uh, rook f5, f6, maybe e5. Also. Yes, yes. Rook f6. So then now flexible. Then rook g6, what's, what's, what's going on here? But nothing threats. Pawn d6, take some weakness, no, no, knight let, e4. Let, if I play, no, no, for I mean, example, rook no, f6. I mean, yeah. it's not, not a threat. Uh -huh. Then g3. Now g3. No, no. Uh, e5, rook g6. And rook g6. g3. G3. Uh -huh. uh, maybe now here. I cannot go back to g yes, yes. e5, yes? And you will if stay I there. give check, yes. you just play here, and now yes. this pressure is not enough. Not Maybe enough. black has another possibility to play rook f6 without taking on uh, on d4. It is maybe. riskier, of course, yes, I understand. Risky, but, yes, but, but maybe, maybe. Yeah. Maybe it is possible. Uh, yes, maybe uh, just take yes. 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 Double, yes. yeah, double, accept there. double pawns and uh -huh. play rook yes. f6 here. Yeah, of course, this is also a good idea, yeah. maybe, mm -hmm. uh, because you have all the attacking chances yes, yes, still. Yes. Yeah, you're right. 
this is also possible now. Because now, maybe now, the, why she went to the night to A5, we can understand. To mm -hmm. control the yes. C4 yes. square. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. C4 and, and to keep close A file, to, to keep, uh, to stop counterplay. Yeah. On the A file. On the, on the A file, exactly. No, I mean, the black plan is easy. White has to to hurry with something, but I don't know what is what. Rook f8 and g5. And g5. Or maybe rook g6. Maybe and then g6. come back again up to g3. And, I am. So what to do with, with white? I don't like white position. Too much so. pressure, huh? Yeah, yeah. And too much easy play, you know. The, the worst play, thing, yeah. when you play against opponent and he has easy plan and you try to, you know, to invent something. Yeah. And you can't. Okay, okay, let's go to some. Let's other. go to another game. Mamadzada Gunai from Azerbaijan versus Marina Brunello from Italy. Maria Brunello. Uh, yes, Marina Brunello against. Uh, wait a minute here. Okay, I don't know what this opening is. E4, E5. Okay, knight F6. Okay, Petrov. Yeah. Defense. Mm -hmm. Knight takes E5. C6, mm -hmm. takes E4, Bishop oh. D3. Okay, it's Morozevich move many years ago. Morozevich tried it. It's just tricky, tricky. Business. Tricky, okay. Nothing serious. Nothing serious. Of course not. C3. Yes, Bishop C2, D4, the plan is. Uh -huh. Bishop C2. At the end, it's position like in French exchange, uh, E5, D4, D5. Or in some bench of Berlin defense, yes, yes, symmetrical. Yes, uh -huh. Symmetrical, yeah. Not too much problem for yeah. Black, yeah? Of course. <laughs> C5. Yeah, it's more ambitious uh, way, trying to attack. Uh, to avoid, first of all, to avoid symmetrical positions mm -hmm. after d5 and to attack center with knight c6. Mm -hmm. it's quite, I played in similar position against Psakis once, something like this. Against Psakis. But yeah. it's from other move order. With white or with black? black with black. Uh -huh. I played something like this. C5 is logical. Queen d3. <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> no, it's. I like it, but. Uh, threat is quite uh, like simple. Uh, not simple, just for um, let's say for threat is for kids. Yes, for <laughs> kids threats. Bishop G5 and it's uh, Bishop C6. Bishop G5. Yeah, kids, uh, kids G6. strategy. But just a second. If, uh, if instead of Bishop G5 was Knight G5 possible, just one. What was question. the same? G6. G6 again. Yes. And then yes. Uh, something G3. But yeah, Queen G3. Uh, yes. No, no, but maybe the D, D, D4 is yes, 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 yes. king. So she played G6, knight, A3. Strategy is a bit strange, strategy of white. Yes, this, yeah, you're right. King G7, this, this is also strange. Is not, she wants to control the black square. Knight G8, or maybe squares. she wants to play knight G8. Maybe. Because Queen D2, she will play knight. Yeah, Queen, Queen, D2, Queen D3, knight for example. Probably, yeah. Queen D3, she will do it. H3, takes, takes, and H6. Yes. Should be three, takes, takes, and now I think this is the position. No, there is another move. D5, many, many moves, D5, I think. D5, many, D5, many, nine, many moves nine, D5. Uh, D5, Queen F4, Queen F4. attacking oh, eight, six. So, what is this position? Knight G8. I don't know. Knight G8, Bishop G5, maybe later. Maybe she can How uh, black will play after knight g8? No, it's Do you have any recommendation? No, oh, knight g8 is possible with the idea of bishop g5, so... Okay. And also maybe forced, you know? Yeah. What no, rook h8 he maybe she considers what, what is better, yeah. What rook I think is rook h8? Oh, the knight e4 that can be idea and bishop g5. Uh -huh. some other additional uh -huh. advantage. So for example, rook, rook on e8 or on h8 stays nobody cares, you know, yeah. but if knight is on e4 or on h7 is different. Uh -huh. so let's see knight g8, for example. What is the white's plan now? I don't think white has some big plans here. Yeah, how she will continue? Maybe bishop b3, for example. Bishop b3. Yes. If yeah, maybe bishop she wants to attack d5. Pawn, yes, eh? if bishop g5 to go back to f3 and take maybe we even with a pawn. Yes, yes. Attack, yeah. yeah. 
maybe now maybe night, night f6 night seven, f6 or night e7 seven or night f6 maybe yeah. i wanted to play e7 because i want to free this f6 yeah. square so or maybe, maybe f6 is better. knight f6 knight e4 was another option knight f6 knight e4 yeah yes. sure maybe it's time for white to improve the knight from a3 it has knight to be b5 knight yeah. c3 knight b5 nice to play yeah, then uh, yes, you are right. Okay, probably this is the idea. Then you you go bishop b3. Telling from this point bishop of view, of course, uh, much more logical is immediately b5, and then knight c3. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, probably you are right. Uh, this is maybe better. But this, you know, position is not not very dynamic, so it's a bit a bit okay. Symmetrical positions are never dynamic. They are for some. Uh, period of time there are some let's say some small advantage some improvement of the of the pieces some yeah. uh, but slight advantage looks like for white eh? probably but after rook h8 i'm not sure because the two bishops and d5 is a yeah, little bit a little bit weaker yes than vulnerable what do you think because white little is option bit. white knight c3 bishop b3 queen f3 is the white idea yes yeah uh, what is black's idea we don't know Oh, queen d7, rook d8, protected. So Just to pro protect, defensive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's the moment defensive. Then maybe, Solid, but... Maybe to attack d4 somehow. Mm -hmm. But how? With bishop f6, as you told. Yeah, but not so easy. Yes, not because so easy. You to bring uh, the forces into play and then yeah, yeah. see what happens. Because yeah. of d5 always, we know. Yeah, okay, this, the is, this is but long, we'll see. long play. Long yes. play. Long play, yeah. Okay, we move to Stavrogoj. Cholakidu from Greece versus Elizaveta Solozhenkina from Russia. Okay, let's go to the opening. Yanis will know the opening now. Mm -hmm. Yanis, your yes. uh, variation, she always yes. keeps playing. Yes, uh, she knows this line as well as many other lines, but uh -huh. and, uh, play here is a bit simple with knight a3. She made draw, I think, one game, yes? Yes, uh, but she was much better. Uh, much Iwan Sokolov yes. was analyzing this, she was yes. actually completely winning. Yes. But uh, uh, her opponent played fantastically, uh, defended really very well. This is a very good example of defense. Uh, by her opponent uh, in the previous year, how she, she defended, how she exchanged the right pieces, how she played with very active play, mm -hmm. and she easily saved an endgame with a pawn down. Mm -hmm. So knight a3 is a very good move here, they also play knight e2, knight a3, and now mm -hmm. a6 is only move. Knight b5 is a real threat, for example, if knight f6, yes. uh, white is almost winning after knight mm -hmm. b5, Queen b8, otherwise bishop f4 is coming. coming yes. And g3 now, if you can believe it. G3 move. and white is much better. Yes. Yeah. So you see, uh, as always, tactics are more important than general positional rules. Chess is a concrete game. Yes. Otherwise, g3 and knight b5, all these are completely yeah. stupid and random moves. Yeah. But somehow they are connected together. Yeah. Okay, and so together with Houdini. So a6 <laughs> was played. Yeah. And the knight c2, I guess. Yes, knight f6. White strategy you, you, is to play you like a3. Uh, no, I think more or less they are all of uh, equal strength. Which one you I like prefer Komondo. Yeah. Which one? Komondo. Komondo. Huh? Mm -hmm. You are revealing a secret. Not <laughs> a secret. No, it's just help, helpful tool to analyze faster. Mm -hmm. like that. But invented, they cannot invent it anything, and sometimes they are not doing well because they are proposing the same similar moves, sometimes they are repeating everything, making draw in the end of the variation, so uh, they are 50-50, these mm -hmm. engines. Sometimes they are, okay, they are very useful to check everything, mm -hmm. if it works, it's, uh, it's a must. Yeah. To check your own ideas. Yes, own ideas, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, exactly. to check, yeah. Does it work or it doesn't work? So the knights looks very actually strange, you know, one on c2, one on e2. Yes, yeah. but still it is playable yeah. Yeah. Uh, because uh, black also has some disadvantages. Uh, yeah. This bishop f5, we have already shown uh, the strategy, bishop mm -hmm. takes f5, g takes yeah. f5, and knight f4, knight d3 with much Your better idea, play for yeah, white. Exactly. Yes. That's why uh, white played knight e2, exactly, but not yes. knight f3. Knight f3 is also possible, but from e2 it can go to g3 also and control uh, e4 this square if e4. necessary, uh -huh. yes. And of course bishop f4 with gain of tempo. Uh -huh. Queen d8. Castle, castle. 
Right, G3. Yes. Oh, it's so very this funny. The, this it's very funny. Now you you can if you return a bit to the opening, you can ask question: Was it clever to play Queen C7 or it was useless? <laughs> uh -huh. If you look from this point of view, it was absolutely useless. She lost the tempi. Yes. Yes, but maybe White put her knights in strange uh, positions. Yeah, 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 but Bishop on F4, Bishop on F4, Bishop on F4 is useful anyhow. Mm -hmm. The knight, it's possible to decide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now White took advantage of because knight A3 with tempo. Yeah, yeah. I want knight A6, B5. Yeah, yeah. You play A6, nice and I, I move knight no, C2. No. Generally, otherwise White could play knight D2, knight F3. Yes, the right exactly. Knight D2, knight. So it's uh, you know there are some, let's say, plans which are different, which are possible mm -hmm. to be mixed. Yeah. Yeah, queen d8. Castles. So, for example, uh, just a second. If instead of queen d8, let's show just one other line. Queen b6 here. White simply protects with uh, rook b1. Let's say castle short, castle short. And now this bishop f5 that we were talking about is a huge positional mistake. Bishop takes c takes, and now knight c1 or knight e1. Even better is knight from c2 to e1. This knight is going mm. to d3, stopping the. Uh, uh, minority attack by black and also it's targeting knight f4 knight h5 this yeah. h5 square because g pawn from has disappeared from yeah. g6 position is very poor yes white is yeah. almost winning yeah. here you know it's much much better yeah as you mentioned uh, before yes today. In, in a similar type of yeah. position so, so black plays uh, yes okay, black plays um, d8. better Queen more simple d8. castle castle knight g3 now rook e8 she wants to play e5. Maybe, or just Maybe. Uh, keep this possibility. Look, e5 is useful because knight, knight on g3 is really something, uh, let's say, not the best piece. Mm -hmm. uh, it was mm -hmm. possible. In case of e5, yes, it's yes, not. Yes, yes, you're right. Bishop d7. This is strange. Where to go the bishop? Yes, she has to find the place. Where yeah. to put it? Yes, the, uh, yeah. white strategy is, is play, white is playing against this bishop on on d7. I was very thinking, early. I was thinking knight d7 in order to play e5. Uh -huh. Maybe some, uh -huh. um, but still but I have an queen idea. Queen d2. Maybe maybe white is ahead in development then. And then and e5. Maybe it, it can become maybe a bit. If for example knight d7, you play yes. no, queen d2 or knight d3. I'm not sure. Yes. Let's say queen d2, e5, e5 and yeah. what's going on here? Take, isn't it? Take, 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 knight d5, knight d5, yeah. rook. and then bishop, you don't give this bishop or? Yes, yes. Uh, you can uh, give, okay. okay. So somebody can Something give. Something like yes. this, okay. So d5 pawn is weak. You pl you start to play It's now. not clear, of course, yes, bishop e6 is a... Yeah, bishop e6, uh -huh. yes. Yeah, maybe, maybe bishop b6 or maybe queen b6 is possible. Queen b6, some activity with play, yes? I'm not sure. Maybe we didn't yeah. play the best moves for white, I'm not sure. Yeah, After knight d7. But knight d7 is positionally very risky. If it doesn't work well, black will, uh, will be in trouble. In trouble. Yes. Black is lagging in development. No, it's just that if you play rook e8, you, you are intending to play e5. Right, you know? yeah. Why should I play rook e8 if I'm not going to play? Because okay. in some cases, mm. if I'm going to play bishop d7, maybe I will play bishop e8 later on mm -hmm. with some ideas, you know, mm -hmm. to free d7. But in this case, after playing rook e8, she plays bishop d7 and the bishop mm -hmm. has no place yeah. to go, you know. Black here doesn't have a, a clear plan, but Maybe even white doesn't have a clear plan. Really? Yes. White has some attack? Or? Yes, some attack, but uh, rook e3. I have the good. feeling rook e2 might have been better. Mm -hmm. Better idea. Because if rook e2, there is always the idea to play knight e1. This knight from c2 is white's problem in my yeah. mind. And uh, I think you white have would to love to put knight, it. Knight e2, not knight e1 is never. Uh, yes, it's possible. Uh, it, maybe it was. Yes, it was even more logical here. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, it's pre preparation of this mm -hmm. 90, 91. Yes. Uh, because knight finished 91, the career. 91, knight f3, three, yes? Yes, I think. Uh -huh. uh, then knight e5, mm -hmm. so, so probably it was this a good is, idea. Rookie 2, uh, uh, opening knight e1, preparing knight e1 is actually a typical idea in, in this uh, type is of She cannot do it with rookie 3? Uh, I think. Yes, probably yes, but maybe rook e3 some coordination is not yes, nice. Yes, exactly this, uh, closing the diagonal, yeah, no the bishop, bishop five, no, no control bishop between bishop, uh, yes, yeah. something. Uh, knight a5. And okay. also knight c4 is coming with uh -huh. a threat. Uh -huh. With a threat, it yes. is another. You will no, have to take it. It's either immediately possible to see that rook e3 is not natural. Mm. Yeah, feel yeah, yeah. Not natural, yes, not, not right. natural square. It's mm. not the square that yes. belongs. Feeling. belongs. It has to be yes. feeling, feeling right. in the fingers, yes. 
from the look also yeah. optically yeah, yeah optically yeah, yeah. yes feelings that rook has to be on it all yeah right b3 now she's forced to play b3 yes. and she's but weakening it's not c3 such a, uh, such a big problem here no because problem. this yes this c3 is a uh, at least mm. it is uh, well defended. Yes, not and maybe she reality, will have it one time to play c4. Yes, maybe. if you see black played uh -huh. knight c6 next, Back. abandoning the pressure on ah, yes. c line. How to attack this c3? Yes, it's she doesn't possible. have. Really. If b b uh, five, it's not a good. It's a pointless move. Also, some yeah. knight b4 ideas then. Knight b4, yeah, knight yeah. c3, knight yes. c5. Later on, this queen b6 she played. I mean, uh, so and white, I think white has an advantage, uh, one way yeah. or another. Yes, white attacking, has an yes, very good, actually. Some I do not see a clear plan, yeah. but. Queen d8 back. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want what? to play e6. No, if, if maybe he, bishop. Look, if you started some such play, it is bad side. Yeah, mm -hmm. why queen d8 back? Because e7 is other attack, and for some reason she didn't want to play. It's e, not possible e6. to play e6. She's afraid of what? Mm -hmm. She's afraid of something, I don't mm -hmm. know what. Some ghost. I would say that. <laughs> no, maybe bishop g5, queen f4, the rook f3. Yes, rook f3. Maybe even start with rook f3. Yeah. Or bishop b5 then. No, bishop b5, yes. Maybe it was mm -hmm. possible. Even now, maybe bishop b5 is. A but bishop no, bishop b5 was, was not possible before. Pony 7 was hanging. Ah, yes, now. Mm -hmm. Now yes. Now bishop f1. And knight c6 was played. No, she, she goes back with everything. Yes. Well, I don't understand this. Why not bishop b5 now? Is it bad? Possibly simply weakened. No, yes, take maybe take. And, and queen e2, maybe it's possible to check. Ah, yes. A, ah, yes, yes, yes. Queen e2. You are attacking both pawns. Yes, queen yes. d7 only more. Yes, yes, this and this. And then, I don't know, rook, rook e7. Maybe, uh, maybe queen d7, and now uh, if you take here, I take you on c3, yes? Maybe but now bishop, no, no, bishop d2, rook maybe c2. Maybe knight b4, then preparing knight somehow b4. knight comes or, to... Or, or, or even knight, knight a3. a3, it has to yes. be calculated. Ah, yes. This is winning knight the pawn. Knight a3, yes. Yes, maybe. knight a3. Yes, this is winning the pawn, I guess. Mm. Or maybe knight a3. Oh, black position is, is terrible, so... Yeah. So generally, generally, such positions to play like this is necessary to play some active plan like e5, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Without e5, you are dead meat. So yeah. <laughs> knight c6 was played, yeah, but now c6. what to do? Should white play c4, for example? Well, maybe c4, or, or I tell you honestly. Only the knight on c2 is misplaced, in my opinion. Yeah, but rook, you rook 1, e2, and knight d1 yes. is not very nice. Yes, not very Despite nice. Despite the fact, maybe if it is time, it is possible. Mm. Maybe. What's, what says C, C4, you say? What move? No, C4 mm. is possible. Yes. C4? Or, 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 rook. It also gives the black some play, uh, of course. Like take, well, take maybe take take knight a5 but yes or queen a5 yeah, queen a5 maybe pawn is hanging on mm -hmm. b7 mm -hmm. but not queen a knight a5 is a, is an option i don't think that, that, that she will play this yes maybe maybe, we, maybe really, really rook one e2 but yes. a bit strange why <laughs> why well, maybe knight a7 for example to play bishop b5 i don't know maybe well bishop b5 will be the same aha uh -huh. yes with the rook on e2 with the rook on e2 no, knight is said maybe will be knight before the knight comes to d3. Mm -hmm. So still quite maneuvering. Maneuvering, yeah, yes, game, yeah? Yes, yeah. I think we can find something more interesting, mm -hmm. more, <laughs> more, more alive. <laughs> rook, okay. rook f3 yes. maybe is one possibility. It's a bit, a bit yes. deadly, uh, dead, deadly still position. And in okay. the end, rook c1 was played, I have to tell you. And we can now we'll go see maybe one. to the next game, if you like. Let's, Let's go to the first Some, what some moments, say? I must tell you, some moments of such games are very difficult to comment and to understand. For example, why rook e1 move, why not rook c1 on the start, mm -hmm. you know, and why queen b6, why queen d8. Mm -hmm. uh, now maybe she's, uh, she wants to play, to play knight, knight, yeah, knight one, knight yes. yes. Mm -hmm. so yeah. it's Now she found the right plan. Maybe. Sometimes it's very difficult to uh, explain and to understand. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, we go to the first port. Yeah. Alina Kashtinskaya versus Pauline Gishar. Very important uh, game of the day. They both have four and a half points. They are leading the championship. 
for the moment. Okay, so we were got... we were analyzing this game. It was an interesting opening, actually, mm. very interesting opening. With she played f3, yeah. and Pauline Guichard was thinking. We changed the game, and later the game continued. A5. A5. Queen Gender. d2. What? Queen a5 should play. It. Queen ah, d2. Yeah, yes. Queen yes, d2. Correct. C6. Mm -hmm. You can also check on the screen. Mm -hmm. It will be probably easy for yes, you. Yes, easier. Uh, knight g e2. C takes d5. Mm -hmm. C takes d5. Bishop d7. She wants to play b5. Knight g3. Knight g3. A4. Probably she wants to go to queen a5. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, h4 and h, h5 is the idea. Queen a5. Uh, h5. a3. b4. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Forcing black to take. Takes, yeah. Rook b1. Queen a5. And h6. This h6 is quite typical in this position. A computer always indicates h6 in, si in such but positions. But after yeah. this pawn sacrifice, mm -hmm. you mean? Uh, this is also strange. No, 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 no. no uh, we without without pawn sacrifice, sacrifice, yes, but uh, the bishop is stuck for some time on, on yes, on and it would be very difficult. To but on the other hand, that either white has no real attack on this. Mm -hmm. uh, only on with the some sacrifice. Yes, knight f5. Knight f5 yes, yes, only this will work. Ah, uh, knight f5. And no. knight f5 comes was played yes, immediately. Yes. Immediately. So it's the idea of this mm -hmm. of this combination of two moves. Yes, knight f5. Bishop takes probably forced. Yes. G takes knight f d seven knight b five now. Actually, mm -hmm. it's like it's like a preparation, you know. White moves comes, you know, natural, natural, very natural. Yeah. yeah. So queen b six only if she, move. If she exchange, probably she yeah. doesn't. She cannot protect d six. What? Why? No, she can rook a six, but it will be rook a six. I think maybe the bishop. There will be some problem with some. Bishop. Many problems. Bishop Let's see why, why she couldn't take it. Let's see why why not take here. Take maybe bishop takes or no with king I suppose. With king, king queen a6 and bishop. So e2 what thing. now? Maybe can I play this and take on a3? I'm not sure. I think it's always time. I, I can take maybe later. Oh, later. I would prefer bishop e2, rook c1. Mm -hmm. Is bishop h3 maybe possible to... And also, Yanis, you, didn't, Yanis, you didn't like it, but... Yanis, you didn't like it, but why not bishop takes bishop d2? Bishop, you say, yes. If the problem is that maybe I can play bishop even b4 now. What bishop? And I collect but on what, a3. What, uh -huh, collect on I will collect and then come back with after bishop c4 and then... Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. This might also be possible. And I will try to collect on d6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, possible. Bet. Why not? There are possible, many options possible. Yeah, probably yeah. white is better, yeah? Seems. So let's see what was after she played queen b6. Yeah. Bishop h3. No, no, what's queen queen d8 was played now. Queen d8. What is this? And she did, she is not there. She's not what? sitting on the table. What queen is queen d8? Sacrificing d6 pawn. This is the idea. Queen h4 check or something? No, queen h4, okay, king f1, anything. Or maybe bishop f6. Maybe not big threat. And how would black will continue after knight takes d6? What was the threat after bishop h3? So castle and then some jump or what? Sometimes, you know, uh, white, your opponent has a better position and there is not much you can do. But you yes. know what I'm thinking? I think this is a very good preparation from uh, white, white. Uh, possibly. 52 minutes uh, on her clock and she made many moves and also not so easy moves, you know. Uh, she played b4, yeah. she played knight f5, yes, yes. all these moves, you know. Yeah, she's uh, okay, she's looks like well. 
well prepared if she has yes. all uh, notes of her husband. Uh, yeah, very strong Slav player. Yes. Okay, very strong player. So if she has notes, she has access to these notes, to the yeah. theory of top grandmaster. So, but okay, not always <laughs> this, this theory is useful in such level. Yeah, so it's another course. story, but sometimes it can hit mm -hmm. uh, terribly, yeah. yes. Yeah, but now I don't know what are you suggesting now for black. Nothing. Wait, Nothing. Better. Very bad position. Yes. Looks like, yeah? Bad position is a bad yeah. position. What yeah. can you do? She Maybe some bishop of six or something. Okay. But yeah. again, but it, it will not help you. Yes. So much. She already took on d six. Yes. And now let's see what she will do. I am wondering if she will play fast or not. If she doesn't play fast, we pass this. Mm -hmm. No, she is not very happy with her position, mm -hmm. as I see. Let's go to some other. Okay, so we'll let's go to second board. Second Inna board. Gaponenko versus Belako Tenashvili. Okay, Gaponenko to Kotenashvili. This position looks like <laughs> Cholaki the games. Yes. <laughs> the same variation. Where we left? Here, somewhere here. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't remember actually where we left. It was the position, yes, I think. A6, bishop d3, knight c6. Again, this kind of... This is, this became very popular against uh, Karakana. Because it's easy, easy, solid and easy, solid, to, play. easy to play. Yes, mm -hmm. easy improvement. Without any risk. But general, general risk is everywhere. If you are going through the every street, even on the green yes. lines. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we know it. Different way of looking at the positions, yes. yes, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, safe. We can never say the position is safe. I am looking at the green light, but I turn my head to the right. To the right. And yes. checking the cars. We yeah, are we yeah, are living yeah, in yeah, Turkey. Not yeah, detected. It's everywhere. Right. <laughs> it's every, even in Europe. There are crazy guys yes. everywhere. So, so we, we are checking. Matter. Correct. So, yeah, if, if, if for example a grandmaster gives you the variation to play this play, that still you have to check it. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You believe it's like you know. No, you can believe, but you have to check, check how, how it works. Yes, mm -hmm. to understand. Works. I think she played something like yes, queen c8. Queen and knight e5 is the obvious continuation. Queen c8, knight e5, knight takes e5 has been played. And bishop takes. Probably, most probably, as you said, bishop takes. And what's this position? And she wants to play bishop f5. Mm -hmm. Bishop f5 is, can be the move now. Huh? Mm -hmm. Logical. To exchange these bishops. Knight e3 is some threat, yeah. So how do you assess this position? A slight advantage for white, of course. Mm -hmm. Then That's a4, good. some options of a4 are possible. A4, yeah. Yeah, black, mm -hmm. black is very, uh, black is no counterplay, and it's it's just no counterplay. rather unpleasant situation. Yanis, you are looking. Uh, Maybe 93 directly here. I'm thinking about 93 directly. Yeah. I'm trying and to attacking, play attacking e4, e5 yes. also. Eh? Yes. If exchange, queen yes, takes, queen takes and how to protect this? E6 yes. may be forced. Yes, yes, yes. And now, now uh, a4. a4. And now what to do? Queen, queen c6 queen or queen b7? Queen b7. Let's no, actually this is not knight c2 maybe or take on b5 and knight c2. The knight be clearly belongs to d3 but uh, yes. for the yes. moment d3 knight is c3. occupied by the queen. Yes. Yeah. yeah, maybe still better for white. What's yeah. better is clearly white has different options to start attack, to attack these pawns, a4 mm -hmm. sooner or later. Yeah. To start this attack <coughs> against this um, pawn structure of the queen side, black has no counterplay at the moment, it's, and it's the reason for why this variation that white plays that white reduces very much uh, counterplay. Counterplay doesn't exist mm -hmm. at the moment. Okay, we move to the game of Nurgul Salimova versus Marie Sobak. Salimova, Salimova is new player, some new. Yes, from generation Bul is coming. Bulgari. Generation, new generations are coming. And okay, this was generation. we left it uh, here. As you said, she mm -hmm. played g5. Mm -hmm. G5 was the idea here, and she played g5 yeah, and this h4. Is, this is still theory. also theory. yes. This had been played before. Interesting. G takes f4 and g5. Mm -hmm. Immediately attacking. Yes. Knight this e5. is you can find this even in books. This is uh -huh. still theory. Mm -hmm. Takes. Knight d7, probably she wants to sacrifice mm -hmm. or, yeah. or I what? don't know exactly the theory here, but I know that it is still theory. Knight g6, and now she played knight g6 against knight g6, but did she play queen g3? Or? Mm -hmm. Queen g3. Queen g3. And she castled long, I think, now. 
Okay, so long. I think one. some similar game, uh, uh, Karyakin, uh, Karyakin, Vasheila Krav and Black won in the end. I'm not 100% sure, but some very similar situation. It's a new game? Uh, no, 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 no. Maybe one and a half year ago. Uh -huh. Karyakin, Vasheila. Mm -hmm. So Black, you, you think Black is okay here? It is, you know, it's supposed to be still theory. Uh, there, there has to be some concrete play. Otherwise, strategically, I think Black is okay. Yeah. Maybe he will go Rook A Jade, for example. Uh, even maybe someday, maybe even Knight B6 D5 mm -hmm. can be option. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. yeah. mm -hmm. can be option. Mm -hmm. And also this E5 square always yes. a very good square yeah, for yeah. the Knights. Maybe maybe white, they, uh, maybe later on to see. For white is not easy to play to yeah, find actually. find weakness uh, to yes. find weakness. Weakness is not easy to yeah, find. Yeah, if you look spot. at the position, but you, this is still you theory, may want. I think white should know exactly what she is doing. Yes. Otherwise, she is running risk. Exactly. Mm. Yes. That's what I was going to ask actually. Mm. There, because there is what no did, easy plan. Did white get out of the opening? Look, there are some as always. Well, there are some positions for for one side <coughs> and for another side. When one side has clear play, clear plan, simple plan. The other side has to, let's say, to take some, not just risks, to invent some plan, to find plan which can be, let's say, serious, because without plan we know it's death. Mm -hmm. So it's necessary to do something, to yes. uh, do concrete, because black plan is simple, knight b6 and d5, so yeah. what? Mm -hmm. Black yeah, play is much actually easier. Much easier, yes. Alright. So probably black is okay, huh? I don't know, is it possible to sacrifice yeah. on b5? I suppose not. Ah, I suppose so. No. Yes, yes. Sacrifice. I suppose. Yes, I suppose it's takes, not takes working. How do you protect no, on this? Maybe uh, queen let's a five. Let's a check. Five. Is it possible? Let's check. Queen where? B eight or a five? Uh, uh, no, on queen eight, maybe queen or c three. Queen c four is yes. possible. Also, this possible. I don't know. This maybe, is also possible. Yes. Maybe not good, but which which I one you would put it to a five? I think a five. Yes. If I take here and exchange and take maybe on g five with check. And then return to e5. And yeah. then e5. There is no, not enough composition. Eh? But why you take this uh, with queen? Maybe with rook to take on d6. There is no rook. Ah, no rook. Sorry, sorry. Yes. Yeah, sorry. You automatically you think there is a rook. No, yes, there is rook. Yes. Rook, yes. rook was yes. changed on h1. Yes. I have yes. seen yes. it. This yeah, is yeah. the problem. Like yes, the we said we, uh, since the rook is on h8. So still this is not working. Not working. Yeah. But maybe then white can have plan h, h4, h5. Yes. Yeah. And h6. Using past pawn because it's the strongest element has to be used always. Who has so, a plan? White. There is no H pawn. You what, are what always, you are always a yeah, bishop is on H three. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I don't see it's, it's a bit, yeah. but uh, you can picture. Change. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, all the po I mean. Uh, uh, oh, knight b five. Of course, is necessary to consider, but maybe yeah. prepare, maybe for later. So. Actually, when I look at the position, I cannot find a good plan for white. Yes. As you, you mentioned, yeah. you there are no h pawn to push. Yeah. Maybe just to attack f7, but you can protect very easily with knight yes, e5. Yes, yes, yes. Right. It's, it's not easy for white. There's problem Weak of pawns this. On e4, problem D5. of this uh, strong square of e5 is that white yes. has difficult plan. Yeah. Not easy to find plan. I don't like this position for white. Yeah. Because black development is easy. Yeah. Okay. So we move to another board. Uh, this one is now. Alexandra Goryachkina versus Hanim Balayayeva. Goryachkina Balayayeva. Let's see this. I think it's game. Her name is pronounced Balajeva. 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 Okay, I didn't know this. It's good that you told me because I always pronounce it wrongly. Balayayeva. I say Balajeva. 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 Yes. Balajeva. Okay. We left it here, bishop on f4, mm -hmm. uh, bishop d6 was played, now many moves has been played of course, let's see how the, the game went, after bishop d6 she took it and played c4 okay, as we, we, are, we were expecting. And we said now that if black knows what she is doing, she uh, will equalize. No, she will get uh, some e counterplay, counter maybe not counter equalize, play. equalize completely, uh -huh. but maybe bishop slightly d3, better. a6, rook e1. I don't think there was a need for white to avoid this yes, bishop exchange. Yes. Maybe some move like Maybe a4 because... Or, or, or yes, or rook b1 first. Yes, rook b1, b1 yes, yes. Why she avoided it? Yes, I don't see an attack with bishop because d3. Because white, white plan is to come to c5 with knight. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. Okay, so probably this was no, no need for, no for, need, for this, this. 
here. You mean there yes, was yes. no need to play? Maybe 92 was possible. 90, 92 was uh, an option. Yes. Then to jump 94, 95. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and also white, create some weaknesses uh, on the queen look, side. And then white has to attack b7. Then with the idea that the pawns will move somewhere forward. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because some, I don't some. rely on the on simple e4 play. E4 yes. play will not give too much. Mm -hmm. Yes. Black is well organized yes, in the yes. center. Rook well, well, e8, rook yes. d8, e4, e4, e5 doesn't give any, anything uh -huh. uh, serious. So it's necessary to make weakness sometimes. Rook b1, knight c5 is a dream. Mm -hmm. And then trying to press, forcing b6, then we know what to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's necessary, in some case, classical case, when it's necessary to prepare weakness. Mm -hmm. Because weakness is not yet, uh, let's say, not felt by black as a weakness. Because <coughs> sometimes black can play, for example, rook d8, Bishop c8 back, exactly. and this is what's happening they, in the game. As they will enjoy, because yes. it's uh, let's bishop say bishop c8 is, is protecting and attacking at and the stopping, same time, stopping yes. white play, uh -huh. and then black is ready to do something on the other mm -hmm. side. But that's why I didn't like this bishop yeah. d3, because uh, uh, maybe like uh, white would like to exchange this bishop yes. to, to stop this idea. So as a, as a strategy, uh, she should exchange the bishop, bishops. Oh, no, 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 which, which no, no not just that. Here creating, in that position. At, creating weakness on b7, making yes, it yes. Uh, because b7 is the only real chance. Uh, white can play bishop d3, but then it can get very double-edged. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, it is more ambitious to play bishop d3, but then the other bishop will also remain mm -hmm. on the board, and it will give counterplay. Sometimes it is a matter of also of style, you know. I wouldn't like to risk at all, and I, would, uh, I wouldn't would mind exchanging this uh, light square bishop, for example. Mm -hmm. If she pushes b b7, of course, c6 yeah. will be weak later on, yes? Yeah. So, rook d8 and bishop c8, rook b1, but now it's too late. Yeah. No, she can... He, he, bishop, uh, yes, bishop e5, knight e6. Bishop checks, yes. and then... Okay, you see? Again, bishop d3, c5, very interesting. What's going okay. on here? Ah, d3 is hanging. Yes. So, tactical... Uh, tactical exchange, using tactics yes. for, for exchanging, yes. Takes this, queen, b2. Also a checkmate. Checkmate. Knight, g5. Is it a question, was it some threat? Okay, is another threat. I don't understand this. No, yes. probably white is... Is better. Better, yes. yes. But still it is... Some uh, counterplay with a knight on uh, yes, g5 so and yes. the bishop on c8. It's knight e4, clear. maybe. Uh -huh, not yeah, more. maybe some. Yeah, yeah, some uh, king uh, side attack. Yes, yes. yes. As we said, uh, white's play is, uh, uh, it's let's say, very ambitious, but it allows counterplay counter if you want play. to be very ambitious. True. So we go to another game uh, Arakami Grant versus Elizabeth Potts. Come here, Grant versus Elizabeth Potts. Let's see this game. Where is this game? Oh, I hit it somewhere here. Okay. So we were checking also this game. Actually, they didn't make too many moves. Mm -hmm. It was this position. Yeah. Yes, we were looking at Rook mm -hmm. C8. And she didn't take on D4. Yes, yeah, she played She made some idea. maneuver mm -hmm. to come to A5. And now she took it. Bishop c5, takes, takes, queen f2, queen c7, and now uh, is this the position? Some knight b5 has been played or what? Knight b5, knight b6 queen d8, what's going on there? They took some, she took a4, a6, some, no, it's no, what's going on? I don't understand. Should, should they exchange something pieces on b2? Maybe between b2 rook, knight c3 king b2 rook b1, something like this, or what? I don't know. Yes. How it was played? There is something on g5 also. No, no, actually, this is this is another game. This is ah. another game we're checking. I, is my this, is, this is another oh, okay. game. This is not a Rahamian grant. We don't have Ismail. But what? Yes. Similar you mean game? No, no, no. This is on the board. Smile? This is this is uh, on on the picture. We are trying to figure out by yeah. the picture. But this uh, is not. This is not the, the game. game. We, are uh -huh. checking. we are checking. So maybe we cannot guess this, right? Uh -huh. Okay. This is the position we have to deal with. Sometimes when there is a problem with the uh -huh. transmission, uh -huh. we check directly uh -huh. from, uh, so from, from the, the from the from maybe the there was yes. a problem because Ismail is not here. Hmm. 
<laughs> let's let's take a look for some Turkish game. For example, Giria, Giria, Giria uh -huh. against uh, Sila Chalar. Sila and Giria, all yeah, the Giria. Like Giria. Yes. Okay. Let's, see. let's find it. If okay. We, sure. Because it was a bit a bit risky playing Sila today. Okay. Sila uh, she and had Giri. not not experience yet in such situations. Okay. What's going on? And here? now. You want to see from the beginning? No, no, I didn't want to see. Now the position is bad. Now I see. Okay, she did not uh, understand yet this, uh, how to handle this kind of position. There was new type of positions for her, some positions from typical, from a bit Meran, a bit mixture of Meran, a bit mixture uh -huh. of, of some, uh, let's say, of some other uh, stuff. And she did not uh, felt the situation in the center properly and this pawn was on a6 and she lost this pawn so but we have to say that she's playing with a very very strong player with miss giri olga who is a member of the uh, uh, national Russia team of russia, russia yeah. yes which means with the rating with the rating she, she has maybe 300 points more at the moment yes. not 300 so what was the opening let's see quickly we should g5 yes okay this e4 Interesting. Uh, yes, here, here, okay. She, she has no experience yet mm -hmm. playing. Probably she doesn't know this opening. Mm -hmm. No, she knows something, but some she a knows. bit different uh, version of this opening. Mm -hmm. So it's, mm -hmm. in such cases, it's difficult. And already it looks like yeah. better for white. Better, yes, and because uh, you know such situation is always useful to play before if knight is on c3. Yes. Yeah. And g5 is very risky. G5, I, yes, actually, you're right. Uh, I was going to say g5. It's necessary to play it's just okay. if you will want if, to play if, actively. If, if we move back here, move back sure. here, not g5, maybe knight d7 and c5. Knight d7, c5, yeah. Or c5 immediately, you know, c5 yeah. immediately. There is some cheap tree. c5, uh -huh. pawn takes. Push this. Uh -huh, push here. Pawn takes. Mm, but the bishop is hanging. Bishop is hanging. Ah, bishop is hanging. Yes. Maybe so when so c5 four. maybe is a good. No, c4 so maybe. Or c5 e4 is hanging. Maybe tax some tactics. E5, 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 and knight, knight c4. Knight e4. Yes, knight, knight, c, knight e4, yes. You're right. Yeah. No, no, first bishop takes e7, yes. Or, or even directly is possible. Yes, even, even direct knight b7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this c5 was very risky, but she has to be able to play. Maybe the knight d7 first to start like this. I'm not sure. This is no, because white plan is very simple. Rook c1, yeah. queen e2, knight b3, and then stopping c5, and the position is absolutely without counterplay. Yes. So it's a typical when you start to play just this kind of position, you are not very much experienced mm -hmm. in these lines, and sometimes you fell, you fell down Exa after yes, this you pressure. Cannot, you cannot you go under this pressure. gain experience in yeah. just one. Uh, one uh, or just studying this, uh, yes, let's say, yes, variation yes, yes, without, course, without course, checking, course, and without course. being being yes. punished for yes. this yes. Uh, uh -huh. c5 c file weaknesses yes mm -hmm. and this c file we you know experienced player knows how to use these of uh, weaknesses of this c file yeah so it was this they played like uh -huh. this uh -huh. yeah what can you say yes it simply was yeah there's nothing yeah. to say no, 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 it looks very bad yes it looks very bad yeah why should this support take? Why she doesn't play f5? Because e5 and queen e4. I queen e4 is mating threat. Ah, mating threat. Yes, double attack. You know, it's mm -hmm. one one attack is delayed, yeah. one is direct, one is yeah. this more complicated form. Yes. You know, like Bronstein, David Bronstein yeah. used to say that chess is a game of double attack. Yeah. It means that also at the end of every small combination or every strategical maneuver decides double attack. Yes, and also now she understands that g5. When you play g5, you have to it's think very, it's very <laughs> over and over, you know. Yes, yes. it's very responsible. the consequences. Mm -hmm. Maybe it it's works when you can play knight h5, knight g3. Yes, exactly. In this case, yes. maybe it works, you yes, know, yes. because you can yes. destroy this. Exactly. If you don't destroy it, so you are in trouble. Uh -huh. Actually, then we also comment such a, such yeah. a game here today, I think. Uh, some, uh, some queen's gambit, but we said when black plays g5, yes. she has to play knight h5 yeah, next exactly. move. And yeah. uh, eliminate the bishop. Yes, eliminate the bishop. Yeah. If you do it, so do it, do it till to the end. Yes, exactly. <laughs> otherwise don't start. Exactly. If so you say A, you have to say B. B. Yes, always <laughs> you have to start. Okay, thank you very much. Thank uh, you, thank Adrian, you, thank you, for thank coming. You, thank I you, hope you. we will meet in the yes, further yes. round. Good luck, guys. Thank you. We'll give a short. Wait a minute. We we'll give a short break, uh, but uh, don't go anywhere. We'll have Eva and Ivan uh, together here in at the studio.
Good afternoon from uh, Antalya. I'm Ivan Sokolov. With me is uh, Eva Rekova. Good afternoon. Uh, we were going to take it from where uh, Jan and Yanis have uh, left it off. And we thought now to move to interesting game between uh, Ekaterina Talik and Natalia Zhukova. Ekaterina Talik had fantastic start, but yesterday lost the game. Natalia Zhukova had problematic start, but now she seemed to be uh, catching up. I think winning three games in a row. So let's see this this game. It was a Nitsa Indian, which should be a little bit strange move. Bishop f4, which I actually, funny enough, have uh, never analyzed in this uh, particular position. So d5, d5 was obviously not. Uh, the only move, there were many moves here. I mean, more typical Nimtso move would be to keep pawns on the dark squares and to try to hit his bishop, bishop with some tempo move, but okay, d5. Now we have Ragozin with bishop on f4. e3, takes, bishop takes, knight d5. Now position resembles some lines from Queen's Gambit Orthodox. Bishop takes. This doubling this pawns is... Uh, having advantages and disadvantages. On one hand they are double, on the other hand they control some space. And you get the e-file. b6, castle. Okay, developing bishop. Queen e2, knight e7, rook d1, all kind of normal Natural moves, natural, natural moves. moves. I guess black is going to push move c5 at some moment, but moment probably convenient uh, for black. I guess that this moment now I don't know if it's convenient now because problem is that uh, black is uh, pinned knight. Black is pinned, though this pin does not need to to mean very much because I will get my pawn back. Bishop f6, maybe bishop e6, perhaps. No, but then I will take, and uh, life is good. Mm -hmm. So maybe on a move like c5, she was worried about move like d5. And just after dc, uh, let's go back. You say queen c7. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I see there is bishop takes b6. What's wrong with, let's say, cb6? With cb6, I wanted, there is nothing immediately wrong. I just uh, thought that I would be having a very good positional compensation. Mm -hmm. Because now bishop needs to go, right? So. And I was thinking that uh, attacking those two pawns will provide me with uh, positional compensation, which uh, I may be right, but also I could be wrong. It, it, it could be that she didn't want to sacrifice this pawn. Mm -hmm. And the second reason may be being that uh, perhaps she didn't like move like d5. In a way, now I have those double pawns, but also now there are some pins. Yes. I have a lot of uh, activity, I mean, take, take, probably queen c8 only move, otherwise you remain under pin. Yes. And now perhaps uh, to move the rook, rook, knight e5, there is a uh, lot yes. of activity. And such position can end in mating attack very yeah. quickly. So I can imagine that she didn't really like this, so she played move knight f6, bishop b3, a sensible move, maybe preparing even move like c4 and push d5. Queen d6, tempo move, knight e5, all logical moves, and now c5. Not allowing some pawn pushing business. Queen e3. I would love to hear if I could, but I don't see how, to trade my f pawn for e pawn. Mm -hmm. So that then this bishop from b3 would be doing a better job. But uh, Okay, how to how to get it done? For example, uh, uh, this is probably stupid. Yeah, to take and when you take to take. Queen that needs to be checked for sure. Because I have an idea. For example, on such a move, I have move rook c8, and now some things are uh, happening. Mm, I see, picking up. Yeah, I would like F7. to take on f7, and, but uh, okay, I don't know if it is so fantastic. Let's say maybe you can play move queen f8 mm -hmm. with the idea rook e8. Yeah, 
that looks better. Materially, I would have rook and two pawns versus bishop and knight, which is kind of okay. But I have some also some weak pawns, which is maybe not, not so okay. Not so, okay. <laughs> so this is something to maybe consider. She played moon queen e3, rook c8, take, queen takes. Okay. Oh, but this... Seems like this can never easier for black. This can never be good. I mean, why is white with the worst pawn structure trying so desperately to trade queens? Mm -hmm. Okay, and she probably wants 97. But no, f3. Hmm. Moment, why not? If she did what she did, why not 97? Okay. Uh, taking his only move. Forced, yes. Forced. Okay, takes. I want to get the pawn. Okay, rook b8 is possible, but then on rook b8, this is actually possible because when I play move like this, you can happily move your king. Mm -hmm. And uh, and now white ends up with worse pawn structure. Yeah, and now the only thing which I need to do is to trade this uh, this rook off, or to kick him out. And I probably can't kick him out. Maybe mm -hmm. a5 is my next move, and then this bishop can move. Uh, mm -hmm. C3 is also now hanging. So it seems like uh, White misplayed the position. Yeah. No, I don't understand her at all. Spending uh, all those moves to trade the uh, queens off, uh, mm -hmm. it looks wrong because here uh, Black is simply better. Yes. This C but pawn is a problem and White is fighting for a draw. Maybe after yesterday's loss, it's, uh, it was difficult for her to, to focus. It happens to a chess player often. It's very important uh, to be tough and uh, after a lost game, uh, again, play like nothing happened. But uh, most of us can't really do that. I think it is quite risky when you lose a game, then let's say the next game to play with confidence. And if you are entering position with a slightly worse pawn structure, that means that you need a confidence. <laughs> because you will need to, to uh, make up for the yes to make structure. up for those pawn structure. You need to find some dynamics, mm -hmm. and for dynamics you need confidence. And here, okay, maybe White uh, c4. Uh, White is controlling this knight. Maybe White will, will push g pawn. Mm -hmm. But Black uh, is having a very fine, fine game. Rook c8, Rook d4. Yeah. Because she was, was she worried about move like b5 maybe and how does rook d4 prevent well if you play now b5 i have a tempo move which is maybe smart move mm -hmm. this is maybe way that i could try to prevent it well you can still take i would have to give check you play move 98 and and trading those pawns just helps uh, white to get yeah. rid of some yes then i get rid of pawn. this uh, this potential weakness let's see what does she do she played h5, she wants to stop uh, g4. Okay, but can I? Look, it makes sense to me. Since b5 was not played or anything like it, to move this rook away from a pin. Mm -hmm. So now that uh, some knight moves or b5 cannot happen. This looks logical to me. Yeah. On the other hand, when you think uh, about playing for black, it's not so easy to find, yes? Since uh, white is controlling uh, uh, the d file center and, uh, Correct. and there, is no, there are no obvious well, I'm weaknesses just, right now. Yeah, I'm just thinking how to... what could be black's plan. Uh, Maybe bring the king to e7 first? I was thinking of this, but if I try to bring my king to e7, let's say, okay, uh, uh, move king. King e7, let's say bishop a4. I'm not certain how is this position, for example. Can I play such a move? Because obviously I would like to trade the knights off. Mm -hmm. That's why bishop a4. I'm also wondering, for example, can I 
start, let's say, with King F8, or maybe even Bishop C6. No, King F8, let's say, King F8. Maybe Bishop moves, but then Bishop A6. Because I was thinking, for example, okay, if he remove King, because what, I mean, what would I like? You know, ideal world, if you're given really plenty of time, I would play G3, H3, G4. In order to take on G4 to take with my H pawn, so there, is, there are no jumps on E4. Uh, mm -hmm. And then to hit this knight. But now, for example, I can maybe play such a move. Push, well, let's say king move. And I would like to play now bishop move mm -hmm. and knight d7 to get yeah, rid of uh, this knight. It looks a little bit slow, but uh, white has nothing to do really. Yeah. So. Second idea is to play maybe this move immediately. I would like now knight d7, bishop moves, and to try to attack uh, this pawn. Mm -hmm. But here perhaps you can play such a move. Now, if I want to trade, I give you a very nice square yes. on c6. And also connecting the pawns. Connecting the pawns. So, I guess black will uh, need to try to trade this knight, but it's not clear to me how to, what is the best way to do this. I see that something completely different has okay, happened. Okay, let's check the... Ah, Zhukova wants to kick this knight out with her pawn. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is interesting. But maybe e6 will be weak. Look, mm -hmm. uh, what she did, she played g6, king f2. So Atalik is playing on her plan. King g7, king e3. Okay. And now she played move knight g8. Mm -hmm. But she somehow this such move doesn't feel right. So, you know, moving the knight from the center and giving all these squares uh, like this No, but uh, why? Backward uh, knight moves I like very much. <laughs> uh, next move is 97. 97 is going to be a tempo move. Okay, rook d7 is nothing. Rook d7 looks nice, okay, I ignore. Okay, and let's see, some tactics with c5, maybe doesn't work, but... c5? Uh, just opening up the bishop. Uh... c5, what can I do? Pawns are there to be eaten. <laughs> Nothing, yes? Nothing. I just put some piece on d5. Let's say on g4 I play uh, bishop d5. Mm -hmm. Or first f6. Yeah, so it's uh, if we want to play g4, then we play it maybe first and then. Yeah, first, but so okay, like g4. Mm -hmm. Let's say g4, I hit the knight. And here knight does not have a clever square, so... Wait, wait, there are some tactics, nothing, like knight g6, take on h5, bring the rook over to the... Yeah, it seems nothing really No, it is, is a piece. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm, I agree. Well, here you would need to, let's say, take... But rook takes. And now if, uh, let's say, such a move, this knight is very close to being lost. No, I don't want to trade active rooks for... Okay, but uh, I don't like this move for king e3, because with king e3, mm -hmm. uh, well, she's getting under uh, yes. tempo. So she's getting under tempo, especially strange move, because after black has played g6 and king g7, Black is like, I would say, make a telephone call to White saying, look, I'm going to move my knight and play f6. <laughs> and White somehow is uh, uh, refusing to pick it up. So you like the move knight g8, yes? I like, yes, mm -hmm. I like move knight g8 very much. Especially with this king already on uh, e3, I like it. Mm -hmm. Because the knight would go to e7, and I will kick this ugly knight from uh, e5. This knight which is which is actually the most active uh, white piece. Mm -hmm. I think that actually Zhukova is playing it very well. I think that she's playing it very well and move king e3, uh, frankly, I do not really understand. She has now pushed g4, because mm -hmm. what else? Knight will come to e7. Yes. Okay, g4. Uh, I assume knight e7, because you cannot take anything thanks to this uh, mm -hmm. king.
I think 97, after 97. Uh, and uh, how about Bishop C2 now? Bishop C2? Mm -hmm. Well, problem is, uh, is F6. No, G6. You really <laughs> enjoy getting... <laughs> no, okay, you go get, back to D7. Uh, getting, to rid of your, <laughs> getting rid of your pieces. <laughs> You might, you might need your pieces one day. <laughs> uh, no, look, maybe here... Uh, I don't know, perhaps the best is to uh, defend this pawn so that you can take back with the H pawn mm -hmm. and on F6 maybe move back. Mm -hmm. You cannot catch my rook. For the time being, okay, nothing is dramatic. And I have to try to play move rook uh, e6, rook d6, and to bother this pawn. And of course, taking uh, with the h pawn is important because uh, if would, we take on with f pawn, then this h pawn is very weak after rook h8, let's say. Yes. And the yeah. bishop is uh, Correct. Uh, suddenly yeah. extremely strong. Yeah, let's suppose that I don't do anything here, that I decide to, I don't know, make a pass move, wherever. Okay, then indeed uh, this is not what I would like to see. Because now suddenly I need to start being worried about uh, different things. Yes. So I think that h3 is a sensible move to make. And then, okay, on f6 to run back uh, with the knight. Mm -hmm. This is something I think which is. Uh, so, how is this position, for example? Now the rook looks funny on d4. Does looks the, looks uh, very yes. funny. But I have to punish it. There is no direct way to take advantage of it. Maybe it is. We should pay six. How to defend the pawn? This looks very passive. But maybe it needs to be done. Well, another passive move is knight b2, if we search for it. Yes, for passive, passive moves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like how black is uh, handling the position. She's now thinking what to do on g4. Okay, what is her other option? If she doesn't want to... Okay, her other option, of course, what she could be thinking about is let's do it at once. Oh, yeah. Uh, since g4 happened without h3, let's let's try to, to punish uh, black. Yeah. Now when you take, I move a knight. Okay, if you give me move, you have to start really being worried about some stuff like this. Yes, I, I like this, this one for black. I think this is what she is actually thinking about. I don't see, I, I cannot imagine anything else that uh, Natalia could be thinking about. I think only whether to s stick to uh, original plan or first to take on uh, g4 and then to play move 97. Ah, also I see another move. I can now maybe change my mind. I'm covering d7, I would want rook h8. Mm -hmm. You cannot run with the king, there will be some checks. Yes. If, if you ever play move like g5, okay, then I go back. Mm -hmm. And then I go knight e7. And then f5 is yeah. really a problem. I think that uh, actually now the more I'm looking at the position, it could be that g4 was just a careless move. Mm -hmm. Careless move is not a great position because uh, maybe the best was, uh, I don't know, to let's say admit a mistake. Mm -hmm. I do not like... Look, this move, king e3, I do not understand, because you are going on the tempo, and also, if uh, such a thing happen, let's say g4, takes, takes, and now knight, it doesn't matter where, your pawn is also hanging. Mm -hmm. King is also away from h-pawn. Yes. So I see multiple uh, minus points of move king e3, and actually, I uh, failed to find any one, uh, plus, one, point. <laughs> one plus point. So g4. But it takes a great courage to move the king to f back to f2 and admit the mistake. It doesn't uh, often happen. Yeah, we had here something else. Uh, she just played first move knight e7, okay. deciding not to touch anything. And white, white is playing move rook d7. Rook d7, okay. At least with rook d7, you're stopping me from taking and bringing this rook to uh, h8. But now, for example, on move like f f6, 
A move rook takes c7 is only move, right? It is forced move. Uh, oh, yeah, because the knight only yeah. for knight is... What history? else? So this is now forced move, pawn takes. Okay. Uh, maybe I should shape... I don't like to trade those rooks, but this move uh, looks very ugly. Maybe I should trade rooks. Look, trade rooks. Mm -hmm. Take. Is the idea of playing maybe hoping oh. to? I trade want to play c5, c5. yeah, and to uh, clean up everything. Mm -hmm. If you now attack the knight, okay, I go away. And this knight, it looks very ugly, but it is not lost. Mm -hmm. Perhaps this is what she wants. I think that this is what she wants. On f6, I think that she will simply trade. So actually now, looking back at this position, maybe my idea of a plan switch to take and on take to play move knight f6 was, uh, was maybe not so crazy. Mm -hmm. Because I would then like this move, uh, I would like to put a rook and okay, I'm stopping some things. But maybe, okay, I can then push. How is this, this business? Let's suppose that we got it. Rook attacks. Maybe this is a problem. Because now if you move now, this is a bad news. So you cannot move it. And if you need to play some other move, then why did you allow g5? Okay, so knight e7 happened, rook d7. Does white have a bet does black have a better move than uh, f6? Well, maybe it does. Uh, now, is it... Uh, is it smart for me to do some trades? For example, and keep my pawn structure for a time being intact. Because you have to trade. I think so at least. You can decide to first trade by night. Okay. And there is no, uh, let's say, entry point. But I see some ideas, let's say, uh, if I... No, I'm not sure if I see it. I, I, want, I wanted to, pro to propose, you know, I wanted to propose some business like this. With the idea, if you take, to take by bishop, and then to play move king d4, to try to push c5 and run all the way to this a7 pawn, this and to create okay a, a pawn race. But there is a small problem. You mm -hmm. can take, and my plan to move uh, bishop uh, b3 is perhaps not check. working because mm -hmm. of check. Yes. This is a problem. So I cannot do that. And here, okay, I can start with some move like bishop... Uh, b5. I control the d-file. Mm -hmm. And I would maybe now try to do s the same thing. And how about knight a5 instead of knight e7? Does it knight a5, you make can. Sense? It makes sense. Knight a5. But now let's see. Knight a5. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yes, it makes a lot of sense. So bishop uh, bishop c6 is uh, another move. Knight e7, rook c7. I guess there are two logical moves, either to hit on the rook or to play f6 and to kick the knight. Seems like some moves She were played f6, she kicked the knight, rook takes c7. But the rooks were traded yeah. first. Yeah, f6, so she did kick the knight. Rook takes, takes, and now it's for white to decide whether white wants to play move rook d3 and indeed enter mm -hmm. descending or to play move knight uh, d3. If descending is okay, then rook uh, d7 is making more sense because it is more forcing. Mm -hmm. So if bishop attacks knight, I move and life looks normal. Okay. What else can I do? 
But still, maybe some issues with bishop. Let's try bishop c6, knight b8, yes. I also realized that uh, I have more bishop c8. Ah, okay, maybe that's better. And the knight is still uh, trapped. We need yes, to but you can, stip, you can, you are just in time to control my king. But also bishop a4 is coming and yeah, bishop a4. c6. Yes, you're just in time to control my king. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is uh, it is very tricky because, for example, uh, okay, I take. Mm -hmm. You take back. Push. Now, probably takes. Mm -hmm. Let's suppose that I'm ambitious. I would like to run with my king. But... Perhaps it doesn't matter, you run. Run. And okay, we're gonna get some sort of very funny pawn race. We are both going to run somewhere. Uh, I think that she has to take, uh, she has to play move rook d7. I don't know, do you see way how to trap this knight? Well, we should try maybe bishop c6, knight b8, bishop e8, let's say. And... Uh but I'm not sure. Like my idea was after... Push. Oh, push, okay. Well, you can take and... Uh... No, but you take... I get my pawn back, what is the big yes, deal? Yes, it does, it means uh, white is just and uh, this would be time. hanging, yeah. I think that she has to take... Uh... No, she went back, back to d3, she didn't like this knight. Mm -hmm. So she played knight d3. Yeah. Uh, but e side e3 really a good move? Because now... Okay. What I need to do, I need to now figure out how again maybe to go with the rook behind. This is one idea. Mm -hmm. Well, actually I really liked your idea of playing knight f6 because uh, I think trading these rooks somehow helps why these rooks were on the open file but not really doing much and on the c file the rook could switch to the h file maybe the one and the other is uh, attacking c4. So yeah, but she was having a practical reason, she was having a direct reason not to do it. The seasons I was showing that h4 and g5 push and rook d7. Uh -huh. This is what she didn't want to do. So now the question is how can a how can a black try to improve the position? Okay, bishop uh, a6 is as far as I could see. Moment. It should not be. Well, maybe it is a problem because this I cannot really do. You just eat pawn, right? Yes. And if I take, take, rook d7, king uh, f7, we see, it's a pawn up. Yes. So I cannot defend it like this. If I push, you take by pawn and you have a passed pawn. I would take on e6 uh, again. Okay, such a move, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Let's try simple idea like knight c6 knight a5 if it works and after c5 c6. just taking on d3 probably so c5 uh, might not be such a great idea okay moment here okay so c5 knight a5 yes oh uh, no i was saying no it's not you should be free let's see you should be free i can take yes okay but then take and play knight Ninety five check yeah. and take on F three. Ninety five check and winning because you are taking with a check. Okay. And you would nice then move, yes. you would then collect few more pawns. Right. Uh, my misery will not About stop. All stop. Of them. <laughs> yeah, my misery will not stop by losing only one pawn. So knight c six. Okay. But I can okay, I can push. When knight takes, I can take by king. Okay. And then I was thinking uh, knight before check knight before first check. came to mind. Move. And take on c5 is... Uh, With? Uh, probably the pawn, I don't know. Pawn. Okay, takes. Ah, okay. Or rook e7, I have a 5. Mm -hmm. Bishop is a reasonable piece here. Yes, yeah, I, did, I didn't see the 
Okay, if she is doing this... She played bishop a6. Bishop is on a6, mm -hmm. and she played move... No, she didn't make any move. Uh, she's thinking what to do on bishop a6. I assume that such a move is logical one. So maybe uh, black can first play king f7, something like king f7, protect uh, e6, and then trying to go to the line with knight c6. Yeah, but then there is a problem. If you would like to do the same thing, mm -hmm. you'll be on, on some pin. Yeah, also. I see. And this is a small problem. And also knight b4 now Knight b4 now is coming, to, uh, so yeah. Chasing away the bishop. I think that rook c1 is sensible move. Uh, we see what's... No, she played move knight, knight b2. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a little bit unusual because uh, uh, Katja Talik is normally playing rather aggressive chess. Mm -hmm. And in this particular game, she is actually somehow uh, sort of uh, sort of timid in a way. Well, uh, I don't know how she lost yesterday. Let me remember the game. Well, it was this uh, uh, complicated position, to the two pieces. Uh, Mm -hmm. Versus Rook and a pawn. Yes, she had two pieces, yes? Yeah. And, uh, no, so opponent had the two pieces. Oh, okay. And then she ended up a piece down uh, ending which she, she could not save. Okay, knight b2. She wants to enter maybe rook d6. Okay, I need now mm -hmm. to, uh, to open up uh, to do something active. If I move my knight, then rook d6. Okay. Well, to me it seems like she hasn't maybe recovered from the lost no. completely. No, but maybe everything is okay what she's doing. Because she would come rook d6 and she would be active. Mm -hmm. So maybe actually nothing is, is happening. Perhaps this position is just equal. Maybe nothing is really happening here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let us go to maybe... Uh, Board number one to see what is going on there because uh, okay. I guess a lot we have two leaders only two leaders Alina Kashvinskaya and Paulina Gushart. Okay, this is the position. Uh, moment, White seem to be having a great attack. Hang on, this looks very promising. This looks very promising. Okay. Pity enough, I cannot take immediately because there is some check on h2. But this looks uh, this looks very good. Okay. Uh, first of all, with white, I have a question: Is this or not a free pawn? Ah, this is not a free pawn because you take, and when I take, you play. You give me some check. And you will have some check on d3, which I'm not happy about. So mm. this is not a free pawn. Okay, there is still move king d1, but no, king I mean d1, other checks uh, will come. Yeah, another three. checks will come to f1 yes. and then the... No, no, yeah, no. Okay, so this is not a free pawn. All right, let's see whether I can get... Then question is, is this a free pawn? For example, take... How do you take back? Or maybe... Okay, let's let's see this variation first. Take... You take back, I assume, with F to open a rook. Mm -hmm. You can also take with G in order to, to try to push F5. Yeah. Okay, how do you like better? Mm. Well, let's start with F. Taking with F. Uh, okay, again, if I take here, would be same story. Little bit worse because okay. also rook is <laughs> also open. rook is there, yeah. No, it doesn't look like that, but I can. I can jump. I can, for example, jump. I do have some threats, like bishop takes uh, c5 in an exchange. Mm -hmm. Do I have a better move? I'm, I'm feeling that white is having a, 
a very large advantage. Only question is uh, what is the best way to uh, work it out? Mm -hmm. Because, for example, look, move uh, f6 is winning an exchange. I don't know how much is it worth, but it's winning an exchange okay, so because you cannot take with bishop because then it's not an exchange, then it's a piece. Mm -hmm. And I take on d7 and on bishop, ah, maybe it is not so nice, wait, it is not so clear perhaps. Take, bishop moves, f4 you take, ah, you want to win my queen, I have a check. Yeah. And it is a piece. After all, move, you can still have three. Okay, but even taking one c5 should be sufficient. Well, then Ah, d7 is hanging, okay. No, but taking should be sufficient. Maybe this, queen moves. And queen b8. Mm -hmm. uh, bishop moves. Takes, and I don't know, maybe some accident. Uh, <laughs> will happen because rook g8 is only move to stop mate and uh, so f6 is also a move it's very complicated uh, it's yeah but uh, critical for white now to find some good moves i think that white is deciding between uh, various uh, good moves because on f6 also if you take by knight no you cannot take by knight you you, mm -hmm. you, you, you must you, you actually you must take by bishop you have only one move because if you take by knight I take on c8 mm -hmm. and it's designed so taking by bishop is absolutely only move and now indeed I take here which can only also be taken by the rook uh, I don't know so not to allowing bishop g5 yes also possible take by rook yes absolutely if you take by rook I take uh, I take on d7, but now there is a small problem. I take on d7, and you have yes. you have small intermezzo. Mm -hmm. So let me see that I take by bishop. You cannot take uh, by knight, so taking by rook is absolutely only move. Mm -hmm. Okay, I take. Well, you cannot take queen takes queen this. For example, this I really don't believe in. My king is not that weak, and I have this very strong pawn. Yeah. So should this right. uh, this should be extremely good for white. Queen moves, rook d1, yes. f7 is hanging, there is no perpetual. And the bishop is uh, almost... Yeah, dead. bishop is dead. doing nothing. <laughs> so that means that you need actually this uh, trick. You need to hope that this trick is going to save you. But now I see also I have some other move, for example, let's, let's see. Uh, I have, okay. Maybe rook takes c5? <laughs> yes, rook takes c5 is a very good move. Rook takes c5 is a very good move. Because if takes, you're simply a piece up. And game is finished. Yeah. So rook c5, then only move is to take. Yes. And now probably f4 is putting game to an end. Mm -hmm. Because when you take, I have a check. Yeah, it's a totally different story now. Let's see, check. Okay, you still live. Do I have something better? And, and how do you live after? Uh, F, F, you, bishop moves, you take uh, You take on d6. Uh, it is not totally over. Let's see, do I have a better move with white? Do I have a better move just to uh, get the job done? Okay, maybe I do. Let's say this. You must take, only move. Yes. Okay. Takes, only move. Okay. Check. F6, only move. Mm -hmm. Queen goes. Yes. If queen b5, I run. There is no mate. Right. I will try to right. mate and my pawn is running. So you need to take. Take. Rook moves, only move, mm -hmm. and f4, and goodbye. Wow, that's <laughs> a nice line you found. So f6 is maybe just... She played it. Mm -hmm. She played it. Can you only refresh to see whether she exactly played what I wanted her to play? Yes, f6 was played. And bishop g3, what? 
Bishop yeah, G3. Yeah, Bishop G3, mm -hmm. okay. So F6 was played, <coughs> and black player indeed also probably calculated all these uh, winning lines. But this is not this is not going to help yeah. the business because uh, moment. Well, first of all, if I do uh, probably the most the most primitive way mm -hmm. to attack, you move the bishop and to take. Just twice, just a queen. Uh, and rook back to c1. Yes. It looks uh, extremely good. I'm a pawn up. Knight is coming to c e7 or c7. Uh, this looks devastating. It's all the pieces centralized. Yeah. This looks devastating. Do I have even some better moves? Uh, so when you have uh, when you see a good move, look for a better move. Yeah, yes. look for a better one. Yeah, according to Laska, when you see a good move, look for a better one. Uh, but this looks very, very convincing. This looks very convincing. Okay, some other moves which can look convincing. Uh, For example, if I... No. It will be same story. Knight b6, queen b6, and uh, this, uh, oh, this check, check will six, still come. Yes, yes. But for example, I can play now... Uh, let's see. If I take by bishop... Uh, you need to take by a rook or pawn. Let's say by pawn, because if you take by... But I don't see really see a reason for this. Why can't I just, uh, in a most primitive way, grab a pawn? Yeah, probably that's the best. Sometimes simple ways a are simple the best A simple chess way. is uh, the best way sometimes. Uh, bishop f4 is the only move, otherwise it's a full piece. And... I can also play with a bishop pair. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Here, basically saying, okay, you really want this pawn badly, then I would mate you on this. Uh, yes, opening up the, the king. diagonal, opening up the king. And I can just be greedy and say, okay, I want to be a pawn up. Mm -hmm. Take by queen. Next move, uh, move rook. Yeah. Because this knight on d5 is really nice, uh, but on the other hand, uh, this line gives away e5 square for black. No, here I have one actually resource. Mm -hmm. Because now I will win a uh, pawn on f6, which might make me very happy. Yes, in, in this situation, yes, mm -hmm. without the dark square bishop. Yeah, in this situation. So maybe it is just uh, very sensible, for example, to play maybe lo lo like this. Okay, hit this bishop. Bishop f4 only move. Mm -hmm. Take. Take. And now, for example, uh, close it. I want queen f4 next move. Mm -hmm. This looks very good. This looks good enough. This looks very good. All also to take doesn't look bad. Mm -hmm. I think that she's considering uh, between a number of uh, good options here, and I would be very shocked if uh, uh, Alina does not win this game. I would be very surprised. Even. Uh, some simple idea, let's say, I, I just... Uh, I just played rook, rook h3, I believe. Yeah. Let me update. Yeah, uh, yeah, rook is on h... Rook is also on c3. Rook is on h3. So something happened, yes. Something <laughs> happened, We don't yeah. know yet what, because it's not showing. I see that bishop has disappeared. A knight is on e7 also. Aha, uh -huh. she played move knight e7, hitting the rook. Rook went away. I see. Then came move rook h3 tempo. Bishop went to uh, f4. Mm -hmm. Bishop f4. Takes on f4. She took, uh, I guess, by uh, queen. So this is, looks like a b better version. Uh, Chasing the rook away and uh, rook no problem with uh, rook a four. Okay, rook a four. Wait, but she wants maybe some move like queen a. But I can even take any time I like. Uh, can you uh, refresh once more, please? Let's see, because I see that some bishop. Okay, here. Bishop has appeared on d seven. This, uh, yeah. So. So 
So rook c3 was so played queen takes, play. yeah, rook c3. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Moment, let us try to understand this move, rook c3. Why, what does she want to do with rook c3? I guess she anticipates uh, uh, blacks activating the rook and uh, pre preventing him by hitting a3 pawn. You, re you really think she wants this pawn? To well, allow rook b2. It will stop the queen from coming to the game. It's not so much about the pawn, maybe. Uh, but queen a8 can be played now. She played mu queen a8. Mm -hmm. And bishop d7. Okay, look, bishop d7 it shows now why is this rook useful. Because if you give me check, I can run. Mm -hmm. There is no check on d3. Yes, so now we are forced to no take by knight. You are forced to take by knight, which is... Uh, uh, moment. No, we have uh, we have queen eight six first check. Mm -hmm. Okay, she decided to put a check to give a check first before taking. The white is thinking what to do. I guess she will play move king f two. It is uh, uh, rather difficult to find some other sensible move. Mm -hmm. So king f two. Knight needs to take, yes. there are no other moves. So the smoke cleared, let's see what, what's yes, going smoke on. Yes, sort of cleared, two, four, six. Okay, one pawn, but also very good position, it is not only a pawn. But black, uh, okay, black is having some blockade and having some sort of chances. I would like to improve my rook. If I move king, queen f1 will come. She, she moved. Yeah, she moved king. Knight took on d7, and she played move rook back to h1. Yeah, which is trying reasonable. to improve rook, which is mm -hmm. reasonable. Okay, let's uh, evaluate some things. Well, rook. Uh, d4 is possibility, but rook d4 is maybe a huge blunder because after such a move there are no really good moves because this is a blunder. There's a fork. Yeah. And if you don't do this, then what? why did you come to d4? Is there for black any possibility to get active here? Because, okay. Uh, no, but I wanted to say when Patser doesn't know what to do, Patser pushes pawns. But here I'm not sure this is going to be clever. Because rook is coming to c8, uh, all the mating nets will start to happen. After rook c8, queen g4, hitting knight, hitting mate. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, if my rook comes to c8, uh, probably this will bring a game to an end. Queen b5 does not improve situation uh, much. Again, doubling and doubling, queen b2 is nothing. Uh, queen b2 is nothing. Uh. So it seems like White needs to be a little bit careful, covering all the some little tricks, but yeah. otherwise... It looks like the position of White should be just uh, completely winning here. Yes. Uh, and White, uh, White is uh, leading the tournament, then would be a sole leader. And Black uh, has played move rook b4. Mm -hmm. Okay, hoping to come from this side. Let's see, Black is going to trade Okay, I understand the idea. If I make such a move, you will maybe trade a pair of rooks, or you would maybe first try to be smart and to jump. Mm -hmm. Now you want to jump and to give check. Yes, uh, king g3, uh, king g3. If I play king g3, okay, now such a move is a mistake because uh, uh, some mate will happen, right? Yes. I mean, you will, let's say, take take, 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 and uh, this king is out, a b6 pawn will fall, I think, and uh, tempo, mm -hmm. and I will take on b6, yes. and game will be finished. Mm -hmm. So, knight c5. So maybe here, such a move, in order to play move queen e2, to have some threats.
Okay, now I wanted to say that I see some... I see a beautiful line, which however probably doesn't work. Look, I want it to... because I would come tempo too short. I wanted to play this move. And to play this move. Mm -hmm. But okay, you take... Take... And now it is not the same. Mm -hmm. Besides, there was because maybe rook takes f3. Rook takes f3 was also a possibility. Or rook takes f3, actually I wanted to play such a move. But then it would be a similar story. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, let's see. Did she manage to, to create some sort of uh, a real counterplay of she is just uh, creating a set of uh, coffee house tricks? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Rook b4. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Well, uh, rook c1 is the most logical mm -hmm. move. But okay, maybe it is not the best move. Uh, let me then uh, first move my king. If I'm anticipating. Uh -huh, but then. Yeah. I move my king if I'm anticipating all those threats. Mm -hmm. So. Is queen e2 now a problem? Yeah, then on rook h2 we have queen e1. Okay, let's see here. Do I have some killer move to stop all these threats? Also, one idea might be knight takes g6 and push pawn and somehow try to get to the king. Probably doesn't work now. Not at this moment, yeah, yes. because... It doesn't would. work. It's just something to consider maybe for the future. Okay, she wants check. No, doubling looks... Uh, Very reasonable. Okay, this is another move. Mm -hmm. To try to put rook to d2. Yeah, to so double and to cover. Mm -hmm. So let's say check, rook moves. Maybe... Knight moves. Knight e3 is a threat. I think that she is uh, absolutely making the best out of it. In a position which looked completely hopeless, uh, she mm -hmm. is actually putting up a fight. There are many tricks, because uh, this knight, even though it's a very strong piece and controlling this rook, is uh, away from home, just like we had in some games yesterday. Mm -hmm. And there are some, some tricks. Uh, I do, it does not look to me that it is entirely hopeless. I have another idea, maybe uh, such a move. Or, okay, I like this. I think that I understand it now. I first move my king. Now if queen moves, uh, this can be a very bad news. I see, because at the end rook b2 is nothing, rook takes yeah. a3 comes. Comes and if I trade queens we are done. Uh, if now rook moves, now let's see, rook moves, uh, rook moves, I wanted to pro propose my rook h2, but I don't like. He would take and queen e2 check, and he would mm -hmm. start checking me. And uh, uh, That's what we don't want. <laughs> this is what we don't want. Um, I'm not sure if I would escape those checks. Okay, I have uh, No, but this is not... Uh, it is. It is not really like without any chances. Okay, let's say that I move my queen. Mm -hmm. I would like to stop queen from coming. But how is it? Let's say uh, knight. Then I take rook a three. So you take, right? Mm -hmm. Stopping me. And now let's say that I. Uh, this 
should be evening. Okay, if I move my rook, he would jump with the knight. Or there is also idea of rook e2 and pushing a2, uh, although maybe, rook e2 maybe tempo. there is always rook a3, I rook don't know. Rook a3 is a problem. Mm -hmm. So, so you will need to probably jump. But okay, she's creating some, but now this rook cannot move. So for example, uh, is this move now winning? You have to take, probably. An idea is when you take that I go down. Uh, can this be winning? Rook moves. Okay, if I now take everything, take, rook, you give queen. Yeah, this is a winning. Takes. And you cannot push queen. because queen I'm queen. yeah because I'm just in time. Mm -hmm. I think something like like this, but uh, black. Uh, okay, this game is is not over. Still going on. I mean, black is having her tricks, and uh, in a time pressure situation can change here, because uh, rook is already on b two. You see, she moved king to, to g three. She played actually king g three, mm -hmm. just to run away from potential check. It's making a lot of sense. Rook b2, we have a very actually exciting game where a French player uh, from seemingly uh, lost completely hopeless position is refusing to die. I see that players often listen to you, Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> like this king g3 you suggested yes. and she played it and other moves. Uh, how much time is uh, Kashinskaya having? What do you think? Uh, maybe uh, here we have... Uh, 30 minutes, yeah? 30 okay. minutes? 36 minutes she's having. Mm -hmm. Okay, still enough time. Uh, panic is uh, is not coming yet. She's having a 36 minutes and... Uh, uh, I will put my money on white. But white needs to calculate... Uh, white needs to calculate very well. Mm -hmm. And I think that now we are going to do a commentating break and... Uh, you are going to follow the uh, time pressure excitement with uh, Yanis and Jan. Chess is a game that is 1,400 years old. How come that today it is regarded as an important educational activity used in schools all over Europe? To answer this question, we must ask ourselves what the future will look like and how the schools are preparing children for the challenges ahead. Extremely rapid changes in social conditions, climate changes, artificial intelligence, automation, a new digital era. Scientists predict that the upcoming 20 years will bring more changes in the structure of human society than the previous 300 years have had altogether. This will affect us all, but most importantly, our children. To make them ready for these advancing changes, we need to give them different skills. Scientists talk about the four C's, critical thinking, communication skills, collaboration skills, creativity. Schools must find the teaching methods which adapt to the needs of the society and provide children with different mindsets that can be used in the digital era, preparing them for online and real life experiences. Why chess? To reach the four C's, we need to teach our children pro-social behavior, pattern recognition, problem solving, memory skills, generalization of knowledge. Chess trains all the four C's. It is a classical board game that is easy to use in the classroom, but also perfect for the virtual world. Gamification has proven to be a crucial educational method in the modern age because children are simply used to learn by playing. Chess crosses all borders. 
It encourages children to win with grace and lose with dignity. As one of the fastest growing educational methods in Europe, over 6 million kids play chess at school. And every day, new schools take up this wonderful learning opportunity. European Chess Union. We make Europe smarter.
Hello again. We start with the game immediately uh, of uh, Stavrola Cholakidu versus Solojenkina because there is a very interesting position on the board and there is a time pressure as well. Probably it's finished or not? Time pressure. I think it has just finished just because finished, they, they, they just yeah, completed yeah. move for yeah, it. But so we left the, po the, the game in this position. We can maybe go uh, a bit fast. Mm -hmm. yes, so sure, let's see. Sure. H6 was played, which is logical to in order to have some G5 ideas uh, all the time. So rook e to e1, g5, g5, bishop. which is risky. Bishop e3. I would personally have played bishop e5 here immediately without really? thinking. Yes. Why? Uh, because I will need the time later. Because it <laughs> because it looks very interesting. If if uh, if, if she takes, <coughs> then d pawn takes, and then very easy play for white. Uh, h5 is is uh, is accessible to the knight then the other knight is coming to d4 and d5 is hanging yes yes he's hanging but also c3 but i think i would have played this uh directly Ooh. anyway bishop e3 makes sense yes e6 yes bishop d3 97 and h4 is a very risky but uh, probably playable uh, move Ooh. yes this is now once again matter of calculation maybe something is wrong knight h knight f5 take take and she took maybe some idea f3 but uh, this f3 is for let's say instead for, of taking yes for older people older people would tend to avoid uh, complications we know this <laughs> really very well and you know uh, uh, play play with pawn uh, with a pawn less but controlling the squares and everything i really don't like it that i tend to prefer f3 now uh -huh. uh, of course, Stav Stavrula and her op opponent are still very young, so black, uh, white took on h6. Yes, black knight, knight e4. e4 now. Yes, queen f4. And at, uh, at first it looks that white has a big advantage, uh -huh. but because I saw the moves, I know that bishop takes h6, queen takes h6, and rook c6 provides defense for the king. Black, yes, yes. Uh, so she tr transfers the rook yes, to yes. the king side. Mm -hmm. Queen h5, I don't know, maybe some queen f4 move might have been possible here. Uh -huh. Yes, queen f4 maybe maybe is also good. Yeah, sure. Okay. Maybe she wants to keep a four square for the knight. Yes, and give and give checks. And uh, little by little time trouble arrived for both players. Mm -hmm. And uh, knight f4, okay, now every move, let's say, is, uh, is I don't know, 
questionable, is, is uh, debatable, let's say. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, cannot know for sure. Knight e3. I get the feeling that because white has uh, threats against the black king, that she she might be better at better. least in a, in a practical sense. It is very important. Yeah. Many times we say in a practical se sense. Why? Because uh, chess is also a game, not only a science or a sport. Yes. So. Uh, if practically you have a better position, many times you win and you know you don't care so much if, if objectively you were losing or it was a draw. Yeah. And queen c8. Okay. She protects. Yes. A now it takes a lot of calculation. I really don't know what is the best move for white. I would even consider, for example, the conservative queen d1. <laughs> the, queen the d1. Yes, the idea they of this move is. Queens? Yes just to consolidate and then I see that uh, d5 uh, will, will fall in the end. Ah. Yes. This is very risky. I don't know if I blunder something like knight takes f2 or something. Oh, yeah. uh, maybe rook takes c3 there. Mm -hmm. But I think I would have played queen d1 because I don't see any real threats for, for white on the uh, very actually uh, yes. different decision, you know. Yes, and say. very because pragmatic. Because you want to attack, pragmatic. but suddenly you want to enter the end Yes, game. because I like these two knights on, on a3 and on an f4, which blockade uh, very well mm, and may lead to a better end game for white. Yeah. Very, anyway. Very difficult decision. Yes, to make. I know that she took on c3. Yes, this is uh, very risky. Everything is hanging now. Can black take on f2? Probably no, because of. Queen uh, g5, g5 check, I suppose, and first. some and attack, probably yes. Nate, later on knight takes d5. d5 and or knight h5. Yes. There is at least perpetual for white, so this is very risky for yes. black. Attacking f2. Uh -huh. Look f1. F1. I don't really understand these maneuvers. Yes. <laughs> and queen, queen takes f5. Queen takes f5. Very yes, this is remarkable. Yes. And black surprisingly played queen takes e3 now e3 yes and i have no idea what is going on uh, i was thinking knight h5 check for a while knight h5 yes uh -huh. she she took on d7 mm -hmm. and queen takes a four okay i'm not sure about queen takes a four maybe there are other possibilities here is it necessary possible? you mean uh, yes uh, i think if knight f6 knight h5 check is the move yes if knight f6 six, six, knight f yeah knight well, what, h5. Ab what about rook e5 uh, but the queen is under attack, so... Ah, yeah, uh, sorry, yes. sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, so sorry, after yeah. knight f6, knight h5 check, and knight x h5? Then I take the queen, and uh, you do not threaten Ah, the queen. queen, okay, yes. sorry. <laughs> I just forgot it. Uh, so she took... Take. Now black should ask, act fast, of course, and mm -hmm. she definitely can play h3 without thinking. Mm -hmm. So g takes f3, and queen g5 check. Here I have to mention that I in case of knight d2, knight d2 looks strong, Let's have a look. Instead of queen g5, knight d2, threatening knight f3 check. But I think that white here has a very... That's why it's important to know end games. The very strong move, queen e3. Look at this very good move. Queen e3, exchange the queens because there is... After knight f3, king g2, uh, white should win. King g2, knight h4, and king h1. There is nothing. White is winning. So after queen e3, look very... Uh, not knight f3 check, but exchange queens only move and this theoretically this is winning for white because all of the sudden of the because of the distant passed pawn actually black doesn't even have a, a passed pawn because mm -hmm. this e3 pawn controls both black mm -hmm. pawns and it requires a sacrifice a pawn sacrifice for black which shouldn't work i think this uh, this is completely winning for white uh, and so the move queen g5 was played here and Queen f5, black has to act fast, check, king h4, and here is the she moment. Is I see that queen h8 check was played, uh, but maybe it takes a lot of calculation. Here it's only a matter of calculation. Can white consolidate or not? Queen h8 check. Uh, another important move is, of course, queen to uh, d8. Let's mm. calculate this for a while. Queen d8 check, because there is no other move than king e5. If if king e6, we exchange queens. queens yes. Queen c8 check. So this is only move. And now what is going on? For example, queen c7. Queen c7 or queen e7. Queen c7, let's say. And if king d4, rook d1 is checkmate. Wow, nice. Yes, <laughs> yes. so king, yes, yeah, sure. So king f6 has to be played. 
end. Now, another. of course, white has queen d8, but is it possible to play another move? Queen b6, king e5. I think white was uh, lucky because at the critical point, before she gave either queen d8 or queen a8 check, uh, they reached move 40. Mm -hmm. So she had time to time calculate. To think, yeah. Otherwise, she would give the check only by uh, by following her instinct, you know, or general rule. She couldn't calculate it deeply. Mm -hmm. I don't know if now she calculated it because uh, it is deep. still not so clear. Anyway, here I don't see anything very clear for white, but queen a8 check was played. Yes. Yes. And queen a8 and yeah. king e7 is once again only move. If, if king e6, white exchanges queens with uh, yes. queen c8. And queen h4 def defending all the weaknesses, king to d6, because if if uh, is it possible to, kick, to play king d7? Queen g4 is not possible for the moment, but after king uh, g2 maybe, protecting everything, now white has the additional threat to give some check. Mm -hmm. That's why I think she black played. decided to play here yes. and queen g, uh, king g2. And this is uh, the, position. the position in the game with uh, black to move. Uh, the, there are some practical chances, but but normally white has uh, winning chances, good winning chances here, because uh, white's king is not so weak; it is protected by the white pieces. And additionally, the black king may become uh, exposed to some checks. The drawback is uh, that if the queens are exchanged favorably for for black. He may be very fast with his her deep pawn and supported by the king and the knight. Mm -hmm. But this the is h pawn is very yes, dangerous. also also yes yes. Uh, also, so, uh, white can uh, kick this knight out of yes. You are absolutely F3. right with f three at some at and some then, good moment. Uh, I mean, regroup uh -huh. and the, uh, the rook In, can, a, can. a very important rule is that the side who who has sacrificed material in order to attack. Let's say black here sacrifice some material maybe she didn't do it intentionally anyway she's uh, she uh, is down some material but she has let's say some attack it is very important a very important positional rule which is not in the books is that uh, the, the one who has sacrificed material in order to attack should have a safe king he, uh, of his own exactly. so, and this is a problem uh, black has sacrificed material material and both kings are weak yeah that's the problem. Usually when both kings uh, are weak, there are too many additional uh, possibilities for, for, uh, for the side with, uh, which has uh, more material. She, yes. uh, at any moment she can sacrifice back some of material, just like of the material, just like we saw previously, and maybe reach uh, a winning endgame. Mm -hmm. For example, here uh, uh, th th there are some chances for white we can imagine if if we can imagine the queen and look out of the play and knight from e4 and the queen missing and the king somewhere on e3 white king white has a theoretically winning endgame mm -hmm. most likely with a past uh, h pawn this should be taken into account yes so so looks like white is uh, has a very good game has chances really to win let's say but chances. black also has uh, interesting uh, practical chances ah, yes, also yes with this deep pawn yes most probably mm. and this tricky knight yes tricky knight <laughs> <laughs> okay maybe we go to the game of uh, which one in Negaponenko versus Belakotenashvili which ended in a draw ah, which, which ended in a draw let's go to Nurgul Salimova versus uh, Bela Kotanashvili. Uh, no, sorry, Marisa Bak. Marisa Bak. Okay, uh, we talked previously about such an end game. Mm -hmm. uh, if we add one more rook for white and one more rook for black, mm -hmm. then black is clearly playing for a win with, with good chances. Uh, because uh, black will have co coordination of the pieces and yeah. two rooks would be too much for white. And additionally, with, with if we add one black rook and one white, white cannot activate his king. Yeah. Because it will uh, it will f f fell under attack by, by a joint attack of the rook, the knight and the bishop. Mm -hmm. But right now, we immediately see king is coming out, king c1, king d2, king e3. And uh, because e4 pawn is weak, I would say 
possibly draw is the most likely uh, outcome, but white is really in no danger to, of losing this. this uh, no danger? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I would think that uh, with good play it is a draw, but uh, let's say... She played knight g5. Yes, knight g5, the pawn will be lost, but I, I think, I still believe if white goes to b8 with her rook, for example, that uh, white is not in danger of losing. Okay. Let's play this yes, no, game. maybe I'm exaggerating a bit. Maybe it's black who is playing for a win, but yes. uh, because some very precise moves are required. But uh, let's say, for example, I play rook f4 check. I have to activate my rook, of course. So, king e6, to e7, e7, and then I go again rook g4. So, uh, with an immediate rook, king e6, again I play rook g4 to activate the rook. Yes, it's more or less the same, and I play rook uh, over there, and uh, for example, bishop c6, but then rook is coming to uh, a7, maybe I can pick up one more pawn. If bishop, c if bishop c8, rook c7 first, I suppose, help. yes, bishop d7, uh, bishop d7, okay, no, rook to a7, no, yes, black, no, no, black will play, then it's a draw, mm -hmm. uh, with bishop c8 back. Mm -hmm. Black may may try, but you know uh, here. Uh, um, okay, this is this is a draw. Instead of rook g, uh, instead of just go a few moves back. No, no, just a few moves back. Instead of rook f4 check, which is good enough, I think. Maybe also king f2 is another possibility. King d2. King d2. Sorry, king d2. Uh, knight takes uh, e4 check and king e3. Also, this position should be a draw. In the end game, the rook. Rook and pawns tends to be better than knight and bishop in the end game. In the opening and in the middle game, bishop and knight are better. But in the end game, rook tends to be better, which means with equal pawns, uh, it tends to be draw. Although theoretically, black is some material up. Mm -hmm. And if white had one more pawn, maybe on d3, for example, or d4, then clearly white would be playing for a win. So uh, this is, I think, an equal position. For white, at least. It, say. Yes. No. Maybe. Maybe. Totally maybe equal. Black has the positive side, let's say, of a draw. But I, I'm almost certain it, it's going to be a draw. Okay. So we should also mention that uh, the the bishop on b7 is a, is a bishop of the wrong corner. The uh, king on a1 is a1 square is dark, which gives additional drawing possibilities. White may may. Uh, enter an endgame where he, he has the luxury to be a bishop and a pawn down and still make a draw. Mm -hmm. Bishop on b7 and a pawn, for example. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice or exchange all the rest uh, of the pieces. Mm -hmm. This is an important defensive possibility and end up in a theoretically drawn uh, endgame. Okay. It's very interesting because I was probably a little bit scared as white to play this position. Yeah, me too. <laughs> if we add uh, one more rook, then black is definitely uh, playing for, Better, for a win. Probably. Yes. So we go to the game of uh, Elena Danielian versus Anna Ushenina. Is it continuing? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Danielian Ushenina. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the position with the uh, equal pawns, mm -hmm. but some. I don't know. Maybe no chance for it. Yes, I will tell you now. I remember one plan, one idea. Immediately comes into my mind with the knight standing on d8. A similar game of Fisher. Not in this type of position, but mm -hmm. Fischer uh, made a very similar plan out of nowhere, and he was playing, I think, with uh, with Evans. I think it was a game Evans Fischer. I'm not 100% sure. And look, in a similar situation, Fischer was black, and he put a knight on c2. It was a very similar idea. Look, if black, if white, uh, uh, Elena Danielian knows this plan. If we imagine this position after knight b7, for example, let's say I play king g6 which is maybe not the best move, king g6, and knight d8. Look, with a, this knight on d8 is very strong. Uh, black can never approach it with, with her king. Ah, but maybe, maybe this is, no, is she, no, she cannot, this is not the same position. Yes, she can go to g7 and f8 yeah. and e8, yes. But Fischer in some game had reached, had, uh, had reached one, one position where the king could not approach mm -hmm. some similar idea. And uh -huh. uh, he, he had winning chances, although the game was uh, still... Uh, and in a draw. And in a draw. White here is better and she definitely has some chances. She will play g3 and f4 eventually. Uh -huh. Black has drawing chances because of the limited material. Uh, yeah. But this is this is an unpleasant, uh, unpleasant position for, 
for black. For black. Yes. Okay. So I believe it, it is a truth theoretically, but uh, unpleasant. Yes, unpleasant. A lot because still a lot of four is coming, and then maybe a five at mm -hmm. some moment, and then the pawns are blocked. Mm -hmm. She cannot push. She cannot have any post pawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Uh, let's go to Alexander Goliashkina versus uh, Anim Balajayeva. I was saying Balajayeva, mm -hmm. but now I corrected this Balajayeva. Uh, this is a, also an ending mm -hmm. with equal pawns, two looks ending. But chances, good chances yes, for white, very good chances. Yes. Very active position mm -hmm. for white. White would wish to be able to create a passed pawn mm -hmm. or maybe have the h4 pawn on f4, for example, mm -hmm. or the g5 pawn on g4. But even even this way, white has, uh, I, I believe, good chances. Mm -hmm. Maybe at some moment she can trade one mm -hmm. rook and put black into uh, Suksvank. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, what do you suggest now here uh -huh. for black? Black can defend this, maybe rook d7? Yes, some rook to d7, I don't know which let's one. Maybe rook e to d7, the, the most active move, rook yeah. e to d7. So how white should play? Maybe rook d4, for example. Rook d4. Mm -hmm. And if rook takes, there are definitely chances. Yeah. Uh, white will take. Uh, both moves are interesting. Take with the pawn or with the king. Most likely with the king. Let's have a look. Rook takes, king takes. Uh, and now king e5 is just coming, yes? Yes, sure. Yes, yes, yes. Either rook check or king is Now I play king... Uh, oh. What? Where? Yes, king to e5 maybe, yes. Check. Yes, king e5, rook d5 check and king f4. Uh, and if here, then e4 is coming. And once again, white is intending... Uh, king e5 back. She never forgot about king e5. Let's yes. go again, c5, c7. And but king e5, yes, enter. yes. The only solution is counterplay. Here, black doesn't have enough counterplay because uh, yeah, the king no yes, takes take and, and the king will end up on the 8th rank and this is yes. a huge disadvantage. Mm -hmm. For example, rook takes b7, is completely winning. Let's show it for a while. King f8 and now both king e5 and e5. e5 are winning. For example, e5, rook takes and king takes... Oh, uh, yes, king takes e6. Ah, yes, here, take and... King f6, for example. Check. check or king f6 and collect uh -huh. g6 pawns. Yeah. This should win very easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, yes, but we went a bit too far. Uh, yeah. White does have winning chances. After king e4, a5 was played. This is a comital move, which has to be calculated uh, accurately. Maybe rook d4. Rook, maybe rook d4, because this brings additional weaknesses. And what happens? But now uh, she doesn't have the pressure on B. Yes, B sure. B pawn. Sure, but some rook B5 may come. But she can free this rook now. Yes, yes, rook let's C5, say rook C5. Let's C5. Say. Yes. Not so easy. Mm -hmm. Maybe good move. Maybe. Can she try to play? Yes, rook b5. Rook Can b5. she play rook b5? How about this move? Check, king e5. King e5. What if she corrects here? Let's see this. Mm -hmm. Take here. And then take on h4. Or h4. Yes. We take here. Yes. Take, yes, take, take and take, take on h4. Looks like on take, be better take on a5. Better take on a5. Ah, not give yes, check. Yes, this, and I will give check on the next move. Yeah, there is no actually, you're mm -hmm. right. Much mm -hmm. better. Probably still winning. Here, uh, White has very good chances once mm. again, I think. Mm -hmm. okay, so this maybe, maybe, maybe rook b5 is a good move, eh? allowing this check. Mm -hmm. okay, I don't know, yes, okay, here to, to take on h4, I think this is mm -hmm. pointless to take on h4. Uh, let's try it, yes, why not take on h4, take on b7, And now rook takes a4, for example. Yes, now it's not the same. Because a5 is protected. Let's say white takes. 
yes and gives maybe a check king to e8, to e8 i think yes you know maybe it's too early to take like on e4 is yes pony e4 or, or 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 because black is is in troops now maybe or rook a7 for example uh, just just uh, yes this rook a7 is useful anyway and then pick up e4 pawn mm -hmm. yes If I come here, are you king f6? Yes, king f6. Let's try rook g4. No, but maybe wait a minute. If I come here, yes, king f6. If I go here, yes, that was uh, the idea. But now, white maybe can take on g6. Is it winning? Uh, there check. Are chances. Oh, yes. Here and here. Yes, but we don't need to give check. Maybe. Immediately, immediately king, king g7. Yes, or even take on a5. Is also possible to take on a5. Yes. And the king is on the wrong side. Mm -hmm. There are chances. Maybe there win. are chances here. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I really don't know. It takes a lot of calculation. It's very difficult to mm -hmm. to answer that. So you have to be interesting end game. Huh? Mm -hmm. In any case, it's very pleasant for white to play. There are only two results. Two here. results, but once again, it gets very unpleasant when these two results become only one result, a draw. Then it gets <laughs> really very unpleasant because white thinks, but I was playing for two results. Why do I get only one? <laughs> okay, let's check the other games quickly. Let's see what's going on in the game of Alexandra. Oh no, we check this one. Arakami Grant versus Elizabeth Potts. Did it mm. finish or continuing? No, they they are still playing. Still playing. Okay, let's see. Okay, very muscular disposition. Black is a is a piece up or what? No, uh, an exchange down. An exchange. Uh, some moves have been played. Uh, uh, Queen takes c five has been played. It's white to move. Miss Mike, can we go to the game? Queen takes c five. Yes, Queen takes c five. Queen takes g three. King f one. Queen takes f four. And now it's white to move. I think Blake is playing to win or what? Yes, yes, yes. It, once again, it's a matter of King E2 of calculation or, or King G2, I would say. King G2. I don't want it to do G1 because it give. But if I put it on G2, then but Knight F5, knight F5 with some ideas to give. But Knight checks. F5, uh, look, a, a King A7 check. Uh, queen a7. Queen a7. But check. this is uh, king f6. If queen a7 is not calculated, uh, let's talk about this move. If it's not calculated very uh, precisely, yes, yeah. then this is a bad move because it decentralizes the queen. You're right. Yes. Uh, so uh, normally, if we are not sure, we just we won't give this check. Now we are just analyzing, but yeah. uh, we won't give this check for uh, yeah. for without any serious uh, reason. We have a guest in our sure. studio, Yulia Gökbudur from Turkey, yes, please come, you can sit here. Hello. Um, what did you do? You won? Yes, I won because of it, of it I came here. Uh, mm -hmm. First time? No. Uh, second time second I time. won. In the, okay. No, I mean in here in the commentating room. You, you, in I this in this tournament, yes, this it's okay. my this tournament, first but time. Before you you came to my commentary, yes, before. Okay. I remember, yeah. Okay, but which board you play? Um, fifty-five. Fifty-five. Why I cannot find this? Wait a minute. Maybe I have to put this. Okay. You played against whom? Ilyuchik. How do you pronounce this? Ilyuchik? Is it Russian name? Mm -hmm. Yana Ilyuchik, Belarusian. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
So let's okay, have a look you play them. with black pieces. You want me to turn uh, table around? Okay, so, so you can. I played the pieces. Karakan. Karakan, okay. Fashionable, very fashion. <laughs> but very I popular now. I prepared other variation because of it. <laughs> I had a disaster <laughs> Which in the opening. Um, now, um, Bishop F5. F5, yes. Uh, yes. Um, no, you said you played another variation. Disaster. Oh. Which uh, one? <laughs> this in this Karakan line. In this Karakan line, uh, okay. Bishop uh, G6. G, D, G6. And now <laughs> it, it was a surprise book for me you, you because. Didn't know. I was uh, ready um, for H4 uh -huh. <laughs> move. And you, was ex you were expecting H4, yes? And I forgot what to play. <laughs> Knight F4, H3, and what to play? Mm -hmm. Probably Yanis knows all <laughs> Of course, they play E6, for example, here. Yes, E6, E6. is a normal you move. Played E6, not the only E6, yes. okay. I played E6, but... Uh, and now they play Bishop D6 uh, in order to be able uh, to neutralize this knight if necessary after uh -huh. h4 for example if h4 yes uh, white can black can play queen h queen c7 is the most uh, usual take usual move knight. but uh -huh. also black can take on f4 this is another playable variation also. take yes bishop takes an h6 uh, there are two possibilities Bishop's white has two bishops maybe he's slightly better here but it is playable playable yes i have all these variations in my yeah. laptop <laughs> But you don't in the remember. Game? Yes, but and you in played knight e7. I forgot everything. <laughs> you it played knight e7. Okay, h4, e5. <laughs> Very different move order. Okay, so takes queen a5 check. C3. You played uh, some imaginative uh, <laughs> opening stuff. I check tried. <laughs> yes. Well, okay. Very creative. Knight mm. e7 h5 not possible here what's going on h5 bishop e4 or something or bishop f5 maybe, yes. i didn't like my position okay. here because okay, so i uh, stayed um, in advantage in past three mm -hmm. But it's um, playable, okay, yes, it is playable. Uh, yes, there yeah. are problems with my pieces. Of course, <laughs> of course. But this position we got, this is what we are going to play. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, queen a4, a6, <coughs> knight takes. Um, in my view, uh, knight uh, g6... Um, was better. Uh, is, is, not good. is not so good uh, in my view because. Uh, uh, you mean for uh, white? For I white. haven't uh, space. Space. Uh, space and because of it. Um, she shouldn't change exchange. Yes, knights. yes, I okay. think so. so because no, after the exchange, uh, white uh, has uh, problems with the, the pawn. Uh, H4. H4. H4, yes. She opened up this H line. But maybe she calculated cut is, uh, something specific like bishop f4. What is happening well, after she bishop f4? Didn't play bishop f4. Um, I don't know why. Yes. After bishop. Intending to, to play, for example, if queen e6, let's play queen e6. Look, queen e6. In case of queen e6, queen takes a6. And white is winning. Queen takes a6. Oh, no, no. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> you won't play like that. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, queen, Maybe queen c5. c5. Ah, yes, it's possible. Is this possible? Now, but uh, now, what? What if I threaten, for example, both queen c4, queen c4, then queen d5, and the game. Continues. continues yes if bishop g4 check so f maybe knight c5 is a good move yes yes, yes yes okay so uh, you played uh, she played uh, bishop e3 yes mm -hmm. yes okay bishop e3 bishop queen c7 mm -hmm. now you go back but now she can play bishop f4 now knight e5 you'll play if again this move for example mm -hmm. knight e5 you'll yeah. play yes uh, no no, <laughs> no, what can be no. What can be i was afraid of uh, pin 
you play this move. Uh, and I, no I decided <laughs> to make the draw. Role. It's like this. It's not mm. bad. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. okay. And uh, because of it, I was ready to the repetition of mm. moves. Ah, okay, okay. So <sighs> but she didn't want. <laughs> you repeated uh, some moves, and then she played like this, huh? Yes, uh, she changed. Knight e4. She wants to mm -hmm. count to d6. Knight f5. G6, G3, I see 5 Suddenly, your pieces are developing very well. Yes, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because in that time, um, we were close to the... Time trouble. Time, really? time trouble. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. D7, Bishop G4, Queen B5, and Queen E4. And Bishop D6. I think this move bishop d6 has to be played sooner or later, otherwise the bishop on f4 is very strong. Very strong. This has to be exchanged. Takes. Mm -hmm. And now c4, in my view, it is was better. Uh, this move. Yes. She didn't play it, eh? Yes, I was thinking it. You were afraid of this move. Yes. What to do? Yes, what Maybe to do? Maybe here b4. Possible, possible, yes. and, uh, and then taking here. In my view, I stayed without a pawn. Yeah, you will lose a pawn. Yes. Takes, takes, takes. Is it possible to play rook d7 here, for example? Maybe, Let's check. Yes, uh, spin. Yes, spin. I put the yeah. other rook. Come here. Yes, yes. take. Exchange. 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 Takes. Yes. And rook, rook d1. one. And then queen yes. d7. And then what? Maybe. C5 or H5 to create a distant past pawn. Let's play H5, yes, H5 for example. H5, King D8, pool. King mm -hmm. D8, is, is it possible? And now is it now possible to exchange C5. everything? Yes, exchange uh, everything and C5. Like this yes, looks yes. better for white. Yes. Uh -huh. Chances, good chances good to win. Chances. Mm -hmm. Yes. So anyway, she didn't do this. She missed this C4, yes. She played B3. Yes, it was a very silent uh, move, very B3. Slow move, yes. Mm -hmm. Queen F3, Rook E8, Queen D1, uh, Rook D1, sorry, Queen E5, Queen D3, Queen F6, and King G2. Mm -hmm. King B8, Queen F3. She repeats the moves. Is it time trouble? Yes, it's time, time trouble. trouble. Time trouble, mm -hmm. okay. Bishop h3 takes it. <laughs> In the end, she, she uh, Yes, I was thinking nice. about king h2 uh -huh. uh, without exchange. Yes, mm -hmm. you're probably better not to exchange mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. rook b1. Because after exchange, um, I feel more comfortable yeah. myself. But, uh, King of is very strange, yes. Very yes. strange. But it was uh, last ah, move. Ah, last move, last move. 40. Yes. Move 40. 40. Uh, she couldn't make any other move, Queen D2 or something, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, here. Here. And uh, now I was thinking she could play a uh, Queen D4 check. Queen uh, D4 check. What C, is happening? Um, yeah, C5. Ah, C5 and C5. Oh. C5 uh, he takes and king somewhere here. Yes, and now like Queen D4. D5. Um, uh, you want to exchange like this? Because oh, uh, but but you are bet uh, losing. Uh, yes. You saw yeah. this. Yes, I was thinking about uh, uh, giving Queen check. E2. Ah, yes, Queen um, E2. Queen. Um, king uh, G2, G2, G2 only move, yes. only move uh, queen, uh, mm, no, ah. no, 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 h2. h2. Yes, king h2. Uh, but king h2. Yes, because if queen f3, it's checkmate. Queen uh, f2, check check, yes. yes uh, queen uh, g2. Ah, now it's okay, maybe and you check another check. Uh, 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 and but still dangerous, yes. yes. In my she view, will come it here, was maybe even uh, queen b6 better. here instead of exchanging queens. Look here, play maybe queen b6. b6. Yes, yes. This, keep this the queens. This is good movie, right. Yes, because the, the white Very weak is game. more, more weak. Yeah, yes. And yes. game was better for you. So mm -hmm. good, okay. Let's and see. now she blundered. She blundered here. 
Yes. What's this? Uh-huh. Queen d3 and rook e1. Let's go just Very good one move. Back. Yes. It so was the was only d3. bad move. Yeah. Yes. She yes. Made it. But because of king f3, mm -hmm. she made some suicidal move. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. king f3. <laughs> She that designed. was very nice she combination. Designed. Very mm. interesting game, actually. Mm -hmm. From the opening, you didn't play well, but later on, you played well. Yes, mm -hmm. so it was my chance. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Very, good very luck well tomorrow. Played. Thank you for you. Thank you. <laughs> and good okay. luck uh, to the rest of the tournament. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Okay. Eva, is she is here? Oh, yes. So, thank you. Uh, Eva is not here, maybe okay. we continue, okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we were checking which game? Uh, Six. Six. Are I coming around? Is that it, Pats? Yeah, sure. Draw, okay. Ah, it yeah. ended in a draw. Ah, it ended in a draw, how come? White played king g2. I don't and have queen. the moves. Yes, king g2 and queen d2. And it ended. Maybe they repeated the moves, I think, king mm -hmm. f4, something mm -hmm. like yes, this. Yes, yes. Okay. So we move to another game. Ekaterina uh, Natalijuko, uh, what happened there? Ah, they are still playing. Mm -hmm. White is it's on, a pawn up, on up. With very oh. good chances to win. Uh, actually, yes. this position, let's see, they were analyzing this position. Eva and Eva. Okay. Uh, this was the position. I think she played knight b2. They left it off here. Mm -hmm. And she did knight c6. Let's see. Rook d6. H takes z. And then e5. Knight d3. Suddenly she started to make some dubious moves yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. black now yes now white is is uh, of course better her, her king is centralized chances yes. for a distant past yeah. pawn and, and also is this weak. g6 is yes, weak of course the most important we should see two actually probably we should be six no she is not using of course h4 yes okay she cannot take she said she is thinking yeah g5, g5. Very, uh, a Good very experienced idea. player would play h4 and g5, fixing mm -hmm. the weakness on g6. There is a problem that white cannot create a passed pawn for some time, but now she's playing against the weakness. She doesn't want to create a passed pawn. Mm -hmm. Different plan. Bishop d3, e4. Mm -hmm. Takes, takes. But actually, after this pin, white is threatening bishop d5, or even rook takes uh, f7. f7. Rook c5. So here. White won a pawn on the side. Pawn up, king f8. And king d4, very important move uh, to centralize the king. She mm -hmm. calculated rook c4 check. Let's play rook c4 check, king e5. Uh, if this is c4. very important. We want to centralize the king, but, but we have to calculate also. Here, rook c5 check and king f6. And uh, there is no check and calculation stops here. Yeah. So white is able to play king d4. We, before we play king d4, we should check if, there, if the, she can send us back. You're right. But uh, king d4 is possible. Yes. And she played rook yes. b5. And very useful move, a3. Uh, the pawn is moving away uh, of, the, of the threat from the bishop and protecting b4, b4 square. square. So Rook c5, she is waiting, of yes. course. Rook and rook a4, very elegant move, intending to play rook before rook because b4. this uh, endgame is completely winning if the rooks are exchanged because, because white of will the have g a, a very g active king on e5. And also this yes. g6 pawn, mm -hmm. always under yes. attack. This is winning quite easily. Yeah, and uh, this should do something. Uh, after rook a4. What happened here? Uh, she went back to a7. But, uh, I yes. Don't understand. I don't know. Maybe uh, king f8. King f8 was rook played. Wait. And she changed her mind. Uh, Just she a second. Her Let's mind. see why not. Uh, why not rook b4? Rook I don't b4. understand. Yes. Or uh, maybe rook a5. Rook a5. Rook takes b6. Let's have a look for a while. Rook. Yes. Rook b4. Rook a5. The, the rook endgame is. She yes. Played king f8 and rook b4. Wait a minute, no, no, it, it wasn't like this. 
rook c5, rook a6, rook b5, rook a4. Now she played king g7. Uh -huh. Now rook b4 she didn't it's, play. Yes, it's meaningless now, completely meaningless. Yes. But she could think about it with a king on f8. Yeah, king on f8, then mm -hmm. it's okay because she's attacking g6. No, but uh, still it still, is a draw. Still, still, still there is, is a check, draw. Yes. yes. Okay, so she didn't play. And now what to do? How to make progress? Yes, uh, white should maybe think of a way to enter with the, with the king. Of course, white should calculate ideas with h5 all the time, and if g takes h5, g6. Uh, yes, g6. Uh, for the moment, uh, h, after h5, uh, rook takes g5 for the moment. Uh, so this is not working, because rook takes... Uh, yes, and if h6, rook h5. But anyway, white should calculate all this uh, at any moment, and also black should calculate. So after rook here and king f8, won't play h5, but this is uh, uh, still uh, in the spirit of the position. White is thinking how to cross the fifth line with her mm. king. For yes. example, is it possible to play rook b7? Uh, rook b7, let's see, rook a5, take on b6, take on a3, and king e5. Is this possible? For the moment, we cannot take g6. Because if we take g6, just play this move back. If bishop takes g6, as we saw already, black exchanges and rook a4 check, and this is a draw, completely equal. Yes, take on h4. So king e5, this is after rook takes there, king e5. Uh, this is very critical. Normally, we do not play like this unless we calculate it very accurately, because now we exchange uh, all the pawns and it may be a draw. draw. For example, king g7 here, and this possibly a, a draw, uh, threatening rook a5 check now. This is very good chances for draw, so... Maybe uh, check. Yes, so uh, uh, I shouldn't have been in, in, in a hurry to play, to exchange all these pawns. Maybe play some waiting move and continue. So what to do? What to do? But she did something. Yes, she played bishop d3. Bishop, bishop d3, d3. she this is, check. Yes. Check. Probably e4, yes. Or e3, yes. Or e3. Mm -hmm. Let's say e4. Yes. Uh, threatening to take on f7, of course. Mm -hmm. Rook to c5, she will play, I guess. In case, yes. And now, one idea is to play a4 and bishop b5, stabilize, protect a4 pawn, and go after uh, b6, b6 pawn. pawn. Yes. This may be one possibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, if I take this b6 pawn and give this h4 pawn, the how you will protect uh, this uh -huh. a6 pawn? Will yes, this should normally will be win. very strong, uh -huh. yes. Here, the move bishop c4 has to be taken into account, though. Uh -huh, this move, huh? Yes, it has to be calculated. Accurately, before we play a4, <laughs> after. But maybe the, we have to have this king on e3. On e3. Then it's, it, will, it will not be possible, this. Uh -huh. If we c5, a4. a4. Yes, we are right. Instead of, uh, in, in case of bishop c4, yes, yes, g6 is hanging. Yeah, king e3 is better. Mm -hmm. She played it. She played it. And a4, bishop e5. But now uh, maybe bishop to e8. Is this possible? Bishop to e8. Ah, you don't allow me to play. Yes, but... But can I play... Rook... What was the meaning of this? Ah, no, rook b7. We can play rook b7, because g6 is also under attack. Rook ah, yes. b7, and in case of bishop takes a4, I we guess both g6. rook, rook takes uh, a, b6, or bishop takes g6, I guess both moves are winning. She cannot protect you. Yes, and after bishop e8, bishop takes g6, we already demonstrated yesterday how this end game is winning. Yeah, yeah, actually, yes. you're right. Mm -hmm. They have to check from our website, mm -hmm. Ismail, YouTube, Turkish Chess. Ismail, now we write down this web address. Yesterday, before mm -hmm. yesterday, all the uh, uh, rounds, there are, uh, you can find there, the, all the broadcasting videos uh, on this website, youtube.com slash Turkish Chess. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, good chances for white to win, I would say. Yes, good chances for white to win. Oh, here is Eva. Eva, come. 
we are uh, keeping your seat here Thank you. so that when you come you don't need to uh, carry this seat with you <laughs> okay uh, now we are checking the game of Ekaterina Atalik versus Natalia Jukova Ekaterina Atalik somehow managed to have a ending with a pawn up oh yes mm -hmm. she was defending and uh, her opponent I don't think she played very well. Mm -hmm. She made some inaccuracies, so she has this po position. And she gave check again. Okay. What do you think, Yanis? She played check, king yes. e3. Yes, and check king, king e3. e3. And, check and again. then check again, king and f4. King f4. Uh, is there any difference now? Check, uh, king yes, e4. Yes, rook c5. Now rook some c5. ideas with h5. Enter the game. And now your idea, h5. But yes, probably still not working. G not takes. Working. Yes, g takes h5. Let's try it for a while. G6. And after g6, bishop to uh, e6, or even to c4. And after g7, king g8. Uh, How to win this? Yes, we are not winning, yeah. for sure. So. Can I play again this move, our move? Why not? Yes, intending bishop b5, b5 once yes. again. Uh, ideas with bishop b5 or with rook b7. She played rook c5. Mm -hmm. What about a4? a4. Maybe, you know, maybe white should not be in a hurry. Maybe move her pieces around for a while, see what is happening, uh, try to find some uh, some traps or some ideas, and then later maybe push but which a4. pieces around? I don't rook, see. rook a6, for example. Just keep on playing rook and a6. see what happens. Yes. Rook a6. Ah, how do you protect? If I play here, for here, example. and now bishop e4, for example, threatening to cross uh, the fifth line once again. Uh huh. You're right. Yes. If this, if this, for example, White is winning. You see, uh, uh, if rook b5, b3, maybe. yes, and king e5 now. King b, king e5, yes. And then king f6. King f6 is the idea. Maybe, so maybe I think this is the point. maybe this. I think White should not be in a hurry, and try some various ideas and uh, plans before uh, before she plays a four. It's probably a very unpleasant situation mentally for Black coming actually, from actually other position. here. Maybe she's no. She, she this mm -hmm. ending doesn't win. Very unpleasant situation, as Eva says, but. Uh, also for white, if the game keeps on playing, uh, keeps continues, you know, uh, white may, uh, may become nervous that she is not winning fast. Here she has to be experienced and realize that this g position, this game is not definitely not going to be an easy one. It's going to be played for a long if time. If it's true, uh, she has three minutes. Uh, black has three minutes. I don't know okay. if it's true or not. Uh -huh. uh, and but white, white has 11. even less. White has 11. Looks. 11. Oh. From this uh, website, or are you sure it's less? Uh, uh, at least here it it's says ten minutes. Move here ten it says, it over, says over here, I guess. You have oh, to check sure. it there. Yes. This is more so time. So yes, yes. Uh -huh. Time is also important because chess is mm -hmm. a sport, mm -hmm. and it is played with rules. What about this ending, uh, Yanis? Look, two. I will have two yes, parts of this is a, winning. This yes? is a very well known theoretical win. win yes. yes. If rook c4 check. Maybe you don't need to enter the yes, e5. Yes, maybe maybe king e5 is winning, but king g3 and exchange rooks. Uh, this yes. is this is a theoretical yeah. win yeah. for White. White would rather not have an h pawn, but an f and g pawn. And she played it. Uh -huh. Your move, rook mm -hmm. a6. Rook a6. I think this is a good move. Probably. Uh, what uh, to play now? It makes a lot of sense to repeat moves. You know, to try and find different plans. Exactly. Now she played rook c5 and rook a6 has been played. Mm -hmm. now what if bishop c4, for example, look, let's play bishop c4, then white is winning uh, by... Uh, by force. No, no, this... Uh, she takes with check. This is not so clear, May maybe not so clear, but rook a8 check, I was thinking. Rook a8 check. Yes, king g7. Oh, not a clear win. And if rook a7 check, bishop f7 and the game continues. Ah, now h5. Look, what a nice idea. h5 mm -hmm. now. Oh, now this yes. is working. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect timing. Yes. Yes. So, uh, uh, 
if it takes. Jesus. What we have to learn about such kind of position is do not take radical decision very fast in the game, just like the move A4. Mm -hmm. First calculate, play a few moves. This is very important, even for very experienced players. I see that they make this kind of mistake. They take radical solutions very early in the game before they, uh, and, uh, before they even uh, go deep, deeply in the position and, and find the, its secrets, you know? Yeah. You have to play a few moves up and down, some tricks and everything, because you don't know what is the best way to play. You haven't played this position before, yeah. uh, this exact position. So before you, you make moves like A4 and move pawns, first move the pieces for a while. She played rook c3. Rook c3. What did we say for this move? Yeah. Bishop somewhere. But where? Bishop e4. What would you say? Bishop b5. Why don't you? Bishop b5, for example. Uh, now I want to play a4 mm -hmm. now. But I how do you, how to do you protect this pawn? Uh, bishop e4, and what is the idea to, to, to play maybe king e5? Let's try uh, whatever says bishop e4. Okay. Well, back to b3, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then two checks, check and a rook, yes. And this is winning immediately, king g7, yes, rook a7. Seven. <laughs> yes, again the same trick, Th threatening to take f7. Here. And rook it, no, f7. here rook takes f7. Uh, rook takes f7, So yeah, yeah, rook b5 uh, after rook a7. Uh, no, no. Uh, no, no. Rook c3, bishop e4. Bishop e4, e4. yes. Your instinct was, as always, correct. <laughs> Rook b3, and white is winning by force here. Check, check, and... Yes. Let's try, let's try uh, Rook b3. What did she do? Rook b3. Why she didn't play Bishop e4? It doesn't she matter. She played let's King e4. Yes, this ah. is also interesting, but this is, a, this is even same. better. Better? Yes, look. Bishop e4. King e4 she played. Yes, let's have a look at Bishop e4 uh -huh. to see how it is winning, because it, we didn't make it clear. Okay. So bishop e4, bishop e4. Uh, threatening b6, yes, what rook, to play? rook b3, b3. and check. now check, king g7, once again rook a7, a7. threatening to, to take, and if rook b5, be my guest and play the move. <laughs> we, we saw this plan already, so what should white play? <laughs> h5 and weeks. Eva, I was first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so rook a7 is like double attack, yes? Uh -huh. There is no way yes. for black to cover both threats. Yes. So what's going on here? After, rook rook after king e4. King e4. I think this is... Uh, I don't know how black will hold this. It's very difficult, almost yeah. impossible. Because uh, so many tactics are involved yeah, and they right. all fail. She cannot go to b3. Is it possible to play bishop c4 now? Mm -hmm. I was just thinking. Yes. Bishop c4. Uh, she missed Because this. I heard somewhere that all rook end games are draw. Mm -hmm. bishop c she missed this bishop c4? Maybe not. There is a move king d4 maybe. Maybe check first. Then if she doesn't mm -hmm. want to. Oh. Or maybe not. What, what's going on? Takes, takes king e5. I think Eva she plays these play. games much better than both of us. <laughs> she didn't no. play. She ever advocates are correct. Bishop e8. <laughs> Maybe it was ah, her played. last chance. But why not? Let's see bishop c4. It makes more sense. Yes. Yeah, you're right actually. Why not bishop c4? Mm -hmm. This bishop is very you passive, see? you know. She has to get rid of King this bishop. Yeah, because bishop c4, rook c4, I don't know. P uh, Losing h pawn. Maybe she, look she missed this pawn. Like a good idea. Let's see king d4 that you suggest. King d4. King sure. d4. Yes. Rook takes d3. Takes king takes d4. And now we want to pick here. up b6 pawn, of course. If you and take already here, threatening g6. Takes. And, and now what? Here. Eva should be commanding. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I Eva, go Eva, up, you, up, you are, Let's you go up. <laughs> just for the record, Eva, in, in case of in case of. Uh, Bishop c4 to exchange in king e5, but this is not good enough. Uh, bishop c4, let's see. Uh, yes, bishop take, takes, take yes. in king e5, but then it's rook c5 check. We don't take on, on uh, 
So take king e5 is possible, but rook c5 check. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. if here rook c6 check. Rook c6 check. And yes. the king doesn't go anywhere. Yes, maybe king d6 later, okay, also some mm -hmm. chances. Uh -huh. Yes. But the other one, I think, is winning. The other mm -hmm. king d4. Rook with, with king d4. Well, we'll yeah, king d4. Check, I guess, but yes. This, this looks winning. What, wait, mm -hmm. look. Takes, takes, here. And I take. But no, no, are we blundering any pieces? Because the rook was on a6 and it is also hanging. Let's check for a while. We played what? this very fast. We played this very fast. Yes. Ah. Here, another rook is. But if bishop takes d3, rook a8 check, yes? Very lucky. Yes, yes. Very bishop lucky. Bishop takes d3, ah, yes. <laughs> yes, we passed this so fast. Okay, okay. And this, if the bishop takes d6, rook king takes d3, and it's still winning. winning. Yes. Let's see this ending. Takes, takes here. Here, check, and king b3 should be winning. Yeah. Uh -huh. But why not b3? Because g6 is under attack, so you can put the king also on b5. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so of course, you can b5. Mm -hmm. Just more active. Yeah, I forgot that it was on, under attack, yes. And if king g7, for example, king white g7. can give a check or play directly rook e6. This is rook nice technique. E6, to yes. e6 mm -hmm. and I go to e5, and e5. then I start yes. to push. Yes, yes, and the king is cut should off, be, so should be easily, easily winning. winning yes. mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a. Uh, what's going on now? Bishop e8. I guess that's why Black. She played Bishop e8 Bishop with e8. The, probably the right decision. And. Ekaterina Atalik is thinking now what to do. What do you suggest? I would probably play. Uh, King d4 and lose the game after rook takes d3. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I am the most untalented endgame player she in the world. She played rook a7, okay. I can't believe that. Yes, yes. She played rook a7. I immediately found a way to lose for white, you know, and mm. uh, start ca cursing and crying. Rook a7. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, what does she want now. Well, it's also some kind of uh, Zugzwang, you know. If the bishop goes to c, if the rook goes to c1, for example, then king e5 is, is might be interesting, or king d4. Actually, white is taking her time. She's she has no reason to, to yes. be in a hurry. Actually, now you're right. What to do with black? Rook king d4, or, I would Rook c5, king yes. D4. Yes, white so slowly improves. She is very experienced. You see, she she does not commit king herself. King e5, she plays. Yes, uh, rook c1 was played, rook and king e5. And king e5, yes. yes. She wants but to now for enter the moment, f6. The, for the moment, there is rook c5 check yes. because if uh, king. Rook c5, rook c6, yes, and yeah. after rook c5, to go now, king. d6, to, maybe. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. What about mm. this? If rook c3, king. Mm -hmm. Maybe rook d4 is easier, no? Or yes, this bishop c4 would, would have been very interesting. Now this bishop e8 is actually very passive, yeah. and uh, white has mm -hmm. all the chances, but probably it is uh, losing. losing anyway. This yes. What's going on here? Here rook c6 check once again, king d5. Uh, rook c6 check, yes, king yes. d5, and now uh, what's going on? Rook c5 check, king d4, and the game keeps on going. And rook a8 is a big threat, yes? Yes. In this position. Mm -hmm. One minute looks like for white, for mm -hmm. black. Mm -hmm. Let's go to another game. Meanwhile, let's check the other games. Uh, was, uh, Sophie Milian, Natalia Pogoni, is it finished? Milia yes, Pogoni. we finished with a draw. Yeah, this is draw. This is the position, probably a bit the most. Mamadzada, Gunai, uh, Marina Brunelda, Nice. Also, draw the repeated move. They repeated yes. the moves, okay, draw. Mr. Michal Cisin had predicted already that very symmetrical position, little chances to play for a win, mm -hmm. he said, uh -huh. just mm -hmm. as simple as that. And yes, he was right, it was He draw. was right. Experience talks, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, Stavruda, what is she doing against Solozhenkina? Solozhenkina against Solozhenkina. The this game was also interesting, and now yes. they continue to play very interesting position. But if she comes to f4, what's going on here? It's white to move. White uh, to move. Maybe yes. she has to play some queen e3 or yeah, something. Yes, it, but it seems the queen is again misplaced a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Why she played like this? Ah. Let's see the moves for a while. How did the game go here? King g2, queen g6, queen g4. Queen f6, 
Yes, look at one for the moment, it's normal, good. But now she transfers to this side. Check. Takes. The desire to collect pawns is understandable, uh, but I think that H pawn was should, well, should be pushed at some moment. Wait a minute, they played many moves. Yes. Takes, takes, takes. Rook A1. Aha, this. Yes. Root A1. Yes. Knight C5, C5 B4. Check and Knight E6. Very inspired defense by Black, threatening Knight F4 and everything. Yeah. And now White decided uh, to play it safe, and she played here and took on A6. Of course, there are always winning chances for uh, White. Good winning chances because after Knight F4, actually the White King has a very uh, good square on on H2, uh, where it cannot be approached. And, uh, yeah, and actually this way, yes, she why should be winning, but not so easy. Not so easy, yes. There are always practical chances. Yeah. Mm. Maybe at one point she has to start pushing this H point. Yes, yes, absolutely. You know? Yes. Mm -hmm. And now uh, the problem for white, because black doesn't have anything to risk anyway, is that time trouble uh, is not it's just approaching, approaching but yeah. it's already there. Really? Yes. Uh, three three, three four minutes, minutes for, for white. Three minutes. three minutes for white against what? What is four this? Four minutes for black. Yes. So three minutes for white. Four minutes for black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a, there mm -hmm. will be big time trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, they will play uh, all the game now. Mm -hmm. They like blitz. Yes. So after, if in case of uh, knight f4, I would definitely play king to. Uh, H2, mm -hmm. stepping away of all these uh, unnecessary and annoying yeah. checks. I she couldn't decide what to do. Mm -hmm. She is still thinking. As always, Cholakidu's uh, games are very intense, playing with seconds yeah. on the clock for, for mm -hmm. both Full players. Full of excitement. Yes, yes. And you can never be sure what is going on until the very uh, last, last moment. Se second. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, right. That's why we are showing her game now, mm -hmm. <laughs> actually. Very interesting. Yes. Uh, interesting for spectators. I don't yeah. know if so much for the, for the also. coach. The uh, for also. the trainers, <laughs> it, these games are not very interesting. They are they are life consuming. <laughs> yes. Really? Yes. They are uh, heartbreaking. Uh, In what, every what, game, what, 10 what days of your life. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> every game is a new adventure. <laughs> Okay, we are joking, of course. Okay, what knight f4. Probably king h2 is yes. expected now. Very yes, normally very king safe h2, and prophylactic yes. move. Stepping away of, of the teddy yes. and yes. now protecting um, h3. Okay, protecting h3, exactly. Maybe with some idea queen b6 in mind. Or if the queen goes away, even rook takes f6. But uh, she I wouldn't it. play like this take on, on f6 and take the knight on f4 yeah yeah uh, right. because it's unnecessary and risk it will be difficult to yes. win probably start pushing the pawn for and the moment the knight is dominating the queen actually let's put the white queen on f3 let's say we play queen an irrelevant let's say queen c4 queen c4 but this but is queen attacking the rook unfortunately so let's play queen to where to b2, b2 let's say to b2 yes yes and now queen f3 so uh, Okay, queen uh, g4 is a threat. B why? Because h3 pawn exists. But this is actually a very typical motif where the knight is dominating the queen. But okay, of course, here there is a pawn on h3. If th that pawn was not there, a knight is dominating the queen. This is uh, very important. You, you must spot it very quickly. And now the queen from uh, f3 cannot give a check. Mm -hmm. uh, this may be very important uh, in time travel. We, many times we think in motifs and in chess generally. Uh, so the knight on f4 is uh, dominating there's, there's the queen. Something now there is a pawn on h3, of course. That's a different story. Mm -hmm. uh, so queen b7 queen was b7. played. She wants yes. to play d5, d4, d4. D4, yes, but of course it won't be so easy. Yes. Queen so queen b7. b7. Wait a minute. Was yes. uh, the, the move she took, we don't, the, we don't have this. Takes, comes. Uh, King maybe H2. maybe even queen b6 is good now. Queen b7. Maybe even queen b6 is good. Queen b6. Black may, should maybe exchange queens and push the pawn uh, fast. D4. I don't know. Yes. 
because f6 is under attack and some queen b1 ideas are coming. Then play maybe something else. Yes, I'm not sure queen b6. I'm not sure she anymore. Play something? No. Yes. She um, didn't play anything. After queen b7. Okay, let's see this. What's going on here? Yes, but this is you know completely unnecessary because black has a passed pawn too, and this means yeah, okay, counterplay. Okay. It would it would be good only if there was some forced queen, queen trade, exchange. but yes, there is absolutely. isn't. Yes. What to do now? After queen b7, maybe rook b6. Rook a, a1 she played. What kind of move is this? Maybe she wants to play rook g1. Yes. What happens after d4? Queen after g3. Queen, Queen a5 check. Uh, what? Rook a5 check. Right. Yes. Rook a5 Very check. good. Yes. Rook a5 check. Yes. This is what Immediately she showed. winning. Yes. That's what, that makes me think maybe also rook a4 was uh, Even good better. Move. You're, yes. you're right. You're right. Rook a4 was even better. Actually rook a4, yeah. I'm but rook a4, c7 queen c7, maybe. Seven, yeah. Queen g3, but yeah. then d4. After maybe. rook a4, what, what queen g7? I don't understand. Queen that. c7. Queen ah, c7. Queen c7. And, and then queen g3. And then queen g3. Yeah, it also looks Threatening good. Threatening queen g4, check and win immediately. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, so probably. So, how, that what to was do against this? Now, in case of queen c7, obviously white wants to play queen g3. Now, in yes. case of queen c7. Mm -hmm. So, objectively, I suppose white is. Queen, but played? of course, black will fight. She played end. queen b2. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now it's maybe the moment to play rook a4. But then queen e5 will come. Queen e4, queen g, then plays d4. Yes. Queen g3. Maybe uh, queen g3. Now there is a threat of queen. Uh, well, maybe checkmate. Now. Yes, rook d1 was played. It makes queen perfect a4. sense. Rook d1. No, it doesn't make perfect sense. I, w I would prefer the rook to be more active. Based. Yes, rook a4 what was What is good. it doing on yes, d1? Yes. Queen queen just hitting yes. the pawn. Yes, queen e5. And now I don't think white should change queens anymore. I think white should play queen uh, g3 here. Yes, queen g3. And be ready to either to push the pawn or to, to give a force queen g4 check. Check, yes. Yes. But what about move like rook d4 instead of queen queen g3? In which position? In this, uh, well, uh, yes, what, sure. uh, can you one move back here? Yeah, queen e5 ah. and rook d4. Rook d4. Rook d1. Yes, queen e5. Rook queen e5, rook d4. Mm -hmm. Although rook d4 doesn't really threaten anything, that's the problem. Yes, but... Uh, because now she can give check if you take, takes... No, and no, now it starts to no, push. No, no, no. Because d5 ah, no, is hanging. Take yes. with the king. But take with the king. But let's think about it for a while. Yeah. Just a second. Uh, give me just one second. Is it. Mm, yes. Should be still winning, no? Yes. Yeah, but it's. What did she do? Group d1. Queen b8 she played. Queen b8 and queen g3. As an mm -hmm. this queen Now b8. there is also the threat of knight takes d5 check. Queen b8. Mm. Queen g3. Now, uh, rook takes uh, d5 is Actually, okay. this queen b8, I didn't like it. But anyway, mm -hmm. probably she will play queen. But now there's queen g4. Yes. So queen probably queen. she's losing. Uh, most likely. Because there is also the threat of... Uh, what did she do? She played queen b4. Queen g4? Also queen b4. Also what about stopping. queen g4 now? And king e5. It's not yet queen winning e5. because e1 square is Queen g5? No, queen g5 not possible. But yes. Oh, queen before also stopping queen rook e1, yes. yes. Which would be winning right away. If you check, queen rook e5, huh? Maybe white, instead of giving check, let's play a uh, move back. Maybe she, she can just play h4, but h4, uh, you, you lose the ideas of queen, queen g4, g4 check, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. She has to find something else. After this nice move, how can I go to e, e, e line? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I have Roof to find a way. Activated. Maybe come here again. <laughs> yes. I want to yes. go to a one, a eight, yes. and e eight. Yes. What do yes. you think? Yes. I have to activate my rook. Mm -hmm. no. So still very uh, tense to play such yes. position. Time, time pressure is still there. You see, one minute 
I don't know how many seconds, mm -hmm. 50 something against one minute, again 40 something. Meanwhile, let's check uh, quickly uh, the game of Ekaterina Altalık versus Zhukova. Sure. Natalia Zhukova, what's going on there? So she won. She won. Mm -hmm. She won. Let's see this. Okay. Very yeah. quickly. Yes. As you said. Ah, she won the pawn. What's going on here? Let's see. Let's play the move. Let's go forward. Check. Yes. Here. Here. Yes. Bishop. She's very experienced. She never bothered to push a4 yeah. or anything. Just here. moving and, the pieces. And now, yes. And she now takes the pawn. Yes. For free. Mm -hmm. And now attacking this. Check. Check. But now rook takes e8. Ah, rook takes e8. No, 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 it's not possible yet. Not Bishop yet. d5 check first, first and, check. Then. Mm. and then. Oh, okay. okay. So I guess you checked this game, uh, what went wrong uh, from the nice yes. position. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, are there any interesting other ones? Sadimova, Sebak, I think it's going to be lost by yes, uh, Sadimova. No. Yes, look yes. at the no, game. Black, black one. I think that the idea of white to taking out the queen instead of activating her rook was uh, yeah. probably a mistake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a clear draw for white, in my but opinion, she uh, but some uh, accurate moves had to yeah. be made. Yeah. But we had good intuition that it's yeah. uh, yes. not so easy to play so for easy, yeah. unless you are uh, yeah. a grandmaster like yeah. Yanis. Yeah. Okay, so. Let's go to Solaki de Zolenzenkina. What's going on here? Rook d1, and she played. What's going on? She played rook b8, queen, queen g3, queen, queen uh, f3. What did they play? King e6? Yes. Queen g4 queen check. G4 was check. Oh. It's strange, rook d4 didn't win right away uh, after, just if you move back, right. rook d4. What's going on here? The king was uh, here. Rook after, king is what's going on? Rook after, king, after king e6. King e6 was played. And rook d4 was not rook just D4? winning. Yes, you're absolutely right. What's going on here? This is winning. If king f5, uh, rook takes d4. Queen g4 check, check, uh, check immediately yes. winning. Or win rook takes d5 even, yes? Yes. yes. Why she but missed this? I don't know, because of time travel or... Or who knows? Okay. Done. So we have a guest uh, now. Yes, yes. Miss Katerina Atakik. Please come. Congratulations. Thank you. Mrs. Katerina Atalik is with us. Hello. In, Hello. One, in a very Hi. good style. We were checking your game. Mm -hmm. I'm not Quiet, sure. <laughs> quietly maneuvering. And uh, again, you said that she is very experienced and she knows what to do. Yes, we were thinking about uh, moves for white, plans with a4 and bishop b5. Like we said, even if these plans are correct, white should not uh, be in a rush to follow such a plan, but move the pieces around and try for tactics and everything, and then see this what This is happens. what I tried. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's so see the game. Let's see the game here. You can show it to us. Yes, you can. Yeah. Take over the analysis. I don't remember my game. I just well, pressed it. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. We okay. predicted such problems already. Okay, here knight f3, what do you think about this It's move? a totally playable, we said already that this is a hybrid variation. You play knight f3 and you do not show your hand uh, uh, yet. Uh, you don't show maybe g3 uh -huh. or e3, next move, castle short. Yeah, and if g5 maybe Queen a4 check or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she castled, I played bishop f4. This, I'm, I really don't know about this move. I was, I was suggesting maybe to take on c3 simply and play d6 and try to win back the tempo with, uh, oh, with some e5. But maybe you have something. So if you take, take and play d6. d6, yeah. for example. So I play bishop e2. Bishop? E2, I have to No, play. no, E3 first, you have ah, E3, yes. yeah. And uh, for example, knight queen E7, bishop E2, knight B D7, mm, some play. stuff like this. You mean this, yes, mm -hmm. takes, takes. Sometimes, uh, this. this is simple and practical. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm and not sure, maybe white does have some advantage. What do you recommend here? 
No, I did so. Yes, this developed simply. I mean, uh, try to win the tempo back. I took on c3 immediately, uh, giving a tempo, but then try to win it back with with uh, some e5. Okay, mm. it is of course. Play. You will go with knight d2, bishop e2. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Or maybe play h3. You don't give this bishop. Yes. Yeah, h3 maybe. Mm. Even. First h3. Mm -hmm. Or even knight and d2. To, to yes. Keep two I agree. I agree. Yes. Some kind of London, <laughs> London, London system bishop. This is not very mm -hmm. popular on f4 okay. now. <laughs> okay, let's go to the game. No, I think she played okay. D5, E3. Some, some kind of Ragozina yeah. with, yeah. uh, with D5. E3. Now she took on C4, Bishop C4, Knight D5. Yeah. Everything looks logical. Yeah. This is still theory? Has it been played before or you're thinking on your own now? <laughs> Even if it's theory, I don't remember. <laughs> But here she started to think quite a lot. I think she spent something like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Because uh, as much as I understood, she didn't like the position after knight takes f4. First knight takes f4, yeah, yeah. she didn't we like were it. That we were commenting on it. Okay, let's say you, you, yeah. I mean, I will try to play on the black squares. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, uh, okay, how she played was also perfectly mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. She took first on c3. So that you won't be able to take with the rook back on c3, yeah. never. Mm -hmm. b6. So, yeah, castle. Normal moves. We need to. Mm -hmm. And normally, white should should play very well with for the initiative, I mean, uh, fast and uh, active moves. Otherwise, in the, in the long right, run, yeah. uh, no, black has better pawn, pawn structure. structure yes. yeah. mm -hmm. I have too many islands. Mm -hmm. So knight f6, you can mm -hmm. show it to and then... And I played bishop b3. Actually here I already saw the position that would happen. I mean the end game. And I thought I may have some chances. Mm -hmm. At least slight chances. So knight e5, c5, she has to play. Yeah, now I took. We exchanged everything and I played f3. I mean my idea is not to let the black knight to come to c5 ever. And the uh, black has some problems with the knight, actually. Mm -hmm. So my pieces are um, are standing better, yeah? So she played rook c7, which I'm not so sure. Why does she need rook c7? Maybe it's a loss of tempo. Mm -hmm. Maybe immediately rook c8. Mm -hmm. And you go yeah, why not and c4? No, c8. not yet c4. You uh, maybe she's it. afraid of knight d7 or something. I can play c4, but uh, okay, it's it looks like a draw. Ah, okay, maybe. Uh, so if she plays here rook c8 and I play... Uh, yes, this one, the first one. Okay, the first one, and I play c4, yeah. Here she can never play b5 because of knight d3. d3. Yes. So that's why she wanted to keep her rook on c7. Okay, now I played c4. Uh, rook c8, rook d4. This H5, I don't like it at all. I also this. didn't like it that much. Yes. But what to do? Actually, I thought maybe black should play something like a6 and b5 in order mm -hmm. to win the d5 square. D5 square. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a6. Let's try a6. Yes. Yeah, a6. Can you double the rooks? Yeah, rook d1. Okay, now b5. Um, shouldn't work, mm -hmm. yeah, because mm -hmm. of rook d8. So let's say king f8, f8 yeah. Mm -hmm. and then my next move is b5. Although here I also have an idea with bishop a4, and now mm -hmm. all her pieces are completely stuck. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is really very yeah, nice, very cool. deep idea. Uh, she, she cannot mm -hmm. uh, free her play. So she played h5. I mean, if I play g4 immediately, her idea is to uh, simple to take on g4 and knight e4, and yes. knight e4, yes, and quickly transfer the knight, mm -hmm. and now black is probably much better, yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay, I played rook d1. Ah, after h5, she offered me a draw, by the way, mm -hmm. but I decided to play. Really? A bit more. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Uh, so g6, okay, now I bring the king, and now knight g8, interesting move. 
Okay, if she doesn't play knight g8, probably I go g4 and rook d7. Mm -hmm. So she has to do something. Now I have to play g4, knight e7. Well, maybe here... Okay, here her idea is to play f6, and now my knight doesn't have a good square. By the way, Cholak Yudu has one. So rook d7, f6. Here I was even thinking to play rook d7 again, but I was not sure. Now I want to play g5, but I'm not sure I have time. Let's say she plays bishop c8, and now my knight is very strange placed. Yeah, no? this position actually Ivan Sokolov was analyzing. Oh, really? This he thought one. you would play this line. Yeah. Later on, uh, okay, maybe, maybe what you played she, was better. No, I'm not because sure. Because it's not obvious this, what. Okay, but maybe she will um, take, take and play e5, something like this. Now he, bring the bishop to e6. He also was not sure uh, yeah. what white play here. He was thinking some bishop a4 uh, line, he was checking. Yeah, so I played back, bishop a6. Everybody goes back, and now rook d6. And here I was surprised after she took on g4. Maybe king f7. Now I want to come king e7. Unfortunately c5 is not working. Because she takes, and now if I take with the bishop, king e7. Bad. If I take with the rook, Okay, yeah, c4. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And no tactics. So here I was thinking, to, okay, what to do? Just maybe, okay, king f7. To push f5. I need to open up my pieces somehow. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say you take. Okay, I don't know, take, take, c5. Now king g7 back. But is it is it this knight on b2? I think it's the out knight of the game. Is Still, yes. uh, you, you have to. Mm -hmm. Something knight like this. Yes, maybe. But, but it looks but like draw. Yes, knight e5. Black has good counterplay actually. Knight c3 check if if uh, you take maybe with a rook on b6. Strategically, you you are very good, but uh, he has she has tactic uh, tactical mm -hmm. tricks, I suppose. Okay, yeah. but knight e5, I will take rook b6 and and bishop b7, for example. Bishop b7. Mhm. Mm f4, knight Maybe. g4 check. The, the, there is a lot of uh, counterplay, yes, yeah. because no, white but, uh, is then, uh, wait. slow with with this uh, a2 pawn. So knight e5, rook b6, yeah, bishop yes. b7. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me check. Yes. And I go up. And can I take on h2? Is it possible? I go And up. then I blunder. So, yes, I, I play maybe... Okay, okay, but bishop c8. c8. Something like this, maybe. No. Yeah, maybe still very active for <laughs> white. Okay, but bishop e6, I don't have any threat. Mm -hmm. No? Now it goes back. And the uh, h pawn starts yes. running. Yes, check, yes. No, I think uh, she had to go for king f7. But okay, she played... Uh, she took on g4, and now e5, which also looks uh, logical, mm -hmm. yeah, to play on the black squares. So, but now my knight comes back. Now bishop c8. And okay, this end game must be equal. You think so? We thought that white is better yeah, here. Yeah, we thought white is better, yeah. White is better because of the ideas with bishop c2, mm -hmm. yes? At least, if you call it equal, but uh, black has to be very accurate. Maybe g5. What about g5? Ah, but then maybe I count king, king e4. e4 yes. mm -hmm. King e4, yes. Yeah. And rook c5 now? Rook bishop c5. Bishop. But when you give check, I go to mm -hmm. f5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but my bishop on b3 is so bad. How can I proceed? I 
don't see any active plan. Maybe yeah. not King E4. Yeah, maybe G5. It, or Bishop This is a good move here, G5. I think G5. We missed this move, yeah. Maybe G5. Rook, rook D5, Rook C5 again, yes. Yeah. Okay, Rook D6 back and... Of course, you, yes, you have a draw. Yeah. So, so she didn't play G5 and she missed it. Yeah. She played Rook E7, which is very passive in my opinion. Yeah. Okay, in the end game nobody should stay passive, no matter what the position is. Yeah. Now Bishop C2. Yeah, now G5 is already impossible because I play mm -hmm. Rook G6 check. And now she doesn't have time for G5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, okay, I just improved my position significantly. Mm -hmm. You, how did you decide to play g5? Then on, on one hand you are fixing g6 pawn, but on the other hand this h5 push may never be, be possible. I don't mm -hmm. need it. You don't this need is it. <laughs> this is what I thought. Uh -huh. Actually, in some cases there was uh, this h5 uh, we calculated here, yeah, we analyzed yeah. a lot. Uh -huh. In some lines there is possible to play h5 and when she, she, she takes g6 and win material. Mm. If, if your king is on f4, for example, you already threaten h5. Okay, here... Um, A3 was a very nice move, yes. Yeah. Controlling, and mm -hmm. Controlling B4 square and also, you know, moving my... And, and protecting the pawn, yeah. uh, yes. But okay, here we started. Now I have some ideas with rook B4 also. Mm -hmm. Let's say if rook B4, rook A5, A4, bishop E8, bishop C2. Mm -hmm. And then I threaten to take on mm -hmm. B6. So... Okay, here I try to trick her. King e4, and now yeah, I think instead bishop of king e4, we were analyzing, analyzing bishop e4 because it looks really very mm. strong. Because she cannot play rook b3, let's try this for a while. Bishop e4, if rook b3, white is winning immediately, I think, with rook a8 check, king g7, uh, and rook, a7. rook a7, and if uh, if rook b2, then here comes uh, uh, bishop d5. Yes, no, sorry, if rook b5, sorry, bishop rook b5, here comes h5. Ah, H5. okay, yeah. Yes, no, then one. that's an idea, yeah, with, mm -hmm. with g6 also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bishop e4 was also a good move. How did we come here? Ah, okay, I played king e4. Uh -huh, king e4 yeah. and now no, I think bishop e8 is not such a great move, because not bishop on e8 is very bad. Uh, is it possible to play bishop c4? We were analyzing this for some time. Mm because uh, it's not so clear. If you take, for example, mm -hmm. we, were, we thought king d4 is, is surprisingly king better. King d5? Yes, rook c5 check now. And now try to find a good move. Rook c3, for example. Uh -huh. Rook c3. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. Did if you analyze this? No. But I the surprising move is rook c5 check. We, king uh, yes. d4 is But we, we, we calculated also king, king d4. Which is a good move. No, ah, yes. king no, no. d4. Yes, yes. although your rook is under attack, king d4 is not blundering anything. And rook takes d3. Yes. Uh -huh. Rook takes d3. Yes, so king takes. takes. And if rook h3, you take on b6 now. No, no, no you don't take on b6. Because uh, rook takes a3, yeah, rook then. Takes a3. No, no. and it's a draw, yes. Yeah. Uh, but we analyzed king, king b5, b5. Here, I think. Uh -huh. Okay, let's say. She yes, has now to you take. threaten the pawn and you win. Ah, because yeah. if king f7, rook f6 check, king yeah, g7, yes. rook e6 is good. Uh -huh. No, it looks now like yes. winning. Mm -hmm. Probably you will find it. Yeah. But she didn't no, I see king d4, thing. I mean. I, I understood that I have some, uh, you know. Um, alternative, so okay, she didn't play bishop c4, maybe it was a better chance. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now, yeah, now I'm winning the pawn finally because if rook b5, now I have uh, rook oh, a8. Yes. And if rook c5, you take on g6 now. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and now it's uh, it's gone. Yeah. So she played king g7, she decided to give the pawn. Okay, rook b8, now my idea is if bishop f7, just to try to oh, exchange yes, them. Course. Yeah, and I just start pushing the pawn. Mm -hmm. and, and here, 
Okay, she played king f7, whole king for rook 8. Uh, Yes, yeah, I wondered yeah. <laughs> it once Last in the analysis. Time. Yes, or hoping nice for nice geometry. <laughs> yes, or, or uh, hoping for rook takes e8 immediately. This is another mistake because yes, rook a5 yes. checks surprisingly. Yes, but still white can make a draw. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> or you can have four. You, you can also take a four. Yeah, yes. but first I give check bishop d5 and rook takes e8 and. Of course. Okay, this was resigned. a very nice technical win. Okay. Yes, congratulations, very nice. Thank week. you. And good luck, as we tomorrow. always wish, for the rest of the tournament. After tomorrow, sorry, tomorrow, tomorrow. is the rest day. Yes. Have mm -hmm. a good rest day. You too. You Thank also you. deserve it. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very okay, much. Okay, bye Thank bye. You. Bye bye. Thanks for coming. Okay, we thanked uh, Mrs. Atalik for this nice uh, commentary of the game. Now we invite we Eva really back, nice back to her place. I would say deeper ideas than we thought. Uh, she had some very nice idea about how to handle the pieces. And this is understandable not only because she's a very experienced player, but also because this was her game and she was concentrating and thinking for so much time over, over uh, the moves. We cannot yeah. do this equally good in just a few minutes. Yeah. And it's very interesting to watch what goes uh, on in the minds of chess uh, players themselves, yes? After yeah, analyzing the game. She shows very nice analysis, actually. The, yes. the ideas, uh, she said, uh, I, don't, I didn't want to black to move the knight mm -hmm. to c5 after knight mm -hmm. c5 mm -hmm. on one hand uh, the player is uh, because she is playing the game is of course obviously stressed and sometimes uh, you know we stay here more calmly sometimes you can find even better moves uh, exactly. because we are not in time trouble or anything but uh, generally the player should be able to find better moves than us because they are concentrating so much over the over the board and also she sh showed a saving move for black in this ending, G5, which is G5. I yes, think maybe yes, the, yes. This there was a chance there, I think, but a very risky one. I didn't have time to calculate. Some bishop for C2 white. for white, chance to play for win. Bishop C2, very risky. To take give, the C4, to give yes. C4 pawn, then bishop D3 with tempo, and uh, finally rook G6 and yes. rook takes G5. Let's go to this but position. I didn't have enough time to calculate it. Okay. In this position, yes. takes, takes H3. H3. And G. Maybe instead of H3, you are thinking this. Yes. Ah, no. This, Yes, yes, this move. Bishop this here. Move. Yes, rook take here. takes c4. Of course, I understand it's risky. Bishop d3 and probably not working at all. And <laughs> intending <laughs> to give rook g6 check and take on g5. But you give also this one. Yes, Very check. risky, yes. Yes, mm. I give check. King yes, f7. Eight. But uh, now maybe no, you can even take on a2 now. I, Because bishop c4 check is not working, obviously. Yes, king f6. Or is it working? Rook g8. What is going on? Rook a3 check. Rook a3 check, check yes. And let's f f uh, continue. <coughs> run by play king e4. I receive bishop b7 check. Bishop d5 <laughs> and rook a4 check. <laughs> and I'm really very tired. It's, and it's, and it's very tired. nice analysis. <laughs> Actually, yes, you're right. Probably it was g5 was the very good move uh, mm -hmm. for black, but she didn't make it. Uh, so. We, uh, meanwhile, while we were analyzing this game, actually uh, Mrs. Ekaterina Atalik analyzing her game, uh, so like you do as one, mm -hmm. as we were checking. Let's see how the game ended sure. uh, quickly. She played this move, yes. we were checking, and you said why she didn't play uh, here Queen Wait a minute. Was this no, no, a few moves later. Yeah. Maybe a couple of moves later. Uh, maybe oh. here. Yeah, here. She missed yes. actually rook, rook d4. Rook d4. Which, which was winning immediately. Yes. yes. Threatening queen g4 check and yeah. then take the knight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but maybe queen d4 now I suddenly see. Uh, rook uh, takes d5 check here is the move. Yes. Yeah? Rook takes d5 check. All rook d4. Threatening queen g4 check. King e5. Queen takes a 4. Now ah, rook, okay. rook d4. Yes. There is no defense. Oh no. It's yeah. black to move. Yes. Uh, okay. Here. Here. And king e6 was played in mm -hmm. this position. King e6 and uh, king e6 and is and now rook d4. Yes, rook d4. Yes. Yes. Rook d4 yeah. Okay, she didn't play. She played what? Rook b, queen b4. Yes. But thank you for white. Queen uh, f3. position is so wi so much winning, so, so won that uh, she can play even a few inaccurate some, or inaccurate with, moves. Yeah, with some. And get back to. Loss of 10 pieces, it doesn't yes, matter. Yes, yeah. it doesn't matter at all. f5, probably a uh, very bad move. She is okay, opening up the game all the time. One, once again, we will have to quote Anish Giri, who <laughs> yes. said that in a bad position, every move is bad, unfortunately. The same came to my mind, Jeff. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now probably it's not too late. And so what is King, this? A giving yes, check. Okay, yeah. King G2. Uh, I even dislike the fact that this game was won by the White King and not any other piece. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, uh, so let's go to... Almost every game is finished. Let's go to board this number game. three. We have a very interesting end this game. This game is board Yes, board. yes, we have a very interesting end game. Which game is Knight this? and bishop against, yes. against king. This game? Yes. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Knight and bishop. The ending. Yes, let's, let's, this, uh, let's show this end game for a while. To show how, how many moves did they make? Let's also it, see. It really doesn't do, matter. Takes, much. takes, yes. only, only few so moves. Let's explain how this end game is winning. First of all, yes. First of all, let's say this. Ah, let's play I, just I a couple you, of I give you yes. the pieces. So you can let's just explain. This is very important. So first of all, we reach this end game. Let's suppose that Black's king is somewhere here, and the, the knight is, uh, as expected, in a random position, and the yeah. bishop is in a random position. So the first seven or eight moves do not matter at all what you will play. This is very important. You just bring generally your king and your knight somewhere close to the, to the opponent king. To the the first king. seven or eight moves do not matter at all as a rule. Uh -huh. Just bring the king somewhere, put the bishop somewhere around. But we, we have to have one thing in mind. Uh, the checkmate will be made in uh, the corner, same, same color of, of the bishop. So it will, make, it will be made either here or here. So. Uh, there is no other checkmate. Black's uh, white intends to stay in this corner or in this corner for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. Let's go uh, back. Okay. So uh, we have we should take into account that if with black pieces, if we do not control a one square, the knight will stay, the king will stay there forever. <coughs> yeah. So we play seven or five, almost or six. Uh, random moves bringing the king and the knight but we have an idea in mind this knight should be put on c2 or on b3 otherwise white will be playing king b2 king a1 forever so the knight is already on d2 and which means it will go to b3 quite soon now let's show show the procedure let's say okay here 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 knight b3 check okay i, I will use a slightly different method no okay it doesn't really matter let's say are you playing right here for yes. Uh, yes let's say I play here and offer a draw <laughs> yes so let's say i play here okay we continue for a while so i play here now i'm flirting with with uh, with a stalemate you see i'm flirting with <laughs> yes, stalemate yeah. all the time so uh, let's suppose that i play such a move and show the method king the king goes here and the king stays here so i will I either put my king on my queen my knight sorry on b3 or on c2 uh, it has to be known that, that it has to be said that in this end game black has to know in a specific position three or four moves by heart. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't know these specific moves by heart, he simply cannot win this endgame. Mm -hmm. uh, unless he's a professional player and he knows a billion different ways to win. So this has to be clear. The first seven or uh, eight moves are random. Ge I have a general idea to put the knight to control uh, this A1 square in this particular position. And I have to know by heart the next moves. So, by I, heart. Yes, by heart. So I play here, either this or this. Let's follow the procedure. Black goes here. You can check it uh, the method again in internet. So white will go here. Bishop b1. This has to be known by by heart. King here. And now uh, here comes the very important move, which if you don't know, you don't play. You don't play. Tell us, please, Eva, what is the move? <laughs> What would you play here as black? This move you have to know, otherwise it will take you too long and again you will reach the same position mm -hmm. on, on, on age 8 And ask the question again. Hmm? Shall I give the answer? Yes. <laughs> the, the move is this one. Memorize this by heart. No other way to win. And now two possibilities, either this move or this move. Shall, shall we explain them briefly? Sure. So, king here, I give this check, I follow the same plan again and again. Here, he tries to leave, I go here, 
let's say he goes here, this is more or less the same here, again the same story, here, here, bishop b3 waiting move, this bishop b3 uh, resembles this bishop b1 that I played earlier, he goes here, again I ask the same question which Eva I'm sure knows by now quite well, <laughs> what should black play, again the same move, which okay, means knight same motive. knight, same motive, exactly, knight to d6, mm -hmm. again. He goes here, this is exactly the same, we will end up to this position anyway. We know the king is going this way, he, uh, on, on uh, a8, he's going to be checkmated Again, knight there. B7. Yes, so knight b7 check, king a6, king, king c6. c6, he goes here. Now that the king has very little freedom, I can play a few moves of my own. If I want, I can continue following this method, mm -hmm. but I see that I can play even such a move now. And here, my next plan is I will put a king on c7 and a bishop on c8, or the same on the other side, a king on b6 and a bishop on a6. Mm -hmm. That's my next plan. So I will do it with logical moves. I play here, I play here, and I did it. Bishop c8. Yes. So he goes here, and now my knight will control a7 square, which is a dark square and cannot be controlled by my bishop and my bishop will control a8 square so I play this move for example this move I give check and finally I give checkmate this is the way okay. to go now we get back to the critical position uh, of course how to learn this endgame by watching this video and by practicing a lot Yes, yeah, put yes, the pieces sure, in sure. random places and keep on playing and playing. Sure. You have to know this end game because you may not have enough time to win it and then it will be important. And you should mate in 50 moves. Exactly. This exactly. is very important. Exactly. You know? So we reach this if critical... If you miss, uh, if you don't know, probably yes. you will just... You will get panicked. You yeah, will you get will panicked. Panic. That's the yeah. problem. So we start once again from here. Black to move. She goes here. He goes here, king a4, the first move to know by heart, bishop b1, the second very important move is this, mm -hmm. knight d4. And now the best defense is not this, but this. It looks like if the, the king escapes, I have to know by heart what to do now. Mm -hmm. Yes, I cannot think or calculate, I have yeah. to know this. So we play here, memorize this move. He will go King here. B6, By now we may already know that if here knight b5 is coming and I continue uh -huh. doing the same. So he goes here and I have to know this very good move by heart. Mm -hmm. No other way. Once again, if here King c5 is coming and I follow the same procedure, most likely he will play here and I have to know this move by heart. Yeah. He will go here or here, doesn't really matter. To keep matter. the king in the box. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and yes. then after a few uh, uh, moves, put it literally in the box and get it ready for the next game. Yeah. So, <laughs> bishop e4, and once again, I follow the same procedure. King goes here, for example, or on a6, doesn't matter. Va the yeah. variations look exactly the same. I may need to lose a tempo with my bishop or not to lose a tempo. So I go here to control dark squares, and once again, Bishop I play, B3. yes, bishop b3, sorry, he goes here, right, this right, very important E3. move, he goes, let's say he goes here, or here, now already the king is, uh, uh, is imprisoned, so I forget about king c6, which uh, follows my method, and I just put a king on b6 and a bishop on a6, here we go, I put it here, now I am free to control b8 square with my knight, so sometimes the, the uh, knight gives the final checkmate, but sometimes the bishop. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is not a real problem, I guess. This is Here, very and checkmate. Yeah. Great and explanation of yes. this uh, knight and bishop mate. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes. So learn this by heart and practice it a lot against uh, a player. At first, my advice is to put maybe 10 or 15 minutes on your clock and then play a few, a few times with even less time control. When I was much younger, I used to play this with 30 uh, seconds on the clock, with 30 yes. seconds or with 20 seconds. Yeah, I think she manages actually. She knows exactly oh, what course. to she do. Knows exactly. Bring yes, the she knows exactly. She knows. I have, I have the Maybe there are other methods uh, uh, as well. I'm not saying that this is the only method, but this is a good and practical method. Yeah, very uh, good method. Yes, when you learn these required moves by heart. Uh, I think they play more moves. Yes, uh, 
Yes, king f1, and knight g2 or knight d3 is the yes, same. She will be now that there, yes. there is no freedom Are there for the any king. Other, any other games uh, on the top boards? Can you check? There are no other games. I have checked. All of them finished. Yes, yeah. yes, all of them with no exception. Uh -huh. So oh. Alina Kashlinskaya, she won, huh? Mm -hmm. So how did she win? Let's see this game because yes, we were checking. Accept. It was a difficult yes. game. We didn't yes. see the rest of the game. As I heard, because I didn't follow uh, yeah, all the moves. Yeah, follow. There was a white fun, a black fun counterplay at yeah, some she, point. Yes. She mm -hmm. played here. Look, King G3 in this mm -hmm. position. Mm -hmm. uh, and now after here we left it here. We left it, they left actually here. Mm -hmm. Rook yes. B2 and. Uh, Queen e3 and b5. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe b5. Knight c5, he was saying, uh, Ivan Sokolov. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Many chances. So b5, okay, rook c6, queen a5, b4. She wanted to use this pawn, huh? mm -hmm. knight d5. What if b3, rook c8, huh? mm -hmm. maybe. Queen A8. This rook C8 was winning all uh -huh. the time. I have the feeling that, the that White actually never really ro lost control of the game. Yeah, maybe no, just rook E8. Some queen E8. Sorry, takes takes and Queen C5. Yes. And now probably it's totally uh -huh. lost. Okay, yeah. and she resigned. Background huge, problems. Yes, yeah. huge background yeah. problem. Yes, this background problem. She actually played it very well. Mm -hmm. And the king cannot escape in any way. Uh. It's the king is totally stuck. While we were just checking this game, uh, this bishop and uh, knight ending also play, uh, finished. Mm -hmm. One other uh, hint for this for this uh, ending. Let's say you forget some of the move and temporarily the, git, the, the king escapes. The worst thing to do is panic. Do not get panic. There is, trust me, enough time to follow the same method three times. Three times, maybe three and a half times. So you have the, the right to make two or maybe even three huge mistakes, but no fourth. Uh, yes, do not lose your, you, your courage. Then you will uh, exceed the, the 50 moves of course. Uh, rule, so mm -hmm. it will be end in a draw. Mm -hmm. uh, I think today's round has just finished. Uh, let's see the classification. Uh, sure. The, okay. The standings, yes. Alina Kashninskaya with, with five and a half points only out player, of six. Yes, yes. yes. only play, player. Mm -hmm. And there is a five point, Marie Sobak. Only, only one player. Yes, yes. only one Amazing. player with five points. Most she likely they will play against each other. I don't believe Tomorrow, they yes. yes. Uh, from France. Mm -hmm. So how many players with four and a half? Let's see. Many players with four and a half, yes. Oh, they got 12 players. I 12 can't. players, yeah, you're right. 12 players with four and a half points. Mm -hmm. They are uh, following uh, mm -hmm. these two players. So uh, tomorrow is the free day. Uh, there will be no round tomorrow. After tomorrow, at the same time, 3 p.m. Uh, Turkish time. See you uh, on uh, after tomorrow, which, which day? Thursday, Thursday, Thursday yes. yes. See you on Thursday, Thursday. at 3 o'clock. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.